morning, lovely jewellery makers. How are we all? I'm just a little bit excited because last night I had a text message and it said, is it you tomorrow? And I was like, yes, because I'm not joking. It must have been about three months since we've worked together. It's got to be a long time. It's a long, long, long time. Claire McDonald's in oh, the house. I'm so pleased to see you. Me too. So pleased. I'm to take it personal. Well, uh, I'll have a chat later. No, no, <laughs> not at all, not at all. I'm so excited. So excited. It's been ages and I've And it's a Friday. You. Yeah, we were just, Ads and I were just saying we love the weekends. Yeah. And the sun's shining. Yes. Last day of school. Yes. School's out for summer. What a day. I know, it's going to be great, isn't it? Mm. Might fire, oh, I was going to say might fire up the barbecue, but I'm not at a concert tonight. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, check this out. This is how cool I am. I'm going to see McFly. Woohoo! Uh, just us, Claire. Just us. Ah. I think that's cool. Is that cool, McFly? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you add. Do you reckon that's cool? No, no. Oh. In Warwick Castle. It's. I think that's going to be a brilliant night. It's going to be ace, isn't yeah. it? Relive yeah. my youth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of McFly songs now. Um, With five yeah. colours in her hair. Been to the year 3000. So from when you, when you drive home, you need to try and listen to loads of their songs. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Amazing. So that you know. You can be at, right at the front. Yes. So excited. Yeah. So excited. But I will be on best behaviour because I'm working tomorrow. Oh, okay. So okay. maybe one drinky poo, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah, looking at me that. with her sceptical hippo eyes. Nah. <laughs> no, that's my dodgy eye. Yeah, sorry everyone, I've got a dodgy eye. <laughs> you got a winky eye. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a winky eye. Oh, oh, see. Already. It, it, it's been what, a matter of minutes and we're already. <laughs> this is why I'm so excited. Claire, I love you. Oh, I love you it's too. It's so nice to see. You. And it, it, can I just, it's not planned. It just turns out that way sometimes that we just don't see one another. I know, I know, I know. Well, we, we did try and meet up, didn't we, in between, but it just didn't happen. Life yeah. has Life. been busy and you've moved i have yes i have moved you've now. moved house that's big yes huge it was it was yeah it was big was it stressful um it, it's had its moments yeah i mean everyone knows it is it's a stressful thing isn't it yeah it is so yeah i just but i'm decompressing a bit now yeah so there we go yeah i'm here to have a summer. lovely morning oh and christmas as well i got christmas in your new house yes <gasps> yeah that's yeah. nice yeah. right then it is going to be, what day is it, Friday? Um, it is going to be a super Friday, because I don't know, I have mentioned this, in fact, I mentioned it yesterday and also Tuesday, um, that at 10 o'clock today, we have a very special guest <gasps> stepping into the studio Ooh. to launch a parcel that he personally has championed and sourced for you. He has literally bought this parcel for you. It is a gemstone that I think he was the very first person that predicted the rise of this gem and he was not wrong. So your guest today is not somebody that you might be expecting. You might be thinking, oh, I'm gonna, oh she's going to say Dave or maybe even Jake. No, your guest today is the wonderful, the wonderful, the uber charismatic, Ross. Oh, this is going to be exciting. I'm so excited. Oh. So Ross, I don't know who's going to produce during that hour. Adam's going to do it. You're going to multitask ads, is that right? You can do that. You can do that. He said, okay, don't, don't talk about Adam too much. Let's go back to talking about Ross, please. And the fact that I sourced this parcel. I have to say, though, Ross, it is. I mean, just take a look at this tea bar. Look at the glow from there. The finest parcel. I mean, I, lo I love how humble Ross is. He's just said it's the nicest parcel of Amazon we've ever had. Mm, yes. I, yeah, I'd agree with that. <coughs> it it's is. such an uplifting colour, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it is stunning, isn't it? And it's yeah. all natural. Wow. Brand new location. Never had it from here before. 
and Exciting we have morning. yours truly <gasps> to thank for it. So, and I have to say, Ross, as well, I'm loving the shapes that you've got. There's a story for that, he says. Ooh. Right, okay. Well, I'm not going to say any more because that will we what we shall discover at ten o'clock. So coming up today, your early bird again. By no surprise that Ross is in the hot seat today. It's one of his absolute favourite gemstones, and what a strand it is. Eight o'clock. We've got five hundred neon appetite strands Ooh, for you. Oh, lovely! And, and the crowd. I, I don't know why I keep saying this. The crowd goes way. <laughs> I don't know why it's in my head at the moment. Maybe it's in preparation for later. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Look at the quality of that neon appetite. That's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It would go amazingly. It would go amazingly with your Amazonite. Mm. We have five hundred of those jewelry makers <clears throat> now. It's on the what? It's on the web at twenty nine ninety nine, which is a million miles away from where it's closing. So trust the process. Uh, you will be multi buying on it. I'm absolutely certain of that. Absolutely certain because I see the star buy sheet. Ross sometimes sticks to it. Sometimes he doesn't. But um, so what I mean by that, sometimes it goes lower. This, at the price that I see in black and white, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable for the rarity of neon appetite. So that's your early bird. Then at nine o'clock, you've got soldering stencils. What are those, Yes, guys? yeah. So we've got loads of them. Really, really, they're, they're absolutely brilliant. So they're for um, little shapes like this, so if I hold them up yeah you can see here so and you can solder within them and they give you really 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 neat results so we've got uh loads of different shapes uh and we've got um some some ring ones as well so the pendants that's made so with those. pendants yes yeah, so you can see all the pendants are made using those um and so it's basically a great way to work if you've got scrap as well so you can use a beautiful oh. like low if you've got fresh uh sterling silver as well but if you've got scrap these work really <coughs> really well me. for that yeah. So basically, I mean, I'm just thinking about it. When you solder, I guess you've got the, the, the torch, haven't you? Which yes. can sometimes shift things, blow them away. It? Yes, yeah. exactly. So yeah, this so will actually keep yes. it. Ah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's so cool. It's good, isn't it? So it's a good way of like using everything, everything up. And it's precious metal as well. Yes, yeah. Also in this hour, Claire. Yes. You and I are absolutely in love with these, aren't we? Honestly, so I'd sit down if I was you. Oh, they are. They are some of the most oh. deeply coloured natural pearls I've ever seen. Look at those purples. They are incredible. Oh my goodness. And just to tease you even further, we've put them in front of you as well. I know. Can you imagine those? I might have to run off with them. I know. I'm trying everything with Ross. You have already tried, because yeah. I heard Claire say, you <laughs> trying to run <laughs> off with Ross. Yeah. He's Come a on, gay Ross. man. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, <laughs> Claire's trying to run away with Ross. Um, <clears throat> right. No, no, you have already tried, haven't you, Claire? Because you're like, oh, do you want me to do, uh, to make something up with these? Yeah. Ross is like, no. No. We no. haven't got enough. There's only seven. They are beautiful. Oh. They are stunning. I could literally just incredible. sit and watch that. It's amazing. So they yeah. and they're huge as well. Absolutely I know. huge. The absolute individuals, aren't they? Though? So stunning. those are coming up at nine o'clock today. Ten o'clock, of course, is all about the launch of Ross's Colorado Amazon Night. Yes. Very exciting. We have four lines from that uh, from that parcel. So we've got the three sizes of your rounds, and then okay. we've got some lovely guru shapes. Um. Uh, that, yeah, I don't know how else oh, to wow. describe Gosh, them other than like a good, yeah, oh. beautiful. Look at that colour. That's amazing, Ross. Ross, that is amazing. Mm. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's like a braver blue. How many do we have in terms of quantities then, Roscoe? There's seventy-five of the eight mils. There's a hundred of the six mils. Hundred and fifty of the four. And there's only 30 of the guru so you will need to be quick mm. on those jewelry makers am i allowed to shop with you while you're chatting is that all right because i would very much like to get hold of those i mean they're gorgeous i love amazon mm. especially of that quality then back to 11 o'clock we've got a premiere selection oh, there they are there's one of your gurus it looks nice oh, it looks like it? a yeah. looks like a really nice tall top hat <laughs> yes like a little top hat 
Ah, that's beautiful. Um, then at 11 o'clock, as I said, we've got a premiere collection, so brand new pieces that have never been on our screens. Ooh. And then at 12 o'clock, Claire. Yes, wait ring till you see these. With Look gold at these. painted accents. <gasps> Look Ooh. at that. Isn't it lovely? How gold is that? Oh, that's a bit of me. So these are, so again, um, I mean, project wise, if you want to, maybe you've never made any jewelry, these are brilliant for that. Or if you decide you want to solder them, I have them so that they're, because they're sterling silver. So the gold will go, but you'll still get an amazing sterling silver ring. Yeah, they if, are lovely. Yeah, because actually when you can't really solder with gold plating unless it's an accent. Yes, yes. So, um, so you can do you can do either with these. So, uh, again, really lovely beginner project if you just want to shape it. So, you yeah. know, just around that, and no soldering involved if that's not your if that's not your cup of tea. What a day! So lovely. I know. <gasps> and we got you, Claire. So literally, I so, do. After you text last night, Tom was upstairs and he came down and he was like, "What are you smiling about?" Ah. Sat on the sofa smiling. He was like, "What are you smiling about?" So I'm with Claire tomorrow. Aww. And he was like, "Ah, oh, that's nice." <laughs> Because I think I have said quite a few times I haven't seen Claire in ages. I know, so long. I know, so, so long. Sure, we'll have a lot of fun. Um, so do text in, lovely jewellery makers. We'll have fun this Friday. Yes. Tell us what you're up to this yeah. weekend. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, tell us what you're up to. Are you going to Are you going to see McFly at Warwick Castle? Because if you are, I'll see you there. <laughs> see you there. Been to the year three <laughs> Lots of people going, I don't think so, Al, no, no. Why, surely McFly is still cool? I think they're cool. Yeah. Like Tom Fletcher, he's an author and everything now, isn't he? Yeah, haven't they got really cool wives as well? Yeah. He's got really it, accomplished wives. His wife, his wife, what, Giovanni or something, Giovanni. Yeah, and, and who's the, uh, there's another one, the, um, is she a violin player? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But yeah. One's on CBeebies. That's, that's uh, Giovanni, I think. Yeah, she's also an author. Mm. Yeah. She's, uh, she's very bunch. successful in her own right. In her own right. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And lovely. Seems lovely, too. Mm. Anyway, enough about McFly. <laughs> shall we get cracking? Shall we, yeah, shall we get cracking? Because believe it or not, I like McFly, but I'm not that much of a fan. <laughs> That's about the extent of my conversation, really. I just thought it'd be fun. Um, okay, shall we get cracking? Sarah and I, I have my eye on this piece. Beautiful. Seren, of course, is star in Welsh. Um, yeah, so there we go. And the reason, um, well, that's part of the reason why it was actually dis named Sarah Knight. It was named by Jem Poirier themselves. Um, because they, at one point, they actually, I don't know if they still do, um, had partnership within this amazing mine. Um, it has previously been sold uh, by Tiffany's & Co. as well as the plush diamond. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look, totally natural. In a trillion cut jewellery makers. Two and a half carats. There's tons of you there. And it's a pound. What? Yeah. What? Mm. It's gone. Well done. I know it's Ross. You see, it's been that long, Claire. This is what he does. This is how he does it. Oh. Um. Okay. Chalcedony cubes. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, that's a lovely strand. Don't oh, you nice. do it, Ross? Don't you do it? It is done. You sounded like the uh, the baboon on uh, <laughs> on Lion King. It is time. <laughs> I didn't say you looked like one. I said you sounded like him. It is time. Uh, one pound. Oh, this look how amazing. pretty that strand is. I love. Cal I mean, that's a, that is a multi, multi, multi buy, isn't it? Yeah, as buy as yes. many as you can. Yeah, yeah. Be quick though, because it will sell out <clears> at a pound. Oh, morning, everybody. Look morning. at that. Morning. Yes. Friday. It's the weekend. It's time to party. <laughs> um, <laughs> fire agate. What? Oh, I have, yeah. Here it is. Like Terra Jasper. Ooh. Here we go. But uh, agate. You get these lovely patterns. It's nice. gorgeous matrix yeah. across the surface of them. They're, they're a bit cool, aren't they? Oh, wow. lovely, yeah. Guess what? <clears throat> Get your Frank Butcher voice on, Claire. Oh, uh... <laughs> it's a bird! <laughs> <laughs> I 
And again, can I... Uh, uh, that's a one-off. No, come on, because I... Pound! There you go, good. Pound! Thanks. Pat, 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 pat. One of the reasons some guest decides like no, not doing it, Claire. Yeah, no problem. Uh, <laughs> I'll do anything. No, no, no. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, we could do. I'm terrible at impressions, actually. <coughs> so you're making me laugh, which is affecting my eye. You're affecting her winky eye. <laughs> She's got a winky eye. <laughs> Coming up, jewelry makers, where is it there? I have the most amazing strand, your early bird. I'm, I'm encouraging lots of you to shop ahead on this. Micro faceted gemstones. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So you know that it should actually be at a higher price point because actually it's much more challenging to cut. Natural neon appetite. Look at the color. And we're gonna do, we've got 500 of them. I know that you will see, or I will see, quantities of 10 on our call screens. Ooh. Yeah, that's a hint. Well, that, yes. That's a yes. hint, a big hint in actual fact. Um, so shop ahead on that jewelry makers just to ease the pressure on our wonderful call center team. Um, <clears throat> amazing, amazing. More early bird deals, of course, and don't be shy, get your messages in. We're gonna have fun today, it's gonna be yes. a big deal. Yeah. What are you doing tonight? What am I doing tonight? Um, I've got a little bit more to do at the cottage. Then I'm going to have an early night. Uh, and then I'm away at the weekend. Where are you going the weekend? I think I'm going to Dorset. Oh, I, nice. I can't, yeah. So it'll be nice. That's by the sea, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Going to see the sea. Very nice. Which I can't wait. Yeah, just a bit of a can't chill. Can't wait, yeah. After your busy week, yeah. Deserved. Yeah. Deserved. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Text in, what are you doing this weekend? Yeah. Um, how about some beautiful amethyst jewellery makers? We don't see it that often, Claire, do we? No, I, no not at all. It's love. lovely, isn't it? It's an amazing colour. Yeah. I mean, the quality. I, I like, I, I'm going to guess Zambian. Is it Zambian indeed? Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. It says Africa. We actually looked into the fine print and yes, it is Zambian. And we were actually saying, why would we not tell you that it's Zambian? Because Zambian is like, it's like me bringing you, a, a, you know, um, um, a Burmese ruby without mentioning it's Burmese. Mm. Um, but you can see it from the quality of the colour. If you think about that sort of iconic chocolate brand, that's the quality that you're looking for in your amethyst. So at $29.99, that's amazing. It's totally natural. Um, in your graduated strand, so three to six mil. Do you want to see another price that you're not paying? Not. Ross has said, I was going to do a clock, but it's already so popular. He's, he's going to, well, save the time. It's almost sold out anyway. Wow. 7 99 for natural Zambian amethyst. Lovely. With some gold spaces, that would oh. be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Really beautiful. Mm. Yeah, you could, I mean, you, amethyst is one of those, we always say it, it's immediately recognizable mm. it, with yeah. little to no gem knowledge. Yeah. Immediately recognizable. Loads of multi buyers, and yet we don't see it that often. We used to have it on every single show. It's sold out. Oh, no, it hasn't. Oh, grab it. There's one there, I think. Is there one? Oh, somebody had 10 in their basket, but they've dropped out. So there's 10 available jewellery makers. I can see Carol, Samantha Tracy, Midlothian Eunice, Candy, Margaret Maker, Mandy Surrey, Andrea, Lucy, Kim. Make sure you check out everybody. £7.99 pence for that quality of beautiful, mm, beautiful amethyst. Lovely rounds, yeah. Can't go wrong, can you? The glow. As a plea approach, gemstone it's a, it's a as well. slight graduation as well. It's nice. Just restrand as a necklace, couldn't you? Yeah, lovely. lovely. Yeah. Very commercial. Yeah, yeah. Well done. So many multi buyers getting involved. It's imminently going to sell out. Morning, everybody. It's busy this morning, Claire. Yeah, it is. Lots isn't of faces, it? Yeah. lots of names yeah. on our call screens. Do you know what I think we should do again? One of our, you know, that day where we all Skyped in and we had all our viewers. Oh, that was, yeah, that was Wasn't brilliant. Nice? Yes. I think yeah, we need to do the make that along one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That oh, was that fun. Was, yeah. 
I love seeing fun. people like that. And even if we don't have the venues, you know, you could literally just do the Skype in. Yeah, it's sort of being together, isn't it? It's yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Modern technology. Although although on that day, I did see some lovely, lovely people. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, I had some nice, it was nice, nice hugs. Yeah. Um, hello, Mandy. Good morning, lovely ladies. McFly are amazing. They are Mandy, aren't they? I'm 64. I love their music. Ja uh, Danny Jones is a judge on Kids The Voice, and he's great. Is it? Oh, is he? There we go. Because I often get them mixed up with Busted. I get them mixed up. I think I prefer McFly to Busted, though, personally. Busted are a little bit more rocky, aren't they? Yeah, I love that. I think they're great. Like, yeah. They're so such catchy music. Yeah. And they all seem like good chaps. Yes, yeah. Which I good think eggs. is important. Yeah. yeah. Like, nice chaps. Yeah. And it's in Warwick Castle, so it's going to be lovely, oh, it's going to be it? good. Yeah. In Warwick Castle. So I've got to pick the girls up um, at half past three. Half past three. Not my... It starts at half five, but I'm predicting... Tonight. But I'm predicting rush hour. Pardon? We might be able to get tickets on the door, yeah? Why do you want to go, Ross? You probably can. Um, but yeah, so it starts half five, so it's not going to be a late night then, I don't think. It'll be done by nine o'clock, do you reckon? Yeah, so I'll be tucked up in bed, all good. Oh, win -win. perfect. Win-win. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. In fact, it's almost like they've tailored it to our age group. <laughs> well, they'll need to be in bed by ten. I start fading at ten o'clock, see? So, yeah. Uh, I wonder who's supporting them, though. Oh, yeah. I yeah. wonder. I don't actually know who's supporting them. They're great, aren't they, Mandy? There you go. I'll be singing all their songs then all weekend. <laughs> right then. Don't forget your early bird, your neon appetite jewelry makers. Uh, let's, oh yes. The Ganesha. <gasps> this is carved. This so. is amazing, isn't it? Ganesh, Ganesh. This is the Hindu god, isn't it? In beautiful Look labyrinth. That. Look at that quality. Yeah. This is Ganesh, the Hindu god, carved out of your beautiful labradorite, hand-carved as well. It's a just a gorgeous little ornament, isn't it? And the labradorite is lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, amazing really quality nice. labradorite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, totally natural labradorite, and you can see some of that wonderful magic, that uh, labradorescence that naturally occurs, and that's here in the studio. Imagine what it does, say, um, on your mantelpiece. Um, so there's Ganesh, you can see he's, uh, he's the elephant, isn't he? That sits cross-legged. Um, at £24.99. It's been on air once. Yeah, I don't think I'd seen it. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, 200 of these sold on launch. That is not where they close in 30 seconds for a hand carving. We're going to half that price. That's brilliant, isn't it? Amazing. For all that work and the gemstone itself. And all the meaning as well. Yeah, yeah. And it's a nice size, isn't it? It could, like you say, it could be an ornament. It's nice to just, I don't know, in your pocket, pocket. or to keep with yeah, you. Yeah, put it in your handbag, yeah. something like yeah. that. For the protection. Mm -hmm. And Yeah, that's a lovely idea. Put it in a pencil case or something yeah. like that, couldn't you? Yeah. How beautiful. How many have we got, Ross? 44 available. Natural Labradorite in your carved Ganesh. Four ninety nine, goodness Brilliant. me! And it is carved on the reverse as well, just so you know. Carved front and reverse. Beautiful, all that detailing, all that lovely detailing, amazing, and the quality of the labradorite. We've got forty four, so you will need to be quick. I like that idea, Claire. I'm yeah, keeping it with I, you. But then when you were doing like the 360 and turning it around, I mean, you could glue a, a bale or something yeah. to the top, couldn't you, as well? A long chain or cord. That's something great Something like that. A Actually have it as, instead of a tassel yeah, or something like yeah. that as a pendant. Amazing. Four ninety nine. Absolutely Very unbelievable. Good. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Sean. Hello to you, Liz. London, Suffolk. Hello to you, North Yorkshire. Lancashire, Kim, maker in London. Make sure you're checking out everybody. 0800 644 is the free phone telephone number to call. I've got 44 of these available. What a Friday show we've got planned for you today. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Oodles of fun because, you know, it's Claire. It's Claire. And you are fun. Oh, thanks. She's a hoot. You're, you're fun. She's a hoot. It's a, fun, it's a fun team, isn't it? It is a fun team. Yeah. Yeah, it is a good team. Are you enjoying it, Becky, on our team, I should say? Yeah. 
Are you enjoying it? We haven't scared you yet. No. That's alright then. Because this is what, week two, three? Second. second week. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. See? See, Becky, we haven't scared Becky off yet. I say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we don't scare you off. Because we're a hoot. <laughs> we're such a laugh, honestly. <laughs> Properly cool. <laughs> we love a bit of busted. Not busted, but fly. You see, I'm getting the boy bands mixed up now and everything. We're so cool. Um, make sure you check out everybody on this. Yeah, don't leave. No, yeah, don't, don't leave. leave. We need you. Um, Hazel, Vera, Jean, well done, London, Rachel. Uh, sorry, Kim. Congratulations. Coming up. Well, you suggested using uh, Ganesh as a, as a pendant. Oh, look, yes. How about that? That would be lovely, and it would bring out the blue in the Labradorite as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, nice. Amazing. Actually, put it on the Ganesh. Oh, yes. Yeah, look, the blue flashes are really coming out, aren't they? That's now? gorgeous. Yeah. And where else would you find a piece of jewellery like that? You know? Totally unique, yeah. Very, very, very unique. And I think that's a lot of the reasons why many of us get into making jewellery. It's not just about the affordability. It's about being able to create one-of-a-kind pieces. Um, well done, everyone. Shop ahead on your Neon Appetite. <clears throat> okay, it's busy, but Ross is saying I'm going to really wake you up now. Oh, Ooh. okay. Botswana Rage in your nuggets. I love Botswana. <laughs> this is like the, the, you know those obnoxiously loud alarm clocks that just oh, ah, who oh, has those no. no awful 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 or a glass of water <laughs> that's how we're going to wake you up for this Botswana <laughs> opportunity <laughs> is that is that how you wake up in the mornings Ross like a glass of water to the face yeah yeah something like that Something like that. I mean, to be fair, you have got two young children, so it is something like that. Um, Nat, yeah, what, your two children don't wake you up early? Listen, Ross, can I just say, neither did Tiggy. I am talking past tense. She does now. Um, her, the elder gets her up, yeah, before Bria. Quarter to six. Yeah, both of mine were up really early this morning. But but Tiggy goes, she always used to like lie in Did Tiggy. She? But now she's like, Mummy, <laughs> I'm away. <laughs> That's what I get. I was like, well, get out of bed then. I've got to come and physically get you out of bed. Mummy. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. The king of agate in your beautiful Botswana. No dying. This is all totally and utterly natural. Um, and I know I keep repeating this every time I see it over recent auctions, but I didn't know it was one locational until very recently. That is, that's a beautiful example of it Stunning, as well. I can just it? see all the marking from here. That's incredible. Yeah. Stunning. Now, it's busy, but Russ says I'm about to massively wake you into your day. How many have we got, Roscoe? 80 available. Hands up if you love your Botswana. What's not to love? Yeah, if you definitely. love gemstones, you yeah. love Botswana. Yeah. We're not stopping there, Claire. 30 second clock. Right. 30 second clock on your screen. What's not to love about Botswana? I know. I, I, just looking at all those wonderful stripes in there. And I think it's the shape as well, isn't it? Which works really well with all those different markings. Look at this one down here. I know. I th one at the front, and then there's one sort there. of um, more on to. Yeah, this one here. That I one love there. that one. Yeah. It reminds me of like something like tiras tiramisu. Yes, yeah. They just get layers of deliciousness. Some, some with like a. I was going to say translucency, but that'd be wrong for, tran uh, for tiramisu. But you get the idea. You get different consistency. Mm. And it's all natural. Seven ninety nine jewelry makers for Botswana. Oh, there's 80 available. Ross says it's pretty good, but it's not your Friday morning deal. We're going to start your weekend with a bang. Love it. Text in what you're up to this weekend. You do anything nice? You up to anything nice? I can't believe it's the weekend already, to be honest. The, the, the week has gone mm. so fast. My job was poorly last weekend. Aww. And then I was all right for the Sunday, the christening. 
But uh, that's why I've got a cough and everything now. Um, but I can't believe it's, it's a week on already. Oh yeah, crazy quick. Where does time go? Natural What's Botswana Agate. And they're large stones as well. We don't see it that often. Six ninety nine. I've got seventy. And a nice twist. Ooh, be nice because you've got lots of texture in there, haven't you? Back in the day when I used to make kits, Claire, this was always oh. a, pa a pairing for me. Oh, lovely. Yes. Yeah. We've got eighty. Did you say? Sorry. Shall all eighty disappear today, jewelry makers? And how we're going to do that? by taking it under five pounds should we do it but we need all 80 to go <gasps> hang on a minute hang on a minute claire for me it's one of those perfect backdrops mm. look at that yeah. would you like that yeah. as a project yes please yes i would you know three three strands yeah, nice bit of sterling silver you're making amazing jewelry aren't you yeah absolutely amazing jewelry i always think botswana is like um the perfect it's kind of bridging stone, mm. if that makes sense, yeah. between sort of bright colours and yes. then um, a pale colour. Yeah, nice, yeah. Under five pounds, not enough people, says Ross. Not enough people on the phone lines. We want to take the King of Agate under five pounds, but in order to do so, we need to make sure that it is an on-screen sellout. There we go, that's more like it, says Roscoe. There you go, That's that was more of an easing into your Friday, Ross. That wasn't the, the, the cold glass That's like of water. a tickle, a tickle wake A tickle up. into your day. Yeah, not a... <laughs> a tickle into your day. That's a perfect not, way, not, yeah. Not the cold no. glass of water to the face. I think I'd rather the tickle. Yeah. <laughs> Under five pounds. <laughs> Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. multi is getting involved. Sorry, I went quiet then because I was like, I need to stop talking because otherwise I'm going to get myself in trouble. Get myself in trouble. <laughs> Naughty. Um, no, I wasn't. Uh, hello, Miss Janet. Hi, gorgeous girls and team jewelry makers. Sending you best wishes for a lovely, long and happy life in your new home, Claire. Oh, Miss Janet, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very Thank excited. You. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I need to. I need to see and bring you. I'll bring you cake. You're gonna come flowers. and flowers. I need to come and see. Yes, that'd Can be lovely. I? Yeah, yeah. Bring the girls. That'd be lovely. Oh. Oh. I mean, they're, I don't want them to destroy your nice new house. No. Yeah. 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 Move to beautiful Oxford. Yeah. Oxford beautiful Oxford. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Marjorie. Saying hi, oh, Claire. Glad to hear the move went well. Oh, um, Dave. <laughs> Dave. Fishing. <laughs> And I'm spending. Oh, you enjoy March. Oh, That's lovely. It sounds yeah. like a perfect afternoon. Oh, lovely. Uh, perfect March. morning. Yeah. Dave's Thanks, off fishing. Mark. So you're shopping. Yeah. Amazing. Hi, Jenny saying, uh, morning, everyone. Uh, everyone. Elle, it was Buster Do Sang Year 3000. Told you I was getting mixed oh, up. Well done, Jenny. Always well getting done. mixed up. Um, hello, Lucy saying, good morning, lovelies from Sunny Peak District. Looking Ooh, forward nice. to a chill morning watching you both. Mwah. Yeah. Beautiful Peak District. Oh, morning, Lucy. Amazing. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Anne in Worcestershire. Morning, lovelies. I'm turning 60 next week and planning an afternoon tea with Fizz Party Ooh. due to the old age, um, <laughs> early evening fade. <laughs> finishing early. It's a uh, good plan, Anne. Yeah, I mean, and I'm like that now at 45. Have a brilliant, brilliant time, yeah. There's a Happy meme birthday. somewhere. Happy birthday ne for next weekend. There's a meme somewhere. There's like this kind of chihuahua dog that, that you see him. He's got his tongue out like that. And he gets up and he's like, oh, that's me about half past nine at night. Mm. Just start getting a little yeah. bit sleepy. But going to bed early is lovely, isn't it? That's yeah, really nice. That's a, one of the yes. best things ever. Um, yeah. And it's good for you. Yeah. Right, sticking with your beautiful agates. Uh, sleep is good. It is funny, as you get older, the punishments as a youngster become like a luxury. I know, older, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're not going out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right then yeah you, you <laughs> get to bed early get to bed early okay all right. that's fine right <laughs> let's stick with your agates how about some beautiful sakura natural that's beautiful oh, isn't this it with the botswana yeah yeah and the pearls that you've had as well that's yeah lovely. very pretty now um prime example the two strands that i've just brought you have shown you the difference in your agates so botswana forms in layers 
um, that you could see quite clearly, I think, in that previous strand. Um, whereas your cherry blossom agate, also known as Sakura agate, actually has um, three dimensional blooms. So they literally look like blossom flowers, like nature's confetti. Um, it's a very rare, it's often a rare variety of agates. Please don't misinterpret, misinterpret the Botswana or your Sakura as the same kind of value as, say, a dyed agate, for example. It's very, very different. Um, often referred to as the darling of your agates. Now, at $49.99, we want to do another auction to see how many of you are watching. So the price that we're at now, that's where it launched. Amazing. Yeah. In February this year. Should even be on split pay. And it absolutely flew on launch at that price tag. On Ross's first price crash, he's going to half that price. Half the launch price. Oh. I'm just making kits again. And then we're going to go even lower. What do you reckon to that? Oh, lovely. That's very summery, isn't it? Colorado mm. uh, Amazonite. I almost said Colorado Avocado then. <laughs> <laughs> Colorado Amazonite. Um, Sakura Age, which is what's on the screens right now. 10 seconds, it's going even lower than half the launch price. Pearls, and then your early bird neon appetite. That's a How gorgeous about that? combination. Half the launch price, but going even lower. Yeah, nineteen ninety nine. Goodness me, for Sakura Agate, the darling of your agates. One of the one of the more expensive ones because of its rarity, obviously, and the fact that it actually forms in blooms rather than layers. Make sure you're checking out. Look at the split pay, six pound sixty six. What's that? Gosh. Ross, how many have we got? Lovely. 18 so you need to be quick that's the uh, colorado amazonite that's coming up do you know adam director adam was just saying that if you were opening like a breakfast cafe or something like that colorado avocado would be a good name it would be it would be a it's good very name. catchy yeah i've always wanted a cafe yeah my own little cafe like yeah. sandwich cafe shop yeah you should do it oh uh, yeah should i've do always it. wanted to do that hmm I said, if ever, if ever jewellery maker gave me the book. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's exactly what I would do. I'd open my own little cafe. Well, now you've got the name for it as well. Colorado you? Avocado. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That means my speciality has to be avocado. Yeah. I don't know where the Colorado comes into it. Oh, well, there was a day on Jewelry Maker where instead of saying Colorado Amazonite, I only wanted to say Colorado Avocado. And it Are you going to say that to all customers? <laughs> <laughs> but it's catchy. Um, we have just single figure quantities. Samantha, J. Marie, Cambridgeshire, Michael, another Samantha, well done. Um, Elaine, Cambridgeshire, Paula, new customer, Anna, hello to you, Neathport Talbot. Do you like avocado? I do like avocado. I do. I do love... you put chili in your avocado? I, I, I don't mind it, yeah, with that. Yeah. Do you mash I like it? a bit. Of, uh, yes, I like slicing it. Slicing. Yeah, sometimes the consistency can just t overtake the, you know, you're like... <laughs> well, you don't like it too mushy? Not too mushy. Okay. So I prefer to just scoop it yeah, out I'm and slice all, I'm all it. good. It's like guacamole then, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. The first slice, I think. <laughs> I, do, I do like that. Do we yeah. agree, though? Because I think even back in, like, the 80s, avocado, a bit pretentious. You know, mm. if like you have avocado on toast, I love that, by the way. But like, my husband always does a. <laughs> it's a bit pretentious. It, like, is it? And I remember when my aunt and uncle used to come over for family meals, it would always be like, what's the starter? Avocado, just because it's a bit posh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do what, sorry? Oh, the peacock pearls. Oh, how lovely to see. Yeah, when was the last time we saw oh, no, these? Beautiful. Yeah, that's when you're trying to impress people, isn't it? When you mm. like, what, what, what are you cooking? Avocado. Well, not cooking. <laughs> I'm gonna make some prawn cocktail and go put it in the middle of an avocado. Oh, get it's you! Delicious. <laughs> um, it is delicious. Um, beautiful peacock pearls in this lovely, elegant rice shape. It's oh, look at ages. the colours there. <gasps> Gotta do this again, Claire. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, and with the um, Neon Appetite. 
Neon Appetite. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Tell lovely, you what, we've yeah. got some lovely like com additions. Yes, it's all colours, isn't it? Amazing colours. That will all work beautifully yeah. together. Yeah. We're at £199. Let's immediately get this under £100, jewellery makers. That's your early bird. Do shop ahead on that. We've got 500 of those. Amazing quality peacock uh, pearls. And we are nowhere near our closing price. 19 available you get the full overtones oh, that, yeah i mean the reality is this is like the beauty of a tahitian pearl without the tahitian pearl price tag yeah um and we spoke about how certain pearls can be treated to take on sort of color saturations prime example um but to actually get to get to get the other colors because it's not just one static color is it you get overtones and undertones mm. of pearls we're gonna go even lower loads of you getting involved are you ready haven't seen it in ages peacock pearls Silly price, says Russ. It is a silly price. Wonderful. I mean, and they're nice. They are nice, aren't they, for earrings as well? Because I can see, I can see the rye shape, but loads of um, drops. Drops, yeah. Be nice on those head pins that you've got. Just gorgeous. Yeah, Any yeah. pearl strand should not be under fifty pounds these days. That's the thing. It's mm. so difficult to mm. get hold of pearls. Um, and yeah, well, when was the last time we actually brought you peacock variety? It's been ages. So do grab it whilst you can. London, well done to you. Lincolnshire snapped up too. Maker, Beverly, hello to you. Uh, Barbara in West Midlands. Morning, everybody. Morning. What, tell us what you're up to this weekend. Are you off to Devon? Are you off to Warwick Castle? What are you up to, Becky, this weekend? I know you're working. Gym. Gym? Oh, very good. Do you like the gym? Right. It's all right, yeah, fair play. I wish I liked the gym. Oh, you get a PT session. Wow, okay, Ooh. very good, very impressive. What are you up to, boys? Ah, uh, it's Ross's father-in-law's birthday today. Oh, happy happy birthday, birthday, Ross's father-in-law. What about you, Ads? Enjoying the sunshine. Firing up the barbie? Maybe, why not? Why not? Bit of cricket, yeah, mm. get involved. A bit of who? Allotment, right. Oh. I was like, who's Lottie? <laughs> right. <laughs> There's 10 of these left, jewellery makers. I've got uh, <laughs> Sarah in Middlesex, Barbara in West Midlands, London, new customers, Anne, well done to you, Margaret. Uh, Millie B, congratulations. I was going to say, call it the allotment because you almost got yourself in trouble there. You almost got... <laughs> <laughs> Who's Lottie? <laughs> no, that's the allotment. Right, oh, okay, right, right, right. Um, In 42 seconds, we're going to have to close this auction. And we're down to single figure quantities. Ah, oh, single figures. Um, amazing. And this will complement so much, won't it? All pills do, whether they are, you know, the peacock shades or whether they're pure whites or mm. multicolours, they naturally complement. Mm. Um, also, another thing I haven't mentioned that's coming up on today's show is jet. We've got some brand new jet. Is that, because I was thinking it would be nice with the darker tones as well. Yes, yeah, that's... Um, that's jet. Wow, look at that. How lovely. Yeah, that's nice together, isn't it? I'm going to do this as well, Claire. Yes. Ooh, that's beautiful. It's quite mysterious, isn't it? Yeah. Like like us, Claire, we're mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Claire's winky eyes hurt in a second, so I can't make her laugh. As we were trying to be mysterious. <laughs> um, amazing. Right, let's do some beautiful Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. What was that ad? She's got a winky eye. Yeah. Yeah. Bless her. Mm. You get that sometimes, don't you? It's just... always that eye as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a good look. <laughs> but when you're making me laugh, that's and it's that's it's really it triggers it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll try it's not a serious to make you laugh. Ad, serious please, <laughs> Mother of pearl and beautiful petals. These are brand new. Oh, we did. We These had a lovely really little nice. run of Mother of Pearl. But we actually didn't have time to play this. Now, they're curved petals. So if you're a wire worker extraordinaire, like oh, our amazing perfect. pair, you can make some lovely three-dimensional Yeah, wonderful. Flowers. They? flowers, yeah. They're brand new. They've never been on they're it They're a before. lovely size, aren't they? I've seen larger than that, which sometimes can make, you know, too big a flower. Yeah. These are great. Yeah, pretty. 
really pretty love mother of pearl um and as with everything pearl related <coughs> whether you're talking pearls shell pearl whether you're talking mother of pearl the price has gone up and that's because obviously well it's been a knock-on effect obviously pandemic and then of course you've got to wait for the harvest probably mother of pearl more so than actual pearls because they've got a culture before you get the mother of pearl um anyway so to see it at 19 pounds and 99 pence this is a brand new strand perfect for summertime Ah, oh, you could you can really go all out with Mother of Pearl because it is quite lightweight as well, isn't it? And it do, it brings a lightness as well, doesn't yeah. it? Color, yeah. tone wise. Yeah, because you get that lovely yeah the iridescence, iridescence yeah. across the surface. Yeah. Imagine some wonderful like Mother of Pearl mm. waterfall star. Or just one with a little you know maybe a seed pearl or one of the other pearls that you've got just you know nestled in. It's a bit like a be tiny oyster. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, lovely. Stunning. I'm going to reach for that strand time and time and time mm. again because you'll use it with so much, won't yeah. you? How many have we got, Roscoe? 20. Oh, I don't think that's going to be enough, is it? Not stopping at 19.99, jewelry makers. After everything we just said about everything going up in the pearl industry, mm. mother of pearl at 12.99. In such a great shape as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you could just, you know, have one on its own and you're just looking at it, at, you know, as, as mother of pearl, or if you, maybe you do why work sculpture, so you've got wings, butterfly wings, haven't you, dragonfly wings, things like that. Oyster shells. Yes, yeah. You almost yeah. create that kind of look, yeah. wouldn't you? I'm visualizing this and it's only summertime I ever start thinking about anklets. Oh. You could have a couple of them on an anklet, yeah, you? Yeah, nice. With like a lovely flops. charm. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice little charm. Uh, Lavinia, Ayrshire, Alison, Paula, Sh Sharon, Gloria, Lorraine, Mary, Linda, well done. Remember, jewellery makers, at the top of this hour, everything does time out. So uh, do make sure you're checking out your baskets to avoid disappointment. And don't forget your early bird, which we have 500 of, this beautiful neon appetite strand that I've pretty much held with absolutely everything that I've played today. Um, you can see why, though. It's absolutely gorgeous. This will sell out. We're over-allocated. Wendy's there, Jane's there, Janet's there, Sharon's there, Gloria's there Lorraine's there uh, Mary's there it's the first time to air so it's going to be a what I call a one show wonder like Chesney Hawks one hit wonder wasn't he <laughs> lots of you requesting what sorry the bead stoppers I bought these last time they were on they, it was I think we worked it out 2017 was the last time we actually had bead stoppers on Gosh. air prior to these and I have to say, they're very soft bead so stoppers. Oh, nice, yeah. They're yeah. not too solid. They haven't been on air for over a month, but prior to that, it was 2017. You get 20 of them. There's only 30, ooh, there's only 30 left, and they literally stop beads falling off your beading thread, basically, or your elastic or whatever mm. it is. They are a really good uh, idea if you're making jewellery. I bought these last time they were on. Um, and they don't stop there, Claire. Once you've got them in your stash... You know, you've got 20 of them there. Yeah. There's loads. You can also use them if you're doing things like the illusion necklace and you want to glue things in place. Just very useful, aren't they? Just that you don't, I don't know, sometimes when you're you're working, you can forget, you know, you might have to stop and then you don't want to yeah. destroy everything that you've just made. If you've been sea beading, you can just literally hold it all together yeah. with your bead yeah. stoppers. Um, $7.99. We've only got 30 of them left. You get a pack of 20 of them too. Yeah, from your stretchies to your beading thread to your monofilament to mm. your wildfires to your wires, I guess, Claire, mm, as yeah, well. Yeah, fine wires. Yeah, you could probably put those in as well, couldn't you? You know, if you're braiding wire or something like yeah, that and you wanted yeah, to hold it in yeah. place, do you reckon that yeah, would work? Yeah, definitely. Have what? The thing is, you've got enough there, haven't you? So, yeah. it, you know, like a bit like, you know, with Mark and his macrame boards, you yeah. might have um, certain ones for thicker that he uses for wires because it will slightly distort it we've got plenty there haven't you for different yeah, thicknesses tons, tons. and they're nice and soft yeah whereas the ones we used to have i think they were purple were a little bit more solid they were, they were like a, a workout weren't they yeah. for your, your yeah. fingers <laughs> a workout for your fingers whereas look at these um and look my nails match that's a perfect match that's it was distracting me because that is a perfect color match isn't it <laughs> that's not intentional <laughs> That's good planning, Al. The colours on my nails were actually to match my dress on Sunday. So, uh, um, but yeah, last Sunday. Um, there you go. You get a pack of 20 of them. We've only got 30 left. And I don't know. Just remember that the, prior to these being relaunched, it was 2017 that we last had bead stoppers. That's, what, seven years, we believe. 
I think I'm sh it was, wasn't it, about seven years, which is a long time. <laughs> um, well done. Now, I've got one more auction to bring you before your appetite. And it's going to be this gorgeous. Ah, oh. oh, this absolutely gorgeous <clears throat> um, quartzite jade. Now, your appetite is stunning. Look at that colour. It, it kind of still to this day boggles my brain that something that vibrant, that beautiful can literally get extracted from the ground. Mm. Um, so we'll talk some more about Neon Appetite. It's happening one auction's time. We've got 500. It's going to an unbelievable price tag. Um, here's a hint. I wouldn't be surprised if people don't get 10. There's a hint. Um, but first, let's bring you some gorgeous quartzite jade in a classic stretchy bracelet. Now, if you can't go with the bangles, I do get that because sometimes bangles can be um, a little harder to wear. You might not like the feel of a bangle. Um, this is a fantastic alternative. You might find you might have painful um, joints or knuckles so that you find that actually pushing bangles over your wrist may be a little bit uncomfortable. Um, or you've got particularly petite hands, um, in which case a bangle will be more tricky. This is your quartzite jade. Now, um, these are not my words. This is not just the words of Gemporia. We have been uh, educated on this from China themselves. Lots of the sort of large gemological publications are actually referring to it, including the GIA. Um, quartzite jade is a new variety of jade in the same way and I do understand it because I, I'll be honest I was quite eh I didn't I just couldn't get my head around it at first because we'd always known quartzite as quartzite hadn't mm. we um, but I do understand it imagine nephrites your jade and, and we're, we're 9,000 years ago so like, yeah nephrites are jade amazing um, and there can only be nephrite and then fast forward to what, 800 years ago, jadeite comes along. Gemologically, they're very different. They're not the same gemstone. They're not related like your beryls or your corundums, for example. Um, it's a different gem. Um, but they say, okay, that's a jade. And all the nephrite lovers go, oh. This is how I, I process it in my head. Mm -hmm. Well, hang on a minute. But it is now. We know that jadeite and nephrite are jade. We're now having to do to repeat that process, if you like, with your quartzite jade. These are all natural colours. And it's gorgeous, isn't it? That's stunning, I've got eight yeah. chances op, uh, um, available. There was only ever 40 made. You could deconstruct this, Claire, if you wanted to, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah absolutely, because they are they're, they're focal, aren't they? pieces yes, themselves beads. definitely well, but they look amazing like that together those colors they're kind of gurus aren't they yeah i mean you've got pretty much every color that you could want from your quartzite jade you've got the oranges you've got the dark more forest greens you've got the honey yellows and you've got all the rounds in there with the translucency again we need to absolutely remember that when we're talking about um whatever variety of jade it is you want the color and you want that translucency now jewelry makers we do not have a huge amount of these there is eight that's it once they're gone they're gone and even here at 499 pounds that's an amazing price tag it is definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity whether that's nephrite jade eye or your quartzite jade um you know we call it quartzite jade so that we can almost come to terms i think that's probably the wrong words but come to terms with the fact that this has now been descri described as a jade um whereas if you just went to china they just say jade they would just say jade but we like to be completely transparent so the newest member of the jade family the younger sibling we're at 149 pounds it's totally and utterly natural i've got eight available within the vault pardon Ross has just said in my ear, L, I'm going to take this to double figures. I love the orange. I really gravitate mm. towards that orange. Yeah, yeah. The last auction before your neon appetite, and that will go crazy. Now, we are over allocated. 30 seconds, and we're going to go even lower. There's, there was eight. That's it. Cumbria, you've got yours. Well done. I only have had 40. Again, that's out the rarity of the gem itself. Um, straight away collectors getting involved. I think we're down to six. Um, I've got another Cumbria. I've got Margaret. I've got Candy. I've got London. Classic, classic piece of jewellery. I love the beauty of quartzite jade because you get palettes of colours that you don't see 
Um, or if you did see in your jadeite jade, they'll be astonishingly expensive. Mm. We're, we're sourcing quartzite jade in its infancy right now. What I mean by that is you're getting in before the world wakes up to this newest variety, which we'd have had to have done 800 wow. years ago. Does that make sense? Wow, that's amazing. £79.99. pence. Nicolette, well done. You can still do it, jewelry makers, but you do need to be quite quick. Um, Amy and sorry, you're there as well. Christine in Midlothian, I can see you. Twenty-six pounds and sixty-six pence on split pay. It's very good, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I, mean, <clears throat> I don't think I could separate that. I feel, I feel like that's something that you would wear all the time. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And I love the combination as well, because you've got almost like the warmth, warm colours, haven't you? And then yeah, you the have. cooler ones, but it works so well. Well, look, you've got look at that. the deepest <gasps> red. Yeah. You've got the honey yellows. Yeah. You've got the like kind of forest greens. I love that one, like a moss and snow. Yeah. You've got the oranges. And all of these are natural jewellery makers. All of these are totally and utterly natural. So yeah, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Um, Ayrshire, you've got yours well done. I've got <clears> two left. Who's going to get the final two? Hazel, Christine, Amy, Margaret, Candy. You can do it. Hazel's done it. Well done, Hazel. There's one left. Who's going to have that last one? Before our last final auction of this hour, the glowing neon appetite. Oh, I'm yes. going to leave it with you. Karen's there as well in Hampshire. Well done. Good luck. Um, okay, now, lovely jewellery makers. At the beginning of this year, maybe even actually a little bit before that, um, we started discussing two gemstones. I say we, um, this was mostly initiated by Ross. He was like, you know what? I think 2024, 2025 are gonna be, is going to be the year of two stones. The year of Amma's Night, which you're going to see later on at 10 o'clock, but also the year of Neon Appetite. Not other colours of Appetite, neon appetite in particular and i was like i get that i totally get where you're coming from it's a beautiful gemstone it's an incredibly rare gemstone and it is taking the jewelry world by storm you you have a 500 quantity opportunity jewelry makers in micro faceted at stunning saturation and it's up next <laughs> Okay, um, I think actually it was this article which was written back in 2015, is it, or 16? 16. Um, but obviously we didn't read it straight away, so it, I think it might well have been this article that really sort of, I don't know, sparked a lot of our interest in this amazing gemstone. Um, neon Appetite, or Appetite firstly, is, is a, a little known gemstone, natural fact, to many collectors. And that's because, if you think about it this way, if you go on the high street, you look into a lot of your jewellery shops, they most likely won't have appetite. And that's not because, um, they, it's not because the want's not there, it's because the supply's not there. Um, but a beautiful article was written by the jewellery editor that all of you can read as well, it's available on the website. Um, and they talk about appetite and call it the great unknown gemstone. Join us on a voyage into the secret heart of appetite and discover the spell, spellbinding beauty of this little known gem. And look at that piece of jewellery. I mean, it, it does mm. literally glow. Um, you know, the strand that you're about to see, whilst they're faceted beads as opposed to a calibrated, they're very similar in their saturation. Appetite is very much an insider gemstone, collector's secret, largely unknown to the general public. Occurring in a kaleidoscope of colours, including electrifying shades of neon blue, often confused with Paraba tourmaline. Appetite is considered a prized possession among collectors, and then they repeat themselves saying, join us on a voyage into the secret heart of Appetite and discover some of the jewellers who have been bewitched by this magical stone just waiting to be unearthed. You know, they make that comparison there straight away within the first par uh, paragraph of that article, you know, not dissimilar to Paraba tourmaline. And that's the, it's the only other gemstone I think you can compare with it. Uh, they go on to say Canadian born designer Kat Florence has an eye for rare gems and hunts down unusual stones from all over the world. She discovered Neon Appetite two years ago while traveling, traveling through Bahia in Brazil. 
Its colour rivaled the finest and most valuable Pareva tourmalines at a fraction of the price, she says. The value of appetite depends primarily on colour saturation, so specimens with a high colour intensity command the best price. That's important. It is about colour saturation. So what you don't want is your neon appetite, uh, appetite to be pale or wishy-washy. You want that beautiful intensity. They go on to say size matters um, when it comes to appetite since finding larger stones weighing over one carat is extremely rare. Equally though on that, and that's absolutely true, equally on that, it's not a gemstone that is actually frequently faceted, micro faceted in particular, um, because it's incredibly challenging to cut. And when we flick through this PowerPoint, you'll see so sort of the, the natural formation of appetite uh, makes it quite a difficult gemstone to micro facet. Um, so this is Kat Florence, the lady who um, was just talking about appetite. And there she is with Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, uh, there's Kat Florence again with... Amy Adams, I always forget her name. Um, so she has been a go-to jeweler for uh, many of the uh, rich and famous. Um, here's a couple of her pieces. Um, I don't know if you can just make out the price. 8,000 euros for the one on the left. And 10,000 the one on the right. Um, and again, very similar to, these aren't Paraba, but if we just were to look at that as if they were a Paraba, similar to Paraba, you can actually get the blues and the greens as well in your Neon Appetite. And again, on her website, you can see pieces like this. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? But again, expensive, and they're set in platinum as well. So that, again, highlights the uh, rarity of the gemstone. This is a Greek jeweler. Um, you know, I was discussing the fact that you can sometimes see the formation. It literally looks like a swimming pool, doesn't it? Mm. Um, set in gold, and that's 808 pounds, that piece. You've got the matching earrings, 680 pounds. Um, 700 pounds for that piece, you know, quite interesting. Um, then you've got this amazing piece, I think it's got the Praber on the circumference. Um, that's 9,000 euros, neon appetite in the center, one of a kind appetite doublet. So that's a slice of appetite, basically. It's not even a sol solid stone. Uh, doublet and diamond art ring, 1,025 pounds. Um, then you've got a piece like, oh, well, I load lust okay um on a paperclip chain at 1080 pounds so you know it's a tiny percentage of your neon appetite but i get why lots of these big designers are choosing it you can go um i can't remember where i got this from but blue appetite double beaded bracelet 345 pounds could you make that jewelry makers i think you could um yellow um yellow gold plated sterling silver um, beaded bracelet with appetite yeah there you go uh, 229 pounds you could definitely make all of these mm. pieces it's about sourcing the actual gemstone um, now firstly ask yourself this question how often do you see neon appetite if we see it it sells out because we have all woken up to the fact that it is in so you could go to Harrods you can go to Wolf and Badger you can go pretty much everywhere and you will see neon appetite but you see it at high prices. It's not like a, an affordable gem these days. Um, when have you seen it in microfaceted? And with it, that yeah. quality yeah. of color, sometimes appetite is heat treated and that's fine. This is natural. Totally natural. We have five hundred but we're going to sell out of every single one of those because i'm going to give you another little hint jewelry makers today if you love neon appetite is the day to multi-buy 100 percent. there is no way near enough people on the phone lines because you think about it this way could you use them as an alternate to your knots could you use them in your tassels could you use them in your looming or your uh, um, channel setting or all of your wire work now let's not mess around on this I want to we need to manage this auction because 500 has full potential to break the web the app and the phone lines and that won't be great first price crash jewelry makers 
for natural glowing neon appetite Do you know where this is going? I've no idea. Oh, Claire. I've no idea. There was a hint when I said you can get 10. It's, it, I, I genuinely, genu hand on heart, I don't think we've done Neon Appetite this affordably before. Genuinely. Do you agree, Ross? I don't think we've... In such a lovely strand as yeah. well. And such a great example of it. I genuinely that don't colour. think we've ever taken Neon Appetite to the price that we're about to today. Genuinely. And that's another hint. We are not done, but there is no way near enough. I need you to trust the process, jewelry makers. <coughs> Excuse me. You are not paying twenty nine ninety nine. Not paying fourteen ninety nine. How about under ten pounds? Yeah, I mean all day long. Yeah. That's an amazing price. There are 500 of these available, and that is why and how we get this under £10 jewelry makers. Any other day, if we had, say, 50, which would be a more usual neon appetite quantity, then you'd be talking probably the first price, 29 99 maybe 20 I think. It's still not your price. It is still not your price. And 90% of you have chosen to multi-buy. Thank you for trusting us. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. We are going lower. Under 10. And we crash again. Keep on dialing through. Brand new. Natural. Faceted. Neon appetite. A gem that you will see from meters away. The only reason that we can take this under 10 pounds is because of the quantity. If we had 100... Fourteen ninety nine, I think Ross would be more than. Okay, jewelry makers, good luck. Well done, Angela getting ten, Judith getting six, Michelle getting four, Jan getting four. Nobody is paying nine ninety nine. Wow, seven ninety nine for Neon Appetite. Did you see any affordable pieces no, there? No, not at all. There were, there, there were thousands, hundreds, hundreds of thousands. Yeah, more thousands and then hundreds. I mean, that you are getting. I love strands. And you don't get them that, that often, do you? Where nope. you've got a delicate size. You could have literally re-strand and you get impact from colour, yeah. sparkle. That doesn't happen very often, does no, it? No, if you just and put not one. not at seven ninety nine. No. If you put one, Claire, yeah, you see, will see that yes, colour. Yeah, which yeah. in a two mil stone, I imagine there's not many that yeah, would have that. That's very impressive. And that shouldn't be overlooked, should it, in jewellery making? No. You're bringing that colour into it. Um, With a two mil sparkle. stone? Yeah, yeah. Charlene, you've got ten. Wiltshire's got four. I would, Charlene, that's the quantity I would go for. Angela's got ten as well. I would, because you know. And how many gemstones, genuine question, jewellery makers, how many gems are two mil in size, but you will still see that color from meters away. Mm. You know, yeah. that it is impressive. That's mm. the perfect description, mm. Claire. Impressive. And it's about the intensity. Remember what the jewelry editor said. With Neon Appetite, um, the value of appetite depends primarily on color saturation. So specimens with a high color intensity command the best price. Look at this color. We're at seven ninety nine, jewelry makers, but we're not done. We are not done. Whether you're the first person or the very last person to make your confirmations, we have five hundred. Over ninety percent of you have chosen to multi buy. I would be doing exactly the same. Sheila's got four. Mandy's got four. Susan's got three. Susan. Uh, uh, I can't keep up with you, honestly. Uh, Melanie, you've got three. Paula, you've got multiples. Well done. You can still do it. Today, for faceted, natural, neon appetite, £6.99. Wow. pence. So that, I mean, that's, the, you know, you could do tassel earrings, couldn't you? You know, where you're, if you are multi-buy oh. and doing things, you know, I mean, beady beads, you could just do loads and loads of beady beads yeah, and thread them all out. together. Go all out. Yeah. Genuinely, Claire, I think you and I launched micro-faceted gemstones, and they were like fourteen ninety five. Oh, weren't yeah, they? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Hello, Lily. These are stunning. Grab two. I don't blame you, Lily. 
Lovely. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? You know, I'm not great at knotting, so you could use these as knotting. Yeah, too. pop them in. Yeah, nice. But the pearls that you've got there would look lovely, wouldn't they? The two together, that contrast. Stunning. Yeah. yeah. With the big pearls that we've got coming absolutely. up at nine o'clock. Yeah. Amazing. Would well, the Amazonite that we're launching at yeah. ten o'clock would be absolutely amazing. Six pounds and ninety nine pence. So many multi buyers. Loads of you with it in your baskets as well. Guess what, though? We've got one more price crash. <gasps> when we have a quantity of 500, and, that, you know, it's one of those 500. Of course we're going to buy 500 of Neon Appetite, given the opportunity. Of course we are. We could have bought 200, maybe. But, no, we've got, we want everything. We want 500, but we're going to negotiate the best possible deal. That quantity means you get the most unbelievable deal you have 30 seconds and then we're gonna take you could do some my favorite <gasps> earrings i love those earrings you could do something like Natural. that couldn't you with... yeah can you imagine that that would look really nice wouldn't it i love those earrings yeah just on the you could take natural work, neon yeah. appetite under five pounds today you have 10 seconds to get involved, jewelry makers, until the phone lines and the web goes into absolute meltdown. Those, it was Lily, Lily who said she's got two. <coughs> Lily, I bet you're getting more. Because you've just got two for under 10 pounds. You can get four for under 20 pounds. That's what? Over a meter of neon appetite. Yeah, for less than twenty pounds, micro faceted neon appetite. In all appetite. the same size as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's not like you're buying a. You know, that's incredible. It's incredible. I agree with you, Claire. You can go all out. You can go for big tassels with it. Yeah. You could yeah. do things like your Capriccio bracelet with it. Wow. The phone lines have gone crazy. Mandy's got six. Wiltshire's got six. Um, Judas got six. Well done to you. Angela's got 10, Mary in Cardiff's just got six, um, Doreen's just got four, you get the idea, Sheila's multi-bought, well done to you, uh, Charlene, like I said, you've got 10, I've got Marie getting 10, um, every single person pays that final low price tag, jewellery makers, we've got 500, however, what we've got to remember, 500 is, you know, you think how many people have actually multi-bought on there, mm. over, half the stock has gone, Less than 200, there we go. And there's more than 200 people with it in their baskets, and that's assuming everyone just gets one. Um, so you do need to be quick checking out. If you're on the phone line, stay where you are. Our wonderful call center team will get to you, I promise you of that. There is no gemstone, in my eyes, like Neon Appetite. It literally speaks to you from across the room. Um, hi, Lily. <laughs> yeah, El, you were right. Doubled my order. <laughs> well, you, we'd be we'd be daft not to, Lily, wouldn't we? It makes sense, doesn't it? We would at that price for Neon Appetite. You know, we're here on a regular basis, and I don't see Neon Appetite at a fiver ever, like ever, let alone a faceted strand. Yeah, yeah, that is cool. It should be more expensive, Neon Appetite. Uh, sorry, Micro Neon yes, Appetite. Yes, because all the work that's gone into it. You yeah, know, I mean, it would. Yeah. In fact, when we launched your your micro gemstones, Claire, I'm sure that that's what our what our suppliers were saying to us. Mm. They're more expensive yeah. because they're smaller yeah. in size, yeah. um, so more challenging to do. Yet here we are bringing it to you in a fiver today. Amazing! Well done. From 500 quantity, they are flying, absolutely flying. There's so much potential, you know, with the uh, Colorado Amazonite that we've got coming out. Ooh, ooh. It's another gemstone that works really well with dark yeah, stones. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Very, very different feel to it there, look, yeah. And with your metals as well. So it's very yeah. clever, actually, as well, isn't it? Because it is going, it's going with everything. Everything. Yeah. Absolutely everything. Was anybody, all the times that this hour we've reached for this, Claire, and we've mentioned it, yeah. was anybody expecting it to be under five pounds? No way. No. I guess, like, you'd think, oh, okay, maybe I'll have to sacrifice something then if, yeah. if, if the price is amazing, isn't it? whether that's the colour or, I don't know, that it's not that sparkly. or But it's not, it's got everything. Not at and all. And it's still under £5. Yeah, you can see the luster, you can see that 
perfect color matching mm. you can see the remember remember that paragraph the value of appetite depends primarily on color saturation you've got that wonderful intensity of color saturation um all of that for fiver yeah i don't know anywhere else that can do this um hello mandy um i came for the amazonite but i'm over moon with the appetite yeah lovely. they go together yeah they go beautifully together mandy you bought you multi-bought on this as well didn't you um yeah i, I seem to can't see you now there's that many names mandy on the call screens but um you've multi-bought i don't blame you and uh, well you came for the amazonite the amazonite is coming up at 10 o'clock and you will not be disappointed okay jewelry makers clock to close not just your early bird but the entire hour we've got those insane pills coming up um we've got claire's amazing projects as well so um all about the stencils mm. yes soldering stencils yes yes um, so make sure if you've got any questions, yeah, those pearls are coming up too. I've only got seven of those available. Um, 41 seconds, we're going to have to close this auction opportunity. As long as you have it, um, you've got a phone in your hand, you're all good. If it's in your basket, you need to be checking it out before it disappears. Um, and get yourself ready for an amazing uh, demonstration, tutorial, and be inspired by a gorgeous Claire McDonald. And, and this is not just this auction we're closing out, it's everything that we've brought you so far this morning. Um, yeah, time's out. That's how you get these amazing, amazing, massively low deals. Um, incredible. Look at that. You know, I'll never tire of Neon Appetite. It's one of those gemstones that, like I said, speaks to you from across the room the pearls are coming up after this and then you've got your soldering stencils with gorgeous claire we'll see you in two Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a really good week. Nice to see the sun shining at last. I'm back in the studio this Saturday the 20th of July where I'm going to be joining Ross, L, and the team. And I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of my two project hours. At nine o'clock we have got the most incredible hematite selection including, can you see, Swarovski Rivoli elements. They are absolutely beautiful. These gorgeous little stone studded rondelles. They come included with the bundle. Eight millimeter faceted rounds, absolutely stunning. And a couple of weeks ago, you may remember I had beautiful, beautiful bicones and kite shapes. We've managed to get some more in for this Saturday in case anyone missed out on them. Look at that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? So that's at nine o'clock, amazing hematite. And then at 12 o'clock, now I've called them forget-me-nots. We've got these incredible bead caps. Now you may be wondering, that doesn't look like a bead cap. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to transform your bead caps into these absolutely beautiful connectors. We've got three colorways, gold, silver, and copper, all accompanied with the most incredible shell pearl, which I've not seen on the screen for ages. So again, I'm going to show you how to turn them into these beautiful connectors. So that's this Saturday. 20th of July, join myself, Eleanor and the team. Cannot wait to see you all there. Bye-bye. manager's special this week, but half of them have decided to go on holiday. So some of the team members have decided to take over instead, and now they think they're the managers. We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. 
Tune in this week for Manager's Specials on Jewellery Maker. Hello gorgeous jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. Um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your jewellery maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your jewellery maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Nice to see you. It has. I, I generally think it's been months. Mm, it has. It has. <laughs> I thought you were saying that's quite nice. Yeah, I haven't what, seen you. Yeah, we have, no, yeah. it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I don't, it's. Oh uh, yeah, it's lovely to have Claire on. On. It's on lovely our to screens. be here. Really now, lovely. Claire. Yes. Shape forming stencils what yes. are these all about so these these work very very well um for two i think for two reasons well lots of reasons but two main reasons for me so they you um when you're soldering what can be difficult is you can lay everything out but then like you said earlier you might put your torch on it and just the the action of that you're heating it might move it or just the power the force of the flame might move everything around so these sort of like hold everything together um which is, is great in itself but then what they also do is um, they almost slow the process down so you can almost like breathe and relax a little bit more and yeah. even maybe enjoy the process of soldering okay. rather because often you'll be like oh, I don't want to melt it or you know it's moved here or I need to do it quickly so it sort of contains it and slows it down which I, I really like that yeah well, well tools which in effect these are I suppose aren't they yes yeah are, they, yeah, are, are yeah. there to make our hobby ultimately yes. easier yeah and more yeah. enjoyable yeah. I suppose absolutely yeah so it's relieving that kind of stress and tension yes. of oh yes. I don't want to move it yes Keeps um, everything keeps neat everything and, tidy. and tidy. So yeah, it's, it's <coughs> yeah, they're really really good. So and obviously that they're, they're a stencil, so that they help you form a form a shape and keep that shape. Wow. So all of these pieces, which I imagine would be incredibly difficult to make without a stencil. Yes, because it it wouldn't be contained, would it? So um, and what I really like as well is uh, using using up scrap pieces, but because you're working within that framework. Um, it, it make whatever you're putting in there, it makes it look neat because it's almost it's framed in something, isn't it? That's so. amazing, Claire. I love it. Thank you. Absolutely love it. And like you said, it's also um, retaining all your precious metal as yeah, well. It's yeah, yeah. So there's no waste it. for things. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Now yeah. we're gonna and and also sorry, I want to show you the rings too because these are so cool, Claire. They're good, aren't they? So I, I really like I like anything you know anything to do with that. So this weekend, I'm really excited to see the sea. Because so to me these look like driftwood, so yeah, um, yeah. and that is again so pieces of um, pieces of wire, and because they're going into the the stencil shape, uh, you know that you can just layer them up, you can make them as as three D as you want. Gorgeous, and then even down to would you call that granulated those that ring there? Yeah, so that ring, if you it, do you want to take that, if you take that one out, you can see. Um, so that one is all the way around, so it's not the whole thing. You're almost like making your own beaded beaded wire, but because you've got uh, <gasps> so even the ring shank is is made it from um, all the different balls there. But because you've got the stencil, you just you lay all the balls out, um, and they stay they stay in the, they stay in the. The position you want them to right, be in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make sure those balls stay in position. Um, now, 
<laughs> you've got stencils in these shapes and you've got these kind of more slender ones yes I don't know how yeah so we've got a few them, few basically. different saws and they work they work really really well together really well okay let's start with um which one there's a rectangular and then there's like like a wishbone the wishbone so what do i do with this claire so this if you have a look at this so you've got um different notches along the side notches so it'll give you that um you can see there so it's going to give you that it's like a so but the, wonder woman yes yeah but so you can decide by using those notches that that depth yeah in there. so you could go much much thinner if you wanted to much wider so it's giving you that option so again so it's almost like a, it works well, lots of tools in, in one isn't it so, so you then can you see, can yeah, narrow it down absolutely like that. so that's up to you or then you take so if you take that one out again you turn it the other way that gives you that like that that shape like that so you can see now so if i bring that over so you can see that was oh formed in there so you just lay everything out and you're coming out at the sides here and the same with the ball one that, that you just you know you tried on you're just layering everything up but within that confined area do you know what claire it was three months ago that we last played these and that was, was it a, that was the last time we were with you <gasps> it was three months ago you know that's shocking isn't it yeah that is shocking and they absolutely flew out so we've only got 20 of these left of this uh, of this design so i mean all of your little off cuts so your jump rings your featherweights your head pins and everything keep Basically, it in a little pot any scrap so you can see so little bits like i mean you can see so that that's a little scrap bit so i would keep that so you can see here all of these yeah. little bits of wire, so everything like that, I'm going to keep and, and use. And you're just you're layering up, and you can make it as, as thin or as, as thick as you want. And maybe starting off, what you might want to do is you might think I, I don't want to, you know, that that's a little bit too um, freestyle for me. I want to keep it a lot more um, contained. So you work with if you've got jump rings, sterling silver jump rings, work with those, and that gives you yeah that type of ah. that type of look so it's, it's entirely up to you but if you've got that stencil it just contains everything in it's up to you what what, what you put inside what, what it inside yeah um, okay yeah. now we've got how many did you say 20 less than 20 available we're at 99 pounds and 99 pence in fact it's fully adjustable as well um this is going to sell out today claire it's uh, absolutely brilliant brilliant tool. and you can go right the way down as well to the, yeah, the fineness yeah, yeah um to create kind of like a wishbone stencil loving that 29.99 and i assume once you've got this you're not going to need to replace it no you? it's a really lovely it's a really lovely um solid piece and the fact that you've got those notches and that you know they, they they marry up really well so you can you can completely decide you know whatever sort of size ring shank you want and it's also going to you know it's it's of a long enough length you know you're going to make you know no ring is going to be too big no. is it because you you know you're going to have you it you even be able to go to a talk absolutely yeah yeah and, and bangles as well you just maybe extend it along yeah. there's how many left nine you need to be quick cumbria wendy melanie kate susan karen marishka and and you get instructions yes yeah so you can see on that one so if i hold those up there you can see so that's oh, sort of you showing go. you how to make the um look at those so step-by-step -step instructions you get that with this purchase you don't have to buy these separately um so the instructions are free written by yours truly wonderful claire mcdonald everybody it's going to sell out though isle of man nor has it gone yeah well done i'm not surprised okay let's bring you another stencil stencil so let's go that way or the other way or both whichever whichever one you want i mean you could use that as a, as a guide maybe so ah. good isn't it and you, you know so you think when you're when you're working with that and i mean you can see you can see on um on that bit there exactly how that that works so you know you're using it as a guide you know everything's going to look super neat so two different sizes of um of jump ring that you can work with pieces of wire that you've got left over and it's holding it in so if, if i'd done that just on the board without the, the stencil uh and then i put my torch on that chances are that's going to you know, even if I was really, really careful with the tool, you can say it. I'd be, they're going to blow. They're going to blow away, aren't they? Yes. Or blow off. Yeah, that's 
<laughs> you can say you're going to throw up. I was trying to think of another way not to, yeah. There'd be jump rings everywhere. There would be, yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that contains, and like I say, it just slows it down because it takes a little bit longer to get hot. Um, so it just gives you a bit of, you know, breathing. Breathing, breathing time. Room. Yes. How many do yeah. you have of these, Ross? 40 available. We're going to do it in one price crash, jewelry makers, in 30 seconds. Plus you get Claire's amazing instructions as well. So it's not just rings. You could use these for like bangles, couldn't you? Yeah, completely. Yes. Yeah. You could use them for like uh, long line pendants. Yes. Yeah. Hoop absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. Oh, hoops. Yeah. Hoops would be lovely, wouldn't they? Yeah. Love that. Mm. What did you say? A tiara? I didn't hear you add. Sorry, lovely. He was like, what about a tiara? A tiara? A tiara? A tiara? Sorry, Adam. Yes, a tiara. Hello to you, Michael and Cheshire. Claire, I bought these last time they were on and they are brilliant. Oh, I made a scrap ring for my Z4 <laughs> sausage fingers. <laughs> and oh, everyone that's wonderful. loves it. Oh, that's brilliant, Michael. Some, yeah, it's, yeah, that's brilliant. Z4 fingers. Um, amazing, which how difficult must that be to actually find jewellery? It's so fit? lovely though. I yeah, love that on workshops it. where people make things to, you know, and, and it's it's wonderful. So well done, Michael. That's yeah, amazing. Hello, Miss Janet. I bought this on launch. They are fab, mega good quality and so affordable. Brilliant. Thank you both for messaging in yeah, as well. Yeah, wonderful that, to hear. You know, because we can talk about it, but it, I always think it's so much more valuable to customers who may be contemplating it yeah um to hear it from customers that are yeah. already experiencing um the product itself 29.99 hello to you gloria saying morning oh, gorgeous gloria. gals i missed these last time uh getting today for sure lots of love to you oh, gloria Gloria does beautiful work doesn't she so yeah she'll do yeah you need to gloria yeah. they're amazing and the fact it's fully adjustable too. I know that's the, so. That's the thing. It's like, I love tools where it's not just that you can make that adjustment. It's not just one. You know, you haven't got one size there. You can you can decide. You know, however long you want that ring shank to be. If you're making a ring shank, or the depth of it as well. They're Brilliant. flying out. Look how many people are there. And again, you get the instructions as well. Any questions? Do text in because we are live in the studio. Um, we've got a question from uh, Hertfordshire. Are these stencils easy to use for people who have never soldered before? Oh, do you know what, Collector? I would say, I, I don't, it depends what you're like. So uh, the idea with soldering, I think, as, as well, is you do want to do it so that it's, it's like hot and it's, and it's fast. But I think when you're putting lots of things together, lots of different components, I like to sort of take my time with it. And it might be that um, you don't get them all soldered in one go. So, um, that's why I really like them because it sort of slows it down, but then I can have my first go at soldering. If I haven't soldered everything, I can put it in the pickle and then I can put it back and I put it back in the stencil and it's in exactly the same space. I don't have to, mm. don't know, I haven't had to measure anything or it's just, I'm putting it back in the same place so that then you can go and re-solder. So if you've not tried soldering before, I think that's a really good, um, it might give you some confidence, as, uh, you know, I, I find I'm, it is easier. Yeah, and I can imagine starting, you know, with your soldering, you know, it's about, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got, and you're all a bit flustered, aren't you? Yes, so it just kind yeah. of calms everything yeah, down. Yeah, because it sort of slows yeah, it down place. and it's not going to move. Yeah. Um, and it sort of keeps that that, yeah. that heat contained. So in answer to your question, I think yes, yes. definitely. Yeah, so I should have just said yes, that would have <laughs> saved a lot of time. Yes. No, yes, but collector. you told it, you you told us you told in us in a million why. words yes you told us why yeah. Yeah. um okay let's do these stencils See, these are brilliant Claire. absolutely brilliant and i'm really sorry so um if you look back on and i'll try and find some of them as well in the move uh i couldn't find the earrings that i'd made so you can see so with these these type of ones so um you can see here it, this is where you're making maybe pendants or earrings so you can see how that corresponds there and i think you have got some of the different shape yeah. jump rings as well so you're just popping this in but so with that um you know we were saying about uh, maybe having a couple of goes at it it might be that on the first uh, round of soldering uh you go in and you do this section here but maybe that little one hasn't soldered or this jump ring here mm. but you can place it back in the in the marquee uh stencil and then have a second go at it. So it, you know, it just it, it you know these work in exactly the same way, but this time you're working with different shapes. I love so that. Absolutely brilliant. Nice for earrings as well, pendants. And you get two of each shape, obviously one larger than the other. So you've got two marquees, two ovals, two rounds. 
yes as yeah, well yeah um but if you keep you know this is also you know great for the environment keeping hold of all your um scrap pieces mm. of metal or jewelry pieces of jewelry that maybe have actually broken yeah yeah pop and you them can in, repurpose yeah. Yeah. can't yeah. you yeah um okay i've not seen these before so you do get again claire's instructions um there's 40 available jewelry makers and we're going to go straight down. Um, pretty much everything that you need for soldering, we're going to be bringing you as well. So keep an eye on the web. Are they on the website, Ross? Yeah, on the website. So have a, keep a little eye. So everything you need for your soldering is up there. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's for six stencils. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's five for each. So that's, yeah, that's great, isn't it? And so you know, if you're making earrings like that, you know that they're going to be, you want them to look the same, you want them to be identical, don't yeah. you? So these, by using a stencil like that, you know, uh, or you know, a format, you're going to get that same shape. And obviously you can't make your own stencils unless of course you work with, what is it? What is well, that, you're steel? Cut, yeah, yeah, stainless steel, I mean. You'd so need unless you sort of work with stainless steel? Yes, yeah. But the whole point with these is you want, don't you? A bit like your pliers, you want, you don't want uh, sharp edges or jagged no. edges or, you know, the hot, you want to remove the, whatever it is that you're making very easily from it. Look at that. There's so many of you getting involved. I've only got 40 though, so you need to be quick. Wendy, Cumbria, Linda, Elizabeth, Deirdre, Patricia, Anne, Lily, Kathy, Michael, Karen, Anne, Nicolette, Monica, Colette, Lucy. Um, Gloria in Staffordshire saying, Claire, can these be used yes. uh, for filigree? Brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. Yes. Ooh, nice. Yes, Glory. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Filigree Brilliant to your idea. heart's content. Love that. Um, Adam fully filigrees with you, he says. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've also got a different shape of stencil to bring you, but um, there was only 40 of these. Uh, Hertfordshire saying, thank you. Next question, for a total, no a total novice, which stencil should I buy first? Or oh, collector. Oh, that's a tricky oh. one. I don't know. I, that's a really difficult Depends, one do because I do you prefer your pendants or your rings? Because if I you do like, I do like ring. I do like rings. I do like all all of the rings that you you can do. Um, and you get and you get lots of different options with that. But then you do get lots of different options. If you like pendants, yeah. I'm going to say these. Yeah, and if earrings. If you like and yeah. earrings, if yeah. you like rings, maybe go for the one previously. And, and bangles as well with those. And bangles, yeah. yeah. Um, Marishka, hi Claire. How do you get the outline shape? The outline shape. Well, so the, the outline, stencil. yeah, the out, that's that's the thing, Marishka. So the outline shape is is the stencil. Is the stencil, or you can see so on the on the pendant. So certainly, sort of like the more um, the smaller one. It, you're using it as a guide, really, almost just that it's holding in. You don't have to completely follow. Um, uh, so that one, you can see. Yeah, that one, I've I've followed the square uh completely and it's given me that nice crisscross so you put everything you arrange Every, it yes, in the stencil absolutely yeah solder yeah. but it means that i can you can see so that is that's layered up so it, it, i've got one, lots of wires and then wires crisscrossing yeah the one next to it was a lot more random so it's kept into the into the shape um but I've basically almost like a you know like when you make a make a fire you know you yeah. sort of just like layering them up but it holds them there and it, ke it keeps them there yeah amazing okay let's bring you the next of your stencils yeah so i think i think Mariska, that's the whole point isn't it that that is the outline yeah, shape so yeah yeah so um, and you can follow that as much as closely um, as you like yeah um amazing so you, now with this one you get two triangles two squares and then you get two hexagons there you go. Oh, these are cool. Can you imagine like different shapes? Mm -hmm. Geometric shapes together. Yeah. Very, very, very cool. Six stencils in total. Yeah. These are amazing. Have I got the same quantity? 40 of these. And there's nothing stopping, I'm guessing, Claire, now. If you wanted to go, okay, I'm going to make some um, different shapes and then I'm going to solder all those different shapes together as well. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, nothing to stop you at all. So you could maybe maybe make yourself so an earrings where you have I don't know um, a square at the top and then the triangle at the, at the bottom. Absolutely, absolutely, you could. But how nice with these is it, to have angles on things and really uh, I don't know sharp, definite angles. That sometimes when you're 
you know, you're making jewellery by hand. Sometimes that can be quite difficult yeah. to get, can't it? So, yeah, well, absolutely. I certainly find that. I tend to, I tend to go with, I guess, more curves, rounds, things like that, because they are, you know, slightly easier to do. That's a five pound per stencil, but you're not going to need to replace, yeah. are you? Yeah. These are flying out jewellery makers, and don't forget, you get Claire's instructions. All of these questions, they're great questions, so do text in. Um, if you have, oh, what about this? What about that? Then, um, if you're watching at what is it? Uh, Forty minutes past nine. Then uh, we are live in the studio, and Claire is a font of knowledge, aren't you, Claire? Sometimes, yeah, you are. about certain things. Yeah, font of knowledge. Um, we had 40 of these, well done everybody. And of course you get your demonstration as well with this. Amazing, and what I love the most, Claire, is the fact that literally any scrap, which I actually hate that word, especially when we're talking about beautiful mm, precious, precious metal, metal. Yeah, yeah. Tur you're turning into, you're repurposing, aren't you? You're turning into yeah, um, yeah. new pieces. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, I don't want to be big headed, but I, you know, new pieces that look, you know, pretty good you know something like that so that is off cuts of that's gorgeous of wire Claire. and then that's it you know to me it looks like a like driftwood it's, it's that you know it's a really nice texture and everyone is going to be anything you do is going to be completely unique love that Claire take it away my darling right okay so if we have a look so if I talk you through so I've got my um, I've got my stencil here is that positioning all right Adam? yeah there we are Perfect. so um, you can see the difference here so um, I've got this one this one I've used so I probably should have cleaned this up a bit so I'll just give that a bit of a, a brush off now remember and I do say all this in the instructions you're going to be putting heat on this and it's going to retain the heat so it's going to be you know it will stay hot so sometimes you know it can be really tempting to um, <clears throat> You, you want to see if it's if it's all gone at the same time, but you know you just let it cool or put it in the um, uh, quench it. So I've got my um, got my stencil, so, and this is where you have just you know really good fun of. And I'm going to actually move it there where it's a bit so it's a bit flatter on that board. So if I talk through uh, some of the processes, so if you want to do that sort of that grid that crisscross one, so I've got little scraps of wire. So I'm going to cut one first. Let's have a look. And I would say a pair of tweezers is always really good to, to work with because you are, whether you're going to be placing your jump rings, anything like that, it just means that you're not getting, um, you know, your fingers in there. Yeah, so that's looking good. So I might cut a few more of these. So you can see how very quickly we can start to layer up. So if you were doing this, I mean, if you can, go in and um, flush cut both ends, but let's just do it for speed here, but you can then go in and file afterwards. So if I just get some of these and we start to layer them. Hmm. So. Make it like a grid. Yeah. So if I do, I'll just do this one here. So I'm gonna get them into position. I love the organicness of these. It's nice, isn't it? But what I like is, I'd, I'd really, really like organic, but I do have to have some, some neatness, and that's what that stencil gives you. It gives you a frame. So I'll just move this round. So I know on the outside, all of it is going to be the same. Looks a bit like um, notes, doesn't it, for music? What else could we put in there? Oh, that's a good idea. You yeah. could, couldn't you? Yeah. Should we see what let's see what this might do a couple of um add a bit of the right okay so if i and i think as well have you got some um solder paste ross have you got that as well i think there's some solder you can put paste. that on the graphics on your screens because what claire's using solder paste it is limited, there's only 30 though. Oh my gosh, you need to grab that, definitely. You only use the tiniest amount. Yeah, so I'm gonna use slightly bigger bits here. So I'm gonna, see what I mean? So there's lots of moving it around, but because it's contained into that, let's just get some of it on here. I'm gonna use, when you're, when you're at home, you can use way less than this, but I just want you to, I want you to be able to hopefully see it go and for speed now. You wouldn't rush this bit. Let's have a look where this is going to go. 
16.99 for the solder paste. So solder paste is very good. So this is an easy one. So um, this will go at like the, the like the lowest melting temperature. So I get that on there. And I assume that little I don't even know what you would call that that little tube I suppose. It's going to last you a long time, it's last, isn't it? Is yeah. there like a shelf life on it? Uh, well, you just you get the end. I mean, I've had I. I mean, I do quite a bit of soldering, but they do last a long time. Um, and I, I have to say, I don't always put the end on as well. So <gasps> I know, I know, very what? naughty. Um, and you get the fine applicators as well alongside yeah. it. Yeah, so. yeah. Right, let's see how this goes. So this is going to be really messy, but you get the idea. So if you were going to, um, you could lay out all your lovely, if you've got really, really nice uh, jump rings, you could, you know, lay them all out there. Okay, so. I'm and I guess it's a way. build it. Well, this is not a one hit one, so I could do this bit and then I can go in and, and yeah. add in. Okay, so, right, I'm gonna start here. So this might show you, so it's actually not moving here. So sometimes what can happen, it, it moves around, doesn't it? So that that's soldering stencil should hopefully. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna start and introduce a bit of heat now. I don't wanna go fully in. start to come in <gasps> look at that and if you like if you like to be um, experimental these are quite good because you never actually know what it's gonna so let's see here I'm just gonna take that if I bring that in sorry I'm gonna just move it a little bit closer let's see where we are so now what can happen sometimes, so we'll have a look all the way around this. I'm gonna then just pop this in. There we go, okay. So now if, because um, I've got two layers, so you can see, so we've got that, that, that bottom layer there. So this was the first layer and then the one on the top. So you can see, so you've got a depth of, of two wires, mm. okay, like that. So what sometimes happens when you take it out, uh, the, if it hasn't soldered, it, it, it will just drop off. So then what you would do is, so I'll quench that now. Remember, this is going to be hot as well. But you would then pop it back on, pop it back in the same position, fits back in, and then you can start to... Arrange other bits. So you can see, and then you go back in, solder, and you can keep doing that. You know, you would pickle in between, clean it up, so it's it's nice. But it's putting it, it's always putting it back in the set, that same frame. Um, and and I mean, the, that you know, that's obviously not a nice, neat grid like the um, uh, no, like the pendant. You but you get it. the idea. Yeah. So you're, you, but you can put that grid in back into that shape as many times as you want, and it's and it looks super, super neat. I love that, and you build it's it, brilliant, and build isn't it? it? Build it. They're absolutely great. They are great, great tools. Amazing, Great Claire. Tools. Absolutely love this. And Wonderful. they've flown out. Wonderful. Oh, it's like knots and crosses. Yeah. Or tic tac toe if you're from America, of course. Is that what it's is that what That's it's what it is? they call it, yeah, in America, tic tac toe. Um sixteen ninety nine for your easy solder as well, jewelry makers. That, that's that brilliant. Is so remember with that with that pace, so you don't need usually if you're gonna work with um say pallions like that, so solder sheet, um you would need to work with this and then the if you've got the the flux as well so it's, that's, it's does one that or the stand other. for medium yes it does yeah so that i know that that's a, a medium solder yeah i love how claire always does love hearts yeah you do love hearts. i do yeah you? yeah <laughs> on absolutely everything yeah. Yeah. um amazing well done everybody congratulations and again any questions do text into the studio um it's sold out We've got flux powder. Is that this? Yes, yeah, so I think this is quite. I, I know. I think Debbie uses this as well. Um, so, and again oh, for casting. New. So that's not that's not um, something I know about. Yeah, so it must be as. It's our flux powder. So if you have a go with this, so you, you've got loads in there. But if um, if you wanted to maybe have a go with um, the soldering like this, you just mix it up with a little bit of water. What's and, flux? So flux is uh, what makes. Um, makes it flow so the whole thing you want with the the solder is you want it to you, it, it needs to it wanted to flow sort of across the yes water. yeah so that's going to help it um yeah helps it right helps okay it so that. what this is what is it like a powder yeah it might have a, a, a got a thingy on it yeah probably 
So yeah. you've got a lot in there. But then, I, and I can't, I can't. It'd be Debbie that does this with her wonderful um, casting well, work. I think she might just here. use Shall it I for that it? too. This product is um, a silver brazing flux. It is intended for use with silver brazing uh, filler metals that melt below 750 degrees. Um, used correctly, it'll provide effective fluxing on the common engineering materials. Um, oh, okay. So, you could so w with mine, I took a jam jar, Yeah. put some in the jam jar, a little bit of water, a tiny bit of, because um, it says to put a bit of detergent with it, and then you paint that on. Oh. So that's, that's how I'd used it. Right, and it worked okay. really well like that. And then I think if you rewatch Debbie's, um, the, you know, she does her amazing casting, I'm not sure, I think she might use it for that. Okay. Don't quote me on that, but I think she does. It's yeah. brand new. Well done, everybody. Again, and you've got masses in there, haven't you? Wow, wow, wow. Claire, you're also using some yes. jump rings. Yeah, so the, 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 the great thing with, um, with the, the stencils, so if you have a look, you've got a different, different sorts there. If you've got sterling silver jump rings, whether they are great if they're soldered closed, um, because that means you don't have to, you, you can almost like jump a step ahead, but you're looking for that they're great shapes, aren't they? So, um, which ones, are, which ones am I looking at here? Right. Okay. So yes, that's... these ones here. So I've got those ones. Have you? Yes. Yeah. So what you would do, so if I move this out of the way, so if we so... had the, um, say that, you know, the long ring shanks, or you were going to do a, um, uh, a bangle maybe because you've got here, all of these are incredible, lovely, soldered, and pretty heavy these are, I have to say. So Lots you could get that. Metal. Oh, nice. So you could solder that in one and of And lay them out there. Templates. And there's also, yeah, and there's nothing to stop you. I mean, so that, that would be maybe a nice, you could put a jump ring here, jump ring here, nice pendant necklace. Yeah. Make your earrings like ring. that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they'd be lovely. And um, if you look at size wise, that is nice, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be a gorgeous ring. I feel I need to give you one of these because the weight of them is is amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice stacker rings, they would be. Yeah, they? gorgeous. And how feel, you feel get the weight in there. Feel oh. the weight of those. Oh, my goodness, they are solid, they really aren't they? Are, yeah. 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 Well, Five I've got one, two. Total. I'm not, yeah, I'm not surprised. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get nine of these textured jump rings. How many do we have of these? 40 available opportunities. We're going to do it in one these price crash. Wow. Five grams for 16.99. And it's all done for you, isn't it? So you haven't got to texture those no. or solder them. I mean, and they are... So literally Fabulous get your solder, solder paste yeah. that we've just had. Yeah. Arrange them as you wish in your stencil. Yeah, so you could do yeah. lovely earrings like that. You could. You? And then, I guess, polish it up. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, which one of these rings? This one. Here we go. Is that using these? So the same, same type same of principle, concept. but the, these would be slightly bigger. Um, yeah, so you just get... Yeah, so you just use them in between as, yeah. as the ring shank in between um, other pieces of metal. That's absolutely wire. gorgeous. So same concept, but these are actually bigger. Yeah, more silver. Wow, seventy uh, sixteen ninety nine. Sorry. <coughs> and I mean, me. if you do, if you want to do, uh, say, uh, soldering is not your thing at all, and you just uh, I don't know, you want to make wish bracelets with these. Uh, there are lots of places. You know the lovely um, uh, the little gift shop uh, uh, in Wooden Wowen. They're about that. They're, they're about, they? about fifteen pounds for, um, and I'm not even sure if they are sterling silver. You know, and you've got so you've got the 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 link in the middle, and then the two, you know, the, the little decide, bits of cord. And you can make yeah. that multiple times yeah. over. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Well done. We've only got forty though. Sally's multi bought. Marishka, Linda, Shan, Samantha, Maker in Durham, Lucy, Nicola, Anne, Shirley, Violet. Well done. Um, and again, keep those questions coming in. If there's anything that you would like to put, oh, that's a nice idea, Claire. Just, isn't it so you just you solder maybe you want to pop that in you know pop it into one of your stencils and then you know you could solder one into the other oh very nice let's bring you Lovely. some more i like these 
What a lovely introduction into soldering these would be. Yeah. Because literally you could just arrange them, use the stencils, arrange them in some way. Absolutely, yeah. And you're gonna get you're gonna get an amazing result, aren't you? Oh these wow! Really nice. Look at all those. You get ten of them. Well, you could just feed that on a chain. Look how gorgeous that is. That's a brilliant price. Absolutely, and just to use the other jump one. That'd be nice. Um, bracelet necklace. These, that's wonderful. They're brand new, and again, big gram weight of silver in these. You can feel. Oh, they're lovely and lustrous, mm. aren't they? Um, they're brand new. How many have we got? Forty. Forty of them available. Again, make sure you're checking out everyone. Oh yeah, I want to have a go at soldering now. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I was oh, convincing um, Becky earlier as well, so yeah. Have to come it's, and, uh... Whenever I watch Claire with her soldering, I'm always like, I really want to have a go at this. It's so satisfying. It's, it is really, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a lovely process. <laughs> Adam's just said, however, the thought of you with the blowtorch is terrifying. Who, me? No, me. Oh. I think you, 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 he trusts, like, uh, that's he worrying because that's my job <laughs> no he trusts you he doesn't trust me that's the thing be all right it'd be all right it'd be all right be good be good fun play you know you're in your house in oxford i need to come and live with you <laughs> my house, um i'm only joking uh 16.99 jewelry makers look at those they're so beautiful very satisfying mm. to do next up Okay, mix shapes. Uh, is it those ones there? Again, the, it's the thickness of them as well, isn't it, with these? So, I mean, what you might want to do is um, maybe you've got, I don't know, some one mil wire or 0.8 wire, and so you make your plain ring shank, so something something like that, yeah. and then you solder one of those lovely shapes on. Ah, hang on. Sorry. Yeah, Claire's Earring make, links, you know. Claire's making the ring shank, and then you use these as little embellishments, you mean? Yeah. If, if, you know, if soldering is, is what you want to do, yeah. Oh, look at those. Stars, hearts, circles and squares. See, it's a perfect earring kit as well, isn't it, that? Because you've got two of each. Fancy link. What's missing? I don't see any teardrops. But you do get teardrops. Oh, yeah, you do get more than what I've got. You actually get another pair. And they are a good, don't you think, it's a good thickness of wire? Yeah, you could literally just do the shank and one of those in the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, 12.99 for solid sterling silver. Wow. I mean, you think, like, I think, I think mm. Claire, you've just raised a really good point. You know, in a little gift shop, you imagine those in rings. They're not going to be just one. They're not going to be 12.99, are they? No, gosh, no, no. And the, the thing I was talking about was the, the you know, those wish bracelets that go yeah. on a postcard and, yeah. Or studs. Yeah, nice, yeah. Just sold, sold a post on the back, yeah, yeah. lovely. Twelve ninety nine. We've got quantity of these, but uh, they are absolutely flying out the door. Do you know, today's the day. I think I might start my soldering yes. journey. Yeah, yeah. We can get together and solder together. Yeah. Pack of four in your marquees. So you've lovely. got two different patterns in these. There you go. And they're nice, aren't they? Gorgeous, yeah. Again, you don't even need to be a silversmith for these, do you? No, I mean you could you could just couldn't you? You could just attach a jump ring and a you know a, a gem with a you know on a wrap loop at the bottom would look lovely. Gorgeous. That's all you need macrame straight yeah, from it yeah, as well we were doing yeah. that the other day on the show um seriously all four of those and they're not small 25 millimeters 9.99 let's bring you some hearts oh. oh i think these are my favorite nice aren't they it says oh, they'll be your favorite price as well i'll tell you for free <laughs> sorry my impression <laughs> of frost <laughs> um is it ross i mean they've all been great prices to be fair They've all been amazing prices. Oh, brilliant. Oh, you can. So I would say if your budget allows, what you what you ideally want to do is you want to be getting a mixture of, of the shapes because you can see. So to make the pendant here, uh, can I take that one? Yeah. You can see there. So I've had, so it's the marquise on the outside 
and then the heart sitting inside. Oh, yeah. So the more, you know, the more shapes that you can have and play with, you know, it's a... It's Build a, it up yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Really well. I love these, Claire. Six ninety nine. They are precious metal jewellery makers. And then we've got the stars. Because hearts and stars just... Wonderful motifs, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, they're nice. I like these. Five stars, sterling silver. Oh, look. Even if you're not a solderer, Claire, I mean, they're so beautiful, aren't mm, they? Yeah. Last auction. Who wants some sterling silver? You could literally just feed them on a chain. Mm, yeah. For under five pounds. Under five pounds. Brilliant. Good luck. I've got a hundred available of these. Even if, you, like I said, you don't even have to be a silversmith to work with these. The pearls, we're going to move till the 11 o'clock jewellery makers, just so you know, if you're waiting for those. Um, because we are launching Colorado Amazon Night in a few moments' time. We're going to take... No way near enough of you on the phone lines yet. Okay, no, there you are. There you are, sorry. It was just a little bit... My, my uh, call screen was a little bit delayed. What do you mean? We're all here. Um, all that sterling silver. A pack of, what is it? Five stars... Well, simple mass, that's a pound per sterling silver star. Brilliant. A pound. Yeah. So you just get your jump rings and then maybe multi buy, and I would, um, that'd be a lovely bracelet, wouldn't it? Gorgeous. Yeah. Loving that, Claire. And as you said, make the, where's your shank? There. Yeah. Pop one on, yeah. Make your shank. Would you then cut it and put the star in the middle? You could do. I mean, and if you maybe solder it first and then you could cut the um, inside of the star ah. afterwards, yeah, and then just file it down. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. A pound each, jewellery makers. How amazing. We had a hundred of these, but they're absolutely flying out the door. If you're not a silversmith, you can literally just feed them directly onto a chain. They'd be nice as well, just, you know, onto hoops, though, wouldn't they? Just feed oh, yeah. them onto it if you've got hoop earrings already. A bit like the multi collection on our sister channel. Is that what they? Is that, yeah, when yeah. they have like the huggy earrings. Oh, and nice! Then you just yes. feed yeah, yeah. Different, almost Lovely. little embellishments or charms. Yeah. Um, so many of you getting involved, jewelry makers. I would definitely be teaming this alongside the Colorado avocado. Avoc <laughs> <laughs> Colorado Amazonite. Why have I got avocado in my hair? Because it just sounds it so sounds good. It sounds so now. similar, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? It sounds. I should be. I'll be releasing that song. Yeah. I'll be on. Just singing it later. Yeah, Colorado avocado. <laughs> um, we are launching that. They'll be amazing alongside your Amazonite that's coming up. Mm. Um, Four ninety nine. Lovely jewelry makers. Also, these insanely mm. gorgeous pearls are now in the te in the eleven o'clock hour insanely insanely gorgeous um but there's only seven of them so incredibly limited uh sorry at 11 o'clock is that what i said no yeah okay um at 11 o'clock today so I'm, we're just pushing them back ever so slightly um your colorado amazonite is happening now we have for the first time ever i think ross stepping into the studio yes. because he has been the person from the whole initial conversation to the purchase to the show has literally he's the one responsible for this opportunity and we've all agreed it's the finest parcel of amazonite that we've ever seen mm. but remember jewelry makers the quantities are not huge amazonite especially in this grade doesn't come in massive quantities so you will need to be quick there are four individual lines. So we've got three round strands and they're full strands. And then you've got your guru shapes as well. Um, it, it's happening, it is happening in just a matter of minutes. Just so you know, these stars, we haven't got very many of them left, less than 20 of them left. Um, and do have a little look on the website. So for example, if you need things like your charcoal blocks and your Torches, you'll probably have them on the website, Claire, won't we? Yes, yeah, I think we do, yeah. And that's pretty much it, isn't it, really? Yeah, just be careful. Watch loads of the, you know, the different um, 
the videos that we've well, done. Enter yeah. Claire McDonald soldering on YouTube and it's going to pop up, isn't it? Yeah, and, and, and look at you know, different designers to have different tips and they do it in different ways. So yeah, see what suits you. Amazing. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Now, um, Ross is in the studio just after the break to launch the most amazing parcel, natural, totally and utterly natural, Colorado Amazonite after this. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a really good week. Nice to see the sun shining at last. I'm back in the studio this Saturday, the 20th of July, where I'm going to be joining Ross, L, and the team. And I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of my two project hours. At nine o'clock, we have got the most incredible hematite selection, including, can you see, Swarovski Rivoli elements. They are absolutely beautiful. These gorgeous little stone studded rondelles, they come included with the bundle. Eight millimeter faceted rounds, absolutely stunning. And a couple of weeks ago, you may remember, I had beautiful, beautiful bicones and kite shapes. We've managed to get some more in for this Saturday in case anyone missed out on them. Look at that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? So that's at nine o'clock, amazing hematite. And then at 12 o'clock, now I've called them forget-me-nots. We've got these incredible bead caps. Now you may be wondering, that doesn't look like a bead cap. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to transform your bead caps into these absolutely beautiful connectors. We've got three colorways, gold, silver, and copper, all accompanied with the most incredible shell pearl, which I've not seen on the screen for ages. So again, I'm going to show you how to turn them into these beautiful connectors. So that's this Saturday. 20th of July, join myself, Eleanor and the team. Cannot wait to see you all there. Bye bye. It's manager's special this week, but half of them have decided to go on holiday. So some of the team members have decided to take over instead, and now they think they're the managers. We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for managers specials on Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Hello gorgeous jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had a go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. 
um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Now you all know that this is a huge, huge, huge honour and it is an honour to invite him into the studio because I know, I know, and I don't want to say a single word to steal the thunder of this gentleman because he's worked for a long time on this project. Um, everybody, you've heard his name countless times. This is wonderful producer and gemstone buyer extraordinaire, <laughs> Ross! Yay! Hello everybody, it's nice to be here for the first time. Is this the first, the first time? First time for a jewelry maker. <gasps> what, presenting? We're coming out on air, yeah. Really, Pretty you much. do try yeah, and pop avoid out it now generally. And again, but Aww. this is the first time I've actually just, just me. This is Ross, everybody. It. That's testament to the gemstone, isn't it? That is testament to the gemstone. So. But Ross, I mean, we've we've always advocated this gem, but yeah. you really saw something in yeah. this. When was For it? About, 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 um, tail end of last year was where it started, I think. Yeah. We randomly had a strand of Amazon on it, and it was amazing. Yeah. And Obviously, of what's happened with our uh, Russia and everything, mm -hmm. we've had to look into the places for it, and we've yeah. seen how much better it can actually be yeah. than um, that original material. Well, that's it, because we almost became, you become kind of programmed into, oh, Ilminsky Mountains, Ilminsky yeah, Mountains. Yeah, exactly. But that's just history. Well, I, only, I thought it was one location yeah. originally. You know, I always thought that's the only place you could get it, and yeah. it actually shows that you can get it a lot more places and a lot of her places lot um, of them, yeah. one of which we're launching for the first time yeah. today and you've done a whole amazing beautiful yeah. presentation well, I, as well I, I, when I first went to Wayne about this he said oh you seem like you know a bit more about this than me so why don't you go and try and try and get it and try and um, sell it try and basically. source it bring yeah. it to Brilliant. where yeah. um, now again let's make this um, absolutely clear to everybody this is the first time we've ever had Colorado Amazonite. They almost called it Colorado Jade then. Um, but it's you, you've you sourced it. Mm -hmm. It's the best we've seen. Mm -hmm. But there's four lines. That's all we, well, wow. we've got uh, a lot of rough. Yeah. And we decided just to cut it into four pieces to see how popular it would be. Right. And if it is popular and you just want to see more of it, then we've got that surplus right. left in the factory that we can cut it into other shapes. More rounds, bigger sizes, smaller sizes. Oh, that's, that's or, exciting to know, isn't yeah, it? Oh, that, yeah. So that's why there's only 75 of the eights, uh, 100 of the sixes, and 150 of the fours. And then of the guru beads, there's only 30. Okay. If, if it goes well today, we've got the rough ready to go to cut it into other sizes right. and other shapes. Okay. So this is sort of almost a trial to a degree. Yeah. But the demand for this gemstone at the moment is so high yeah. that we're not worried about if it doesn't go well we can just get rid of the rough that we've got well you can sell easily. it to somebody else exactly. can't you yeah. you've actually got a question Ross actually coming into the studio did okay. you say you've got a question oh sorry oh. a message yeah oh, a message. message oh sorry Adam's saying you can message into Ross oh, if you've okay. got any questions so right. make your pardon okay. sorry Adam okay yeah um, so many messages you in, know yeah. what kind of things that you would like uh, yeah if there's any shapes the, or sizes or anything yeah, you want to see rough then um, yeah, let me know. Okay, so tell us the story behind uh, well, this. How did it manifest? Before I get into it, I just want to say hello to my wonderful fiance, Chloe. Uh, 
and uh, my children, Kayla uh, and Bria, who are both watching at home. Uh, are they, of course well, they are. The three Proud of them are watching. Moment. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Proud Chloe moment. just texted me saying Kayla was impatiently waiting. Was she? So they might have turned off by now. <laughs> I doubt so I it. I waiting any longer. But I doubt it. Well, I'll, I'll tell you later. what, I'm going to say it because um, your daddy is, uh, is, is, is he's, a, he's a pretty awesome producer. And it seems he's an amazing gemstone buyer as well. We'll see. Because these are exceptional. <laughs> we'll see, yeah. um, okay, Ross, okay. tell us the story. Well, basically, so I went to Wayne um, end of last year, asking him about Amazonite. And he said, well, you seem to know a little bit more about it. Why don't you try and source it? He, gave me, he, put, he put me in touch with a couple of people, Bernard, for instance, who we have a lot of uh, links with, who put me in touch with other people, who have put me in touch with people. And uh, the reason that this particular location really got me interested was because we, we always reference mm. Monica Veneda for Amazonite. She's yeah. been uh, uh, one of the designers that has been using it for a long time. Yeah. And I noticed on this uh, particular slide, uh, where is it sourced? Because remember I was saying about, I always thought it was one locational, mm -hmm. that it's uh, uh, sourced in so many other uh, locations. So uh, what is believed by many that the original Amazonite stones were mined from Brazil's Amazon River Basin and the surrounding areas. It is not currently found and mined there, so its true source is uncertain. Right. What is certain, however, is the abundance of gemstones that have been discovered all around the world. Many countries, including Canada, Russia, Australia, Madagascar, Namibia, and India, are proud to have been sources of the Amazonite we see in the world today. It can also be found in Colorado and Virginia in the United States. And the reason that piqued my interest the most was because of this next line where it says, which is that leads many people to refer to it as Colorado Jade, such uh, its similarities to Jade itself. Wow, okay. So I never knew that, but apparently Amazonite, specifically from Colorado, is called Colorado Jade. Um, and the location for that, oh, this is- Oh, look uh, at that the location so I, I specifically wanted to get Amazonite from this location because obviously we've seen it there Namibia was mentioned yeah uh, there was uh, India I think yeah uh, there was multiple places we've had it from Mozambique which was really good yeah lovely we had it from Peru, Peru yeah. which sold out very quickly yeah uh, but it was short strands mm -hmm. um, there's a couple How more you pictures oh my goodness well you know Ross when you next go travelling to this location mm, yeah, yeah I think it needs to be a team effort yeah I do well, mm. I, didn't, I didn't specifically go myself yeah, but I, that yeah. is in the works hopefully um, <laughs> there it is yeah so this is wow. known as the Pikes Peak region so um, I got in touch with a rock hound it's what they, they call themselves in America not gem hunters rock hounds rock hounds uh, and it's people that go and hunt for this gemstone and um, this is a uh, message I, I was i spoke to him on and off on the phone and uh, this is a particular message i had from him where he, he wanted to stay anonymous he didn't want to have his picture or his name it's because when they go hunting in the area there's novices that can go hunting so we could go over to colorado now and try and find amazonite in the park just a huge area yeah and we could go and hunt for it if we wanted and if we found it then that's it but you'll have to just make sure you're not on someone's legal claim right so he wants to remain anonymous because he thinks that other people who are in the area who are looking for gemstones can be like, oh, I saw him in that area last week. So they'll go, so they'll go to that place. So he doesn't Very want his discreet, photo, yes, he doesn't want yes. his name, he doesn't want anything to ah, to be known because, you know, someone else might then know where his, his yeah. source is. Or stalk him to where he's mining. So, I, yeah, yeah, basically, I asked him to give me a rundown and an email about the area and the mining, and uh, this is what he sent me. So it says, um, there are multiple areas that you can find Amazonite, but the Pikes Peak material is considered the finest due to its bluer colour, almost like a robin egg. Wow. Pikes Peak Summit stands at more than 14,000 feet, and it is true, the material is found at around 11,000 feet. Wow. That's almost 10 times the Empire State Building. As you can imagine, this requires a lot of effort before you even begin to hunt for the mm -hmm. material. Mm -hmm. So you've got to go on an 11,000 foot trek yep. up a mountain yeah. before you even start finding the material. Uh, not only is the steep terrain covered with dense trees, foliage and wildlife, but you also have to consider the sun. Some areas of the mountain are completely flat and are covered in lush new plants. This is a sign of boulders hurtling down the incline and flattening anything that gets in its way. This can be confirmed by seeing how weathered a boulder is. Just another thing to consider whilst on a hunt. Wow, so it's, it's dangerous. Yeah, pretty dangerous. So not only you've got to worry about the trek, the sun, 
the wildlife. Yeah. I think there's bears and rattlesnakes that live on these altitudes yeah, as well. Altitude. Wow. But then you've got to worry about a boulder hurtling down wow. the hill to yeah. take you out. Okay. Uh, the area is very popular with rock hounds, which I mentioned earlier, novices and professionals. So you ideally want to keep your findings hidden until you can make a legal claim on a particular area. If material is found, it can take multiple trips to bring it back down to base. This can sometimes require having to hide the material that is found using branches and rocks and sometimes even burying it until there is a more suitable time to carry it all down. Wow. You just have to hope nobody else finds the tre treasure in the meantime. Wow. So, so it's, it's very different to other gems. Yes. Yeah, he's literally found the material and he's had to dig up a hole if he's been on his own yeah. and bury it and then cover it up and then come back the next day and, and remember, again have to do the whole thing but with a team of people to be able to carry it all down. And remember where it was. And remember where, exactly where it was, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it's uh, a what? big job. Like, yeah. I, I never would have thought anything like this. It's an know. amazing story. Yeah, it is, yeah. And then uh, that is known as uh, Heaven's Beer Garden because it's so high I'm in the I'm liking air. this place and all the more. And that is a view of uh, Pikes Peak, which is where the location of our Amazonite is. So that mountain in the distance is Pikes Peak. Right. And that's the Pikes Peak area. But this what, one the is... the snow cap? The snow cap in the background, yeah. yeah so, and that, that is a big area known as, um, what he called it, uh, Heaven's Beer Garden, because it's a bit of a garden with a great view. Amazing, Beautiful. yeah. So that's pretty nice. Uh, 14,000 feet, that's the summit. Yeah. Um, he said it where uh, you, you could find it at 15,000 feet, sorry, 15,000 feet, 11,000 feet, yeah. which is almost 10 times the height of the uh, Empire State Building. Um, so let's just go a little bit into Amazonite history. Um, Amazonite mineral rock was treasured by the ancient Egyptians who made beautiful jewelry, ornamental pieces, and carved important texts into the stone. Amazonite has always been prized for its beauty and healing power. The pale green mineral rock is believed to date back as far as the 10th century oh. BC, which I never knew. Uh, also, see how they mentioned pale green? Mm -hmm. I mean, ours isn't pale no, green, ours no. is blue. Like, it's it is robin egg really blue, good. that's yeah, a perfect description. Good. It goes into a little bit about the location which we've already talked about. You know, it says there, uh, uh, parts of Brazil, Colorado and Virginia, in the United States, Australia, Madagascar. Uh, there are stories of warrior women of the ancient Amazon tribe in Brazil using Amazonite stones to adorn their shields cure sickness and heal wounds. A Brazilian legend boasts of the Amazon people giving green stones to the visitors of the region. Europeans were already familiar with green uh, micro, micro, micro yeah. uh, microlin right. from Russia and assumed the blue-green rock given to them by the Indians of South America was the same stone. Mm. As it turns out, the legend was more likely referring to nephrite. Right, So okay. I read elsewhere that, the, the you know how Amazonite, it's got its name from the Amazon River. Yes. But you don't get it alongside no. the Amazon River, which is strange. And apparently that them original stones were nephrite. Were nephrite. So they confused nephrite for Amazonite. Ah, again, there's that jade connection. There's the link, exactly. So uh, again, if we just go straight to the bottom of this bit, it says Amazonite stone is also referred to as Colorado <coughs> jade or Pikes Peak jade, mm -hmm. which is specifically where ours is from, Pikes Peak, because of its resemblance to jade. Amazonite is usually pale green, but can sometimes be blue green turquoise or yellow green and can have white streaks wow now of them colors at the bottom that are referenced pale green blue green uh turquoise or yellow green i would say ours is closest to turquoise i totally agree yeah totally agree but before and i i, I like the pale green the bluish green yeah, the greenish same. blue etc but this is definitely the bluest i think that we've ever mm, had i agree um another one again i just was looking up a little bit it references again Pikes Peak Jade, Colorado Jade, instead of Amazonite. Yeah. Um, Amazonite was believed to have been named after the Amazon River in South America after the first specimen of the mineral was discovered there many years ago. However, modern mineralogists insist that Amazonite has been found in the Amazon, uh, has never been found in the Amazon River. With this information in mind, it is now assumed that the stones found were actually nephrite or jadeite, mm -hmm. mistakenly labelled as Amazonite, which we just talked about. That's another source talking about it. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is what I found interesting as well. There are a number of ways for trained professionals to identify Amazonite. For the untrained eye, though, the stone can often be confused with other similar gemstones. Similar gemstones include jadeite, nephrite, mm. chrysoprase, chalcedony, turquoise, serpentine, and adventurine. Now, I've highlighted jadeite, nephrite, chrysoprase, and serpentine because of what we know has happened in the market with yes. all of those gemstones. Yes. So if 
this gemstone is being confused with jadeite, nephrite, chrysoprase, and serpentine, what way is Amazonite going to go? Is mm -hmm. it going to go the same way as them? Mm -hmm. Wayne always tells us serpentine is so expensive, I can't get it so expensive. We know about the jadeite mine, yeah. we know about the situation with nephrite and Kotan. Yeah. So the price of praise as well is Very rocketed in price. Huge. And it's called Australian jade, Australian isn't it? Australian jade, That's yeah. right, yeah. So it's, it's just made me think, is there There's a trend happening? There's a link happening? between all of these. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, so that was the original one I just told you. So uh, as I was doing my research on this gemstone, I was seeing Colorado jade, Pikes Peak jade prop up more and more. So Monica Veneda references Colorado jade, Astley Clark, Colorado, Colorado Jade, Jade. Uh, another one I found, Colorado Jade, <gasps> Pikes Peak Jade, uh, and then, then I went to the IGS to see, is Amazonite, wow. uh, Amazonite Jade? It says, vendors may market Amazonite as Amazon Jade, since some green specimens may resemble Jade and consumers may assume it's a variety of that famous material, some may be willing to pay more for a supposed Jade too. Wow. So the rock hounds who I purchased this material off, I got talking to him about Amazon Jade, uh, Colorado Jade, and Pikes Peak Jade, uh, and he mess. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot about this. That, so first, when that last one did just say about um, pay more for a supposed jade, yeah. I found this on first dibs. Natural green Amazonite Jade, eight thousand wow. pounds. Wow. Okay. And it's quite green. Oh uh, yeah, and I was going to say it's not the nicest Amazonite no. really. It's, it's not got much life in it. No, um, I but agree. yeah, that just interested me. Ten, uh, uh, more, uh, eight thousand pound, twenty-five percent off. So anyway, I spoke to the buyer about it, and he messaged me this. Interestingly enough, he said, "Hi Ross, please find attached an image of the rough material. Unlike most Amazonite, which is certified bluish green, greenish blue, this is certified as blue, wow. which you can see. Um, if you prefer, we can add Colorado Jade to the title on our certificate." with Amazonite in brackets. Mm -hmm. He also did say you could do it the other way around, so it would be Amazonite with Colorado Jade in brackets, okay. if we preferred. This is a popular choice with buyers in the East. Their demand for any types of jade are so high at the moment that our material has been subject to bidding wars and we have sold it for more than five times the price. Okay. I recently found out that the Eastern buyers are using our material to make intricate carvings, something I've never seen done before. But that's something we've seen plenty of with Jade, jade of yeah. course, mm. yeah. So that's interesting that the Eastern market well, are I buying this gemstone up. Yeah, I suppose they're looking for other locations exactly. now, aren't they? Well, so this we is... know what's happened with Jade Ike. Yeah. Burmese mine is yeah. closed. Closed. Uh, Kotan is closed. Closed. Uh, Olmec is closed. It's because of the mask. Yeah. And then they're looking at alternatives. So yeah. we've seen the rise in Nanong, yeah. um, which is now closed as well, isn't it? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, Sakura, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, quartzite jade, which quartzite we're having an abundance of, which yeah. we know is a different form. You know, mm -hmm. it's not your, your, your classic jade, but it's an alternative to mm -hmm. what they originally could get because of the closures. Yeah. The demand is now absolutely going elsewhere. So, does it mean that? I don't know. This is going to be. This is going to be an amazing. This is what I think. This amazing. is what it just. I thought this is going to be something that in the future. And what colour do we rarely see of jade? We never see blue jade, do we? No. The closest mm. we've had is probably nephrite, cotans. Yeah. Or maybe an Olmec. An Olmec, that's yeah. the one, sorry, it's the closest, but it's a different blue, isn't it? It's, it's a, a dark, teal. it's a teal, whereas this is more your turquoise blue. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I just thought this is this is something's happening. Yeah, exciting. Um, you know, with all this, but I told him, we're not calling it Colorado jade, we're not calling it Pice Peak jade, we're calling it uh, Amazonite, because yeah. that's what it is. And we both have said for a while now that Amazonite is on the up, We've seen um, it, its popularity grow, in the, especially in the last so. year, and we think something's going to happen in the next year or two. So we're not calling it uh, Colorado Jade. People in the market do, but we don't. We're calling it Colorado Amazonite. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, um, Amazonite is a stunning stone. Exactly. I, I think we're doing it a disservice if yeah. we were to, uh, to, uh, to uh, advertise this as Colorado yeah. Jade. I think it's a disservice to Amazonite, which is beautiful. So we mentioned this before as well. Uh, there's the rough, sorry, that wow, I bought. That's literally, look at that. uh, there's so much of it. We, set, we bought it off him, sent it to our factory, and then they've put it into these rounds and the guru bead. That's amazing to see it actually in its rough form. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so, so when we're saying about how we've seen Amazonite building and building and getting bigger and bigger, um, Louis Vuitton, for the first time in their history, have used yeah. Amazonite. It's been reported in multiple places. Um, five of the best uh, jewelry collections of 2024. Louis Vuitton's uh, Amazonite was on it. Uh, 
there I've highlighted where it says the introduction of the Amazonite to the Color Blossom collection marks a significant milestone in Louis Vuitton's legacy, showcasing the Maison's ability to embrace innovation while honoring tradition. Mm. So the first time ever Louis Vuitton mm. have uh, used Amazonite, and that's that was that's this huge. year, wasn't it? June seventh, yeah. it says there. Yeah. Um, and there you go. If the price for the piece thirty one thousand mm. dollars, uh, and that's a oh, pound. Sorry, thirty one thousand pounds. pounds. Yeah. And it's little slices of Amazonite. One, two, three, four, five, six we can see on that With picture. With the same colour that I'm looking yeah. at on the T-bar here. Uh, it's nice. And then uh, another one I've seen, Masika and Bouchera collaborate on an exclusive new collection. Um, Amazonite with um, uh, diamonds. They've also used Lipidolite, interestingly enough, if we just uh, move on from that one. But yeah, this collection marks the first time Bouchera has ever featured Amazonite or Lipidolite in its 136 year wow. history. So in 136 years, they've never used Amazonite and all of a sudden they're using it now. Mm -hmm. um, there's the jewellery. What lovely jewellery. Really nice yeah. uh, price on that, £40,000. Yeah. Uh, they've got another one there that I've seen, bracelet, £20,000. Wow. Uh, then some other jewellers that we I hadn't seen before, uh, using Amazonite. Cartier. Cartier. Yeah. That's interesting. If you go to Cartier and search Amazonite, that's the four pieces that will show up. Wow. And it, am I right? Is that the Panthea? Panthea Cartier They're actually necklace. using it in that one there, yeah. So Alongside Lapis, probably. Uh, the bracelet, £60,000. So that's just Amazonite and uh, rose gold. I think it might have some diamonds in it, but £60,000. Again, there's that robin egg blue. The same oh. colour, yeah. yeah. I've never heard of Cartier using Amazonite. No. Um, They've only got 18 Amazonites in there, so that's is that all they could source? And they've filled it up with lapis, mm -hmm. and they're still charging £150,000. That's um, astonishing. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, another one I found from Cartier. Wow, that's amazing. They're teaming it with emeralds, rubies, and diamonds. Um, there is a couple I think you're going to really love out when I... Uh, really? Yeah, some... Uh, uh, for instance, uh, Pomolato. Yeah. They're teaming it with Chrysocola, which I thought was interesting. Uh, and Pareto Tourmaline, okay. price on application. Yeah. Another one from Pomolato, Amazonite Choker. That's literally just the choker and then three stones of, um, of Amazonite. Amazonite. Price on application. Yeah. Uh, collect wow. jewelry. They're Cal stunning. at the top. That's very similar to ours again, isn't it? The earrings yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, absolutely. They're gorgeous. $13,000. Uh, oh. This is the one. Irene Newworth. Yeah. We've heard of her. Yeah. We've, we've, we've referenced Irene Newworth before. Uh, it's a one-of-a-kind tropical flower necklace yellow gold uh, the carving of the fl flower is Amazonite yeah and then they've teamed it in the middle with a Colombian emerald wow so look at that colour Colombian mm. emerald all the gemstones they could have teamed that with yeah and they've ch chosen Amazonite uh, 10,000 10,000 uh, pounds that's the one we've referenced from Iron Manure before uh, 2,892 pounds simple uh, necklace with a clasp uh, Mason and Brooks look at the quality of that yeah not as good as ours. It's got a lot of the white streaks. Mm. Yeah, it's quite good. But it's small, cracked. three thousand pounds. That mm. I don't think that compares with ours. Not, not even uh, remotely. Another thing, we don't know the location. I don't think that's Colorado. No, I agree. Because of all the the, the, the markings. Uh, another one of first dibs. That's beautiful. Thought that's really nice. Yeah, I really yeah. like that one. Again, really simple. Uh, just a clasp. That's the sort of thing I think I'd be doing with. Uh, yeah, really simple. Yeah, it's all about the gemstone. Four thousand three hundred twenty-two pounds. Uh, Another one, Carolina, uh, Carolina Bucci, um, one thousand nine hundred ninety pounds. That's teamed with blue agate, and what I thought was interesting was it was on cord. Mm. And what's one gemstone we always see high prices? That's on cord. Jade. Jadeite. Yeah. So there's definitely a trend. There's a hundred percent theme a trend going theme. on. Yeah. That we're seeing this. Um, this is another thing we've referenced multiple times before. Uh, these jades have been dyed a light Amazonite colour, sold. A temporary strong 37 to 38 centimetres trans is what we bring. The so they're dying, dying jade. To look like Amazonite. Yeah. So in the start, in 10 BC or whenever it was, they confused nephrite, a type of jade, with Amazonite. Mm. And now they're dying jade to look like, to look like Amazonite. It, yeah. So it's almost like we came full circle. But today, we're not calling it jade. We are going to give it the credit it deserves. Mm. And we're going to call it Amazonite and have it as a beautiful gemstone in its own right. I was just, you've just said that last sentence there. Isn't it fantastic that we have all, I mean, that's that's absolutely amazing. I'm looking at the Robin Egg Blue right now. We have woken up to 
the beauty of Amma's Light. Mm -hmm. And I almost feel like some of us might be going, I've always loved Amma's Light. And we have, haven't we? I think we've been yes. passionate about this gemstone yeah. for years. Yeah. But isn't it wonderful to see the big brands mm. working with it, you know, giving it the credit that it deserves? Because your Amma's Light, if you think about it, Ross has just told you, uh, you know, how this is sourced, the altitudes it's sourced, the you know, it's not a case of, oh, found it, leave it there, come back tomorrow. Yeah. You have to physically hide it. No, you don't get those stories when it comes to things like diamonds. You don't have yeah. those same stories. Yeah. That's part of the reason why Steve, all those years ago, when he started Gemporia, or Coloured Rocks as it was named then, he was like, Coloured Rocks have got a much more fascinating history and story behind them than any diamond does. I was just saying it's absolutely wonderful to see that Amazonite is now being celebrated by these expensive jewellers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And rightfully so. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think it's only going to get more and more yeah, celebrated because of all the information we've just seen. And we have said since the start of this year anyway that this is going to be, the, this is something big's happening. Even I, I mean, we've mentioned it with Appetite as well, but this has got all the evidence to back it up it yeah. feels like this is this is um this is appetite, going to appetite appetite's in the process definitely this is yeah. happening this is happening now yeah and we literally are at the ground floor we we've, we've spotted it and we've come along and we I, I i genuinely think in in a year from now if we were to bring these exact same pieces we're not going to have them at the prices that we have now mm. and everyone at home is going to be like oh my gosh i can't believe that yeah. i got them eight millimeter rounds for that price when yeah. like i'm so lucky that i managed to buy but we haven't got many really, it's not really big quantities really, 175 and 150. And of okay. the Guru bead, we've only got 30. Yeah. So it is, it, it, if it goes well, we've got the rough ready. You've seen in, on that uh, slide. Um, I love that photo. Let's see where it is. Yeah. There. That's um, amazing. The colour of it, yeah. You'd that's think literally that was what turquoise, wouldn't you? Yeah. It, it, that, that, well, I actually thought about that when it, it said it, it, it's been. Um, mistaken for turquoise. I remember a few years ago when turquoise was, it was one of them stones where you'd come on and you would have a triple figures and it would fly out the door yeah. instantly. And it, it I, I don't know, I feel like Amazonite is on the way to taking over. I think it turquoise. has I think people get more turquoise. excited about Amazonite now than turquoise. Mm. Uh, mm. I don't know I don't know why, but yeah, it's very similar. Maybe turquoise, you get the, the markings in, don't you? But this one is, it's pretty clean, isn't it? Like, uh, so mm. well, should we show everybody that tea bar once again, Ross? Because there is literally four pieces, four opportunities, it, yeah. and less than 100, of, well, 100 or less, isn't it? Because it's 150 of, of the four mil. Is, is there? The biggest 150, quantity. right, yeah. okay. Um, so you've heard the story. Uh, here is the man responsible for sourcing this amazing parcel. And, and we've kind of like, yeah, we, all, we talk about it when we're on air. You know, when we're here in the studio, it's not scripted. Believe it or not, people sometimes think that we're scripted. Um, it's, not, it's not scripted. Um, so sometimes a lot of the conversations that we have are literally, you know, our thoughts and processes, well, not a lot of time, all the time, thoughts and processes of what's going on in the industry right now. And obviously things are subject to change, but there was a, there was a turning point with, with Amber's Night. And it was a case of, Right, I want to get the best quality yeah, Amazon. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, 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 like I said, when I thought it was one location, <coughs> I used to like it. I used to think it was nice. Yeah. But now it's like this is probably one of my favourite gemstones, maybe my my very favourite. Yeah. So I just think that it, it, I, I, I wish we still had some of that original Russian material so we could compare the difference because it is like night and day, isn't it? It's, yeah. a, it's more green, but this is. Blue. blue. This is robin mm. egg blue, it, it which is the most sought again, after. In the, in the message there. Um, most yeah. Amazonite, which is certified bluish green, greenish blue, this is certified blue, and right. you can see why. Yeah, totally see why. Ross, which one do you want to start I with? Think we'll start with the Guru bead. Ooh. I think we'll start because there's only 30. Okay. Um, I think it's 20 carats altogether. So 15 in the large piece, and then. Uh, five in the smaller piece. I think that's the one. Uh, so, that's right. But there is only, I know for, uh, there's definitely only 30. So can I just point this out to everybody? Because the Guru bead has three access points, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I didn't really, I, I, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't really know much about why so, it has uh, uh, three it's, access it's points. It's to do that. So if you can imagine, if I hold it that way, so can you see how you've got the drill hole yep. there and then you've got the drill holes either side there so if you can imagine this on a necklace 
the the cord oh, coming down to this yes. side and then you can attach yes, your tassel and you can bring the cords through yeah. there as well yeah um so absolutely amazing I now i think it was debbie wasn't it yeah debbie used it on one of her pieces of jewelry um the, f the furthest one away from you claire on the bust yeah this one here yeah, we might need to bring bit. that over so this here. is one auction yeah so you do get both of them together oh really so you get the, yeah, you it, get it, what it, i'm it, calling it, like the top cap type. yeah and the, the, the bit underneath it amazing look at that color though jewelry makers I okay i think because there is only 30 and because it's the launch of colorado amazon I, first time we're ever bringing it at jewelry maker uh, we'll have a 30 second clock to open the auction just so everyone's prepared Good luck. Uh, and ready and i don't want anyone missing out really so claire i mean i mean this is the first time that you're seeing the colorado amazon Night in person isn't it, it is and, and, I, and turquoise i think is my favorite gemstone because it's about that blue isn't it it's yeah that, and, and i've always loved amazonite and i've liked it because it's that, that you know like a green a greeny blue but this is so blue it is like that tiffany tiffany yeah. blue isn't it that, yeah that i'm Robin excited egg, it, you know which is it's just an uplifting really uplifting um color windex and these are very blue. useful as it, well. yeah windex blue that's perfect actually yeah yeah, yeah. And yeah. i love that that tone yeah. of color that's which is favorite. what they normally describe for parade tourmaline exactly yeah okay there it's happening Ross it's in first one ever how quickly do you think these are going to sell out I think they're going to sell out pretty quick because there is only 30 unfortunately but if they sell out then we have got the the rough there ready to go to um and I guess this is a, a, I guess this is not an unlimited supply um yeah I wouldn't have thought so because obviously he has to go to, to, if he can go and find more he has yeah to go back but that's that that's the amount we've got <coughs> I mean, okay. again, that's the material, and that's what we've cut from it. There's not loads of it left over, so. And and I also guess not all of that is of gem exactly. quality. Exactly, that looks like it's a lot, but yeah. then in, in reality, it's it's, probably, it's not. probably not. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Straight away, there's people on the phone lines, Ross. Yeah. You get both. I need to need to. Yeah, it's um, one auction, on and there that. is only thirty. And I think people are going to be very surprised with the prices as well, because even though we've got smaller quantities it is still low prices for really? this new material yeah um so add i think we'll start at let's get it under 100 quid straight away yeah 99.99 oh, even adam said what to that what and you get both of them you as get well the both of them amazing just because it's, there's 30 we could start high and you know all mm. those um comparisons we've seen you know but we're, we're not going to bring fifteen thousand pounds or no. something on the air for, for we know that that's not where it's going to be closing and and, and it's key to mention they are beads cartier yeah, are working point. with beads here yeah. it's just it's the cartier brand but look at the blue mm -hmm. look at the blue on the cartier pieces and the blue on yours <laughs> Adam spinning plates in there. Bless Adam. Um, I think we'll have another 30 second clock ad because there's so many people already with it in their baskets that I'm not going to make you hang around too long. He's on it. He's on it. Adam is multitasking in there. Okay, we're in double figures. Oh, Ross, this is going to sell out in a heartbeat. I think, I think it's almost like a, a guarantee that yeah. we need these. Only 30, so it's the most limited of the whole collection. I love the Guru. I do as well. It was one of my favourites when I seen it come in, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, look at that quality of colour. I would like to team it with a, like, like, like a carnelian. Mm. Or a, you know, yeah. sort a real of contrast. Yeah, yeah, that yeah nice. Uh, that's half the price, add 49.99. Wow. And that's to launch the show. What did you say, though? 49.99. 49.99. That is for two. Yep. And it, it is, I, I think it's right in 20, yeah, 20 carats overall. So I'm sure the big piece is 15 carat stone on its own. Yeah. And then the small one is a five carat. Which is drilled straight through the center, top to bottom. And that's the first ever piece of Colorado Amazon wow. we've ever bought a jewelry maker. And, um, um, I think it's a given that we want more. Yeah. Do text in if you want. Is not um, at all, is it? No, it's not enough. Um, we're over allocated jewelry makers. Do text in for Ross to let him know what shapes, um, what shapes um, or cuts that you would like to see more of. You've seen the parcel. I love the fact that Ross and has even come out. How exciting is that to yeah. have that involvement? Where else would you get that? Where else would you be yeah. able to, you know, have input like that to hear that story? You know, I, you do feel very privileged to, to, to know all of that background, don't well, you? Well, Cartier won't have that. No. You know, you go into a Cartier store. 
the assistants mm. will not know the story of how they've got the gemstone. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and, you know, any of them, I really knew if none of them will know the actual story, you've literally, Ross has literally shared the conversation yeah, with, yeah. what do they call them? Not gem that. hunters. Rock, is it a rock, hun rock hunter, was it? Rock hunter. Yeah. Rock, rock hound. hound. That's it. I yeah. love that. So I've never heard that expression previously before. Um, you know, literally having to hide his discoveries. Yeah, yeah. You're right. This is it's so exciting to have this level of involvement. And the fact that Ross, you're saying, well, tell me, what cups do you want? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, if you message in and let us know, we have got uh, a surplus of the gemstone left in the factory. And it depend it's dependent on this show. Um, we've got nine, eight left. Eight left now. Eight. So eight of them left. Look at the course Hopefully, screens. Hopefully we will bring this again. I think definitely Let's is the answer so, yeah. to that. Um, if, uh, certainly the hunger for it is there. Definitely, yeah. Because it is, I think you nailed it, describing it as a blue. It's a robin egg blue. Yeah, and it, it, it's so comparable to the, the Cartier pieces yeah. in colour, but obviously a cut of the price. 40 people have got it in their baskets for the final eight. So if your name is Swansea, Cornwall, Jenny, Gloria, Susan, Lanarkshire, Marie, Maker, Jacqueline, La another Lanarkshire, Dorset, Jeannie, Cathy, um, and those are the names I can see. Um, if you are any of those people, I can see multiples in your baskets, I would strongly recommend checking out sooner rather than later. There's um, seven, six left now. Six. So, yeah, there's more than that in baskets. So I think we'll go to the eight mils. Eight mils, let's move on. Cool. Amazing. Well done, everybody. <gasps> Ross, these are beautiful. Absolutely yeah, the strands beautiful. Are another level, aren't they? Yeah, and incredible. The consistency of the colour throughout is is beautiful. Have we got another one of these, these beautiful busts? Only because I almost feel bad putting it just on the back of my hand. Yeah, it's yeah. So lovely. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. It's one of those. Gem it just looks expensive, doesn't it? The quality of the stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Good. And the difference. I mean. I'm, We've brought Amazonite in the sort of what I describe as like as pastels yeah, colours. Yeah. Whereas this is not no, pastel. It's not. It's got like real glow and life to it. Mm. Oh wow. Deb's made these the other day on air and she was like, yeah, Wow. That's, Deb's that's... did say as well she was tuning in for today's show. Yeah. And then Charlie made the other pieces. Yeah, look at that, Ross. If you know, if you were hadn't watched the presentation You'd tune and go, oh, look at those Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Yeah, you yeah, would, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is completely natural. Like, you know, it's, yeah. it, it, it's no amazing. No irradiation. That. How, how is that happening? Yeah, nothing. Exactly, yeah. You need a little bit of treatment on, on turquoise. But. Again, would you agree comparable quality to Cartier? 100%. Yeah. You, get yeah. To, you can see it in the box. Wow. And then there's individual beads on that one there. Wow. I like it alongside the darker blue colours, you know, it makes it really pop, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It is Windex blue. Yeah. Um, okay, how many have you got, 75 Roscoe? of these ones, 75. the 8 mils, And it's the biggest carrot weight in the strands. Um, let's have another 30 second clock ad when you're ready. 30 seconds, two graphics just, yeah, jury makers. Just make sure everyone's got the same fair chance to, um, to get involved. Get involved, yeah. 75 can go in a heartbeat, Ross. I mean, you see it before you on a daily basis, don't Easy, you? Easy, yeah. <gasps> well, yes. that's why I didn't put any on, on, on pre-orders because, yeah. you know, I, I would have thought a big chunk of them would have gone already. Again, look at that. I'm just looking at that Cartier piece with the ruby and the diamond, the bird brooch. I could literally be looking at the strand that I have, yeah, I'm holding here in the definitely. studio. And that looks like it's threaded, doesn't it? It's just yeah, like on a yellow garden. cord, I think. Yeah. 20 to 50 grand. Yeah, you have to inquire about that one. Okay, why, yeah. why such a broad I, I, that's price? That's what I thought. Is it it's 21 or 49? Like, you know, yeah. it, that's a, <laughs> that's a, a big, big difference. Jump. That's a big 30 yeah. grand difference. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah. Okay, the graphics are live, jewelry makers. There's 75. I wish you all the best of luck. The first ever Amazonite from this location. Colorado Amazonite, the official launch. And you have yours truly. Ross to thank for this acquisition. He's I I, I I've learned so much as well. I know it's when I feel yeah it's a privilege isn't rock it? Rock hound. All of that. Yeah, yeah. I love that story. I want to be a rock it. hound. Yeah. Although it sounds quite I, intense. And, it does. And, and then the thought of boulders and yeah. and rattlesnakes and bears. But and then things finding like that. that and then to have to you know work out the logistics of how you're going to get, get it, it down, down and then the fact that you've then got to hide it and I mean exactly it, yeah 
your blood pressure would be, wouldn't it? I, I couldn't take that pressure. Yeah. I would not yeah. I would not be able to to take that Real pressure. Roller coaster. What do you reckon, Ross? Do you reckon you could be a rock hound? No, definitely not. No. I don't, <laughs> I don't walk into the shop to get milk. <laughs> 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 exactly, let alone, let alone 11,000 yeah, feet. it's not for me. Okay, Ross. Right, we'll start at uh, 199 on this piece. Yep. Natural Colorado Amazonite, first time ever to wear, um, but that's still nowhere near the price. 75, really? so it's the most limited of the strands. Okay. I mean, can you imagine this knotted? I love that with the yellow silk mm, there. Oh, the contrast. Contrast. Yeah. Nice yeah. idea. Yeah. Um, by Cartier. Immediately people getting involved, the quality of this, mm -hmm. it is Robin Egg Blue. When have we ever described any Amazonite as Robin Egg Blue before? Oh, that's stunning, isn't it? It is really good, yeah. Um, on the next one, Ads, let's get it into double figures. We'll half it to 99.99. But n none of these pieces today are going to be high-end prices. They're all going to be affordable. Oh, do you know what I've forgotten? What did you forget? My phone. Ah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go in and produce to save Adam back and forth in a, in a couple no, of No, no, Claire can do so. this. <laughs> and I'll run in there and get my phone. Okay. So, 99.99, 160 carats in this one. Yeah, that's amazing and it's all natural. Of course, get your, your cert. That's I always a good idea. There's yeah well wow, and, and certified blue um i think the single figures remain in the guru bead which closed at 49.99 yeah uh, we'll have a 30 second clock and we'll match the price of the guru bead eh? on the strands no hang on this should surely be more you'd have thought so but we've got a bigger quantity meaning we can drive the price down a little bit so um 49.99 on the next crash what do you mean? Because I've just picked up on something else you just said there, Ross. What's that? 49.99 on the next crash. On the next crash, yeah. Next? Next crash. Okay, now I need to, right, Claire, hold this. Model this beautifully. I'm just going to go and get my phone. Is that all right? That's no, fine, yeah, yeah, you crack on. Because, yeah. Um, I'm so sorry. So we've got uh, Teresa's confirmed, Sue just bought two, Pauline in Greater Manchester, uh, Kent, Jenny, Nicolette, uh, Linda, Virginia's got two, Geraldine, uh, Susan in Essex has got two, Mary in Surrey, Glory in Staffordshire, uh, Virginia, uh, Anne in Great uh, Yorkshire, North Yorkshire, uh, Greater Manchester, Carol in Bristol. Um, everyone who's confirmed, congratulations, because you're not paying 49.99. We have got one more crash mm -hmm. coming in. Um, it looks like a big chunk of the quantity is already, already gone. This is the most limited of your strands. It's completely natural gemstone, and it's the first time we're ever bringing you Colorado Amazonite. Um, we'll have one more clock, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got 58 seconds to get involved. This is a guaranteed sellout by the look of it now. 100%. I had to go and get my phone off. <laughs> I don't blame you. I, I had to go and get my phone on this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's effortlessly beautiful. It is. And what gemstone? Well, there's only two I can think of that has that saturation yeah. of blue that can stand up to and that completely hold its own against emeralds, rubies. Yeah. You know uh, th those vibrant, color, bright silk. But there's that, not many, are there? That you know that it really holds your attention. Yeah, I thought that one or really Columbia highlighted. Columbia emerald. Yeah. Yeah. Columbia, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the king of the emeralds. And, Unbelievable. Um, I, I just couldn't believe that they, they put a Colombian emerald with an Amazonite. I, five years ago, you'd never, ever heard of that. No. Con can I be controversial? The Amazonite's be more beautiful. I agree. I, I, yeah, I agree. The uh, that Amazonite one is really, really nice. outshines the yeah, Colombian it's emerald. It's got, got a glow. I agree, yeah. There's more about the Amazonite than there is the Colombian emerald. Yeah. Um, this one's going to be £40. £39.99. Wow. Ross, that's absolutely amazing. But that, that's just for the first or first day. Yeah. Who knows? Like I said, this time next year, is that going to be the price going forward? I don't think it will be. Okay. Because it's all beginning, isn't it? It's exactly. All, it's, we, we, are, we are here. It's happening right now. Yeah. It's not, we predict it with certain gemstones and usually there's no smoke without fire. 
We know our predictions are usually yeah exactly not to sound arrogant but usually pretty accurate. Yeah. Well, we've got evidence like Louis Vuitton, mm -hmm. the first time in their uh, history they have uh, used Amazonite, as we referenced earlier, and then uh, thirty-one thousand pounds, and then Mercedes Boucherat. Uh, for the first time in its 136 year history they're using Amazonite wow. so that's got to say something hasn't mm. it and then uh, another thing I wanted to mention as well when we're speaking about uh, Jade Colorado Jade Pikes Peak Jade I don't know if any of the other locations of Amazonite so Peru or uh, Mozambique yeah. are, are called Jade I don't know if it's specifically Colorado that the, is the only one that they call Jade I don't know okay um, so that's it, something interesting to look I into. Think, I think it might be something that maybe they, they jump on the bandwagon with. Yeah, I do um, as well, definitely. But, 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 but at the same time, they've got to have the same beauty, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, definitely. They've got, they, they might try and yeah. jump on that bandwagon. We had one strand of Mozambique Amazonite recently, yeah. uh, 10 mil rounds, yes, and it completely I sold out for 79.99. Yeah. But it was very limited. I think there was only 30 of them. Yeah, amazing. And that one alone is the closest I've seen to this quality. I agree. I totally agree. Thirty nine ninety nine. we had 75. Ross down to the final 16. Oh, wow. 15 okay. now. Um, there's Lots 14. Of yeah, and we're over allocated. 47 in baskets, oh, Adam is telling us. Wow. Okay, well, make sure you're checking out because if you want to see it again, we need the show to be a success. Otherwise, we'll just sell it. We, we could potentially just sell the rough to the Eastern market. You could. As he says. Sell it to Cartier. Yes, yeah, Santa Cartier, yeah. You, could be, you, could, you literally could. Um, um, and, and probably make, do do very well out of it as well. Yeah, probably, yeah. You yeah. Know, but that's I mean, not it wouldn't be me, about. it would be the company, be. unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, powers that be. Uh, the final eight of these available jewellery makers, um, the tip of the iceberg, how exciting is this? That, you know, we're literally effectively launching a location, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, the first time ever on Jewellery Maker, yeah. first time. We've seen Amazonite, sure, yeah. but have we seen Amazonite like this before? Of this quality, yeah. Um, they will sell out. So if your name is Jay, Sorry, Maker, County Antrim, Jean, Ellen, Cambridgeshire, Janet, Karen, Manchester, Northampton, uh, Marie, I've got six live chances as we speak. Anne in Manchester wants five, for example. Well, you need to check out right now uh, to get that quantity. Jeannie in Sussex, another Elaine, North Yorkshire, you're there as well. Um, literally five left. We're over allocated jewelry makers. If you've got it sat in your in your baskets, you're gonna be, you're gonna miss out. And also, I don't know, Ross. You know, we've shown the parcel. Yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it takes them to process that. I don't know how yeah. long it takes to cut that. Mm. There's two left. Yeah, I started the work on this about November last year, and now it's wow. July. So. I didn't get it immediately in November either, so it no, took a couple of not. months to source it, and then we're here now, so. Here where we are. So it's not something that you can just flip over overnight. There's two. Last two left, yeah. One. Right, we'll leave that last one with you, because okay. I think everyone's going to be waiting for the six and the four. Now, that, oh the, we've got 100 of the six mil, and we've got 150 of the four mil. Um, and you know, well, I'm going to tell you now that um, you will be paying less than forty pound for these strands because the eight mils nearly sold out. I think yeah, at, uh, well one left at forty pounds. Yeah, and we've still got the six and the four to go. Lovely. Um, okay, so we're just swapping this over because the bus was just a little bit too big. It's a full thirty-eight centimeter strand. We all know how popular the six mils are. Look at that. I mean, look, look from here. You know, we are what. Three meters away, and you can see that glow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful that, color. Gosh, it's it amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's just get the graphics in on this one. We won't uh, worry about the clock. I just don't want to make keep people waiting. Six mil, the most popular size. Always. The one we had to get when when they said what shapes and sizes do you want. Six mil was top of the list. I bet it was. And well, well, four mil as well. Four mil became very popular in recent times, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's true. So that's why the four mil is actually the biggest quantity. There's ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Okay. That's probably because we've ordered them over to have Charlie and Debbie. Yeah, mm. so there's, so there's, there's a few, few, few that's, that's gone there. Um, well, that would make sense maybe for maybe two. Yeah. One's mysteriously yeah, true. gone missing. Yeah, missing, yeah. I wonder. <laughs> well, I did have a six mil myself. Did you? Yeah, but all I had was one single strand. Okay. And I'm going to separate it between Chloe and the kids. Yeah, okay. But that's, that's it. I didn't nice. have one of everything. They'll just have like a bracelet or something with 
a single stone or three stones in it or something. Um, and I've said Carnelia and I think I'll team it with something red. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that'll nice, be lovely. Yeah. Um, a third of the stock's gone, Ross, already. Wow, okay. I'm just going to pop in and uh, give Adam a hand for a minute. Yeah, Since you carry on. Um, so he has actually said, he has actually said it's not going to be £40 jewellery makers. £39.99 is awesome. He says, I am going to take it even lower. There are 97. One mysteriously has gone wandering. Can um, I try this one on as well? On the wrist, yeah. yeah carry, on. It is. carry on. These are, They're gorgeous, these are amazing. Aren't they? Absolutely amazing. Look at that. <gasps> yes, Ross. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Colour is incredible, isn't it? Windex blue. Look at that. Absolutely love it. I, th I think that's what I would want to be doing. I would, and I, I don't it's you wouldn't take it off, off would you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, there's nothing pastel about this. No, it's about it's a, it's it blue. blue. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Absolutely incredible. These are flying, Ross. Absolutely flying. So, oh yeah, we started under a hundred. Yeah. Oh, we already know, don't we? That it's going under. Um... Yeah, you said it was going to be under thirty nine okay. ninety nine. Let's get to thirty nine ninety nine on the next crush ad, and then we'll have a clock, a thirty second clock, please. There you go. Amazing. Don't wait though, because half the stock's gone already. Okay. So, it, it, I do you know? Can I make a prediction, Roscoe? This is going to sell out the whole showcase. Uh, yes, I think so. So, well, well, that's good because we've got the material to bring it again in the yeah, future. And it's not yeah, always we shape, can say that. So yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what. Make sure you get your message in. I'll, I'll make sure I have a look and see yeah. um, if there's anything that I, I uh, particularly want. Um, you know, the ones that we always see in Kotan, They're the barrels. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The ones uh, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. What are yeah, they called? Yeah. Um, tumbles. Tumble, yeah. Not like tumbles. The, the tumble, no, the, you know, they're not rice beads almost, but they're... I know what you yeah. mean. Yeah, uh, they'd be lovely. Thirty-four ninety-nine on this one. What are they called? That's bugging me now. What they're they like call kind them? of round but square. They're like barrels, aren't they? But yeah, like, yeah, round but square. What are they called? Drums? Drums. Drums. Thank Drums. you, Clem. I would like Donald. coins. Could I have coins, coins please? Coins would be nice. I like yeah, coins. Yeah, nice. coins. I'd quite like, um, sort of, because um, we saw, like, like a smooth... Briolette drop. Yeah, oh, oh, that'd be nice. nice. Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. Yeah. So that's a bit like the earrings, isn't it? You know, the, the Colette, was it? Yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be lovely. Yeah. They'd be nice. And We're showing uh, all of bamboo. these high end jewellers. Bamboo would be lovely. Would be good. Yeah, because yeah, they could tessellate nice I've as said well. to Wayne, actually, when we were first getting it in, obviously it would have been a bit of a thing to do on, on the launch, but uh, like the hands are hand. Yeah, I cool. think this gemstone would really suit. Yeah, you know them little carvings, the hand and which, the, uh, but which Monica and Ada did in Amazonite, but it was nowhere near this yeah, colour. Not this good quality. Yeah. No, way and we near don't this know color. a lot of the jewellers we've shown. We don't actually know the location of their Amazonite. Yeah. So, what about like smaller colors. monkey nut kind of shapes that you can test? Yeah, make? I like that. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. That'd be good. Um, the infinity sign Ooh, or nice. the evil eye. Yes, all, all these. I think that would be really good. It's yeah. exciting, isn't it, jewelry makers? So get your suggestions in. These are going to sell out, Ross. We're at thirty-four ninety-nine. How many's gone of these? Um, what's the quantity? We'll just figure this out. One second, jewelry makers, because there's a lot of multi buyers getting involved on this one. It is Windex blue. I think that is. These are lovely as well. Look uh, at that with that graduation. Um, <laughs> The perfect, perfect, perfect description of this colour, yeah. With, there's just so much potential with a, with a parcel like this. Yeah. And look how excited wonderful. we all are about mm. this colour. Because we've seen Amazonite, you know, and we have seen Amazonite probably for as, almost as many years of we, as we've been broadcasting. But this parcel, um, which has been documented over, repeatedly, over and over and over and over and over again by so many... Um, well, publications, if you like, respected publications, gem publications, talking about this quality, referring it to uh, to it as Colorado Jade. We don't want to call it that. We want to call it Amazonite. It is Amazonite. Um, recognize the location, sure. Colorado Amazonite, this beautiful tropical gemstone um, in the finest color that we've ever, ever seen. $34.99. We had 97. We got 20. Seven left out. Twenty-seven left. Yeah. Okay. So. Twenty-six now. 
We're gonna have a uh, 30 second clock. We're gonna go lower. Because <gasps> we want everything to sell out. We're so close to selling it out. So let's do it across the board. I think I know what you're gonna do. Then we get to bring you more, don't we? Exactly. That's why I've, I've just went in and spoke to Adam to see how it's getting on. There's 26 now. Oh, I don't want to just put 26 back in the... No, the, uh, no, and then you don't get to go say to Wayne. Because exactly. he'll be like that, how do you Colorado Amazon yeah. go? So let's get them all out. First auction, I think there's one or two of the Guru, less than five of the um, eight mils. Mm. Let's make the um, six complete sell out and we'll get it to 29.99. Wow, that's amazing. Look at the designer prices. And you're under thirty pounds. How amazing is that? Yeah, I can't. I just can't believe it's natural. I just when, when yeah. you say it's one of them stones. The only other gem. Yeah. I mean, I know there's lots of comparisons here with jade. For me, that's that's your Paraba. I agree. Yeah, it definitely. It's like an opaque Paraba, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But it still glows. Yeah, it has got a glow. It's, it's got a life within it. Sort of yeah, things, so. absolutely amazing. It's going to sell out for sure, jewelry makers. When we sell out, then we can absolutely work on the new cuts. Do get your messages in to uh, Ross. There's 60 people that have this in their baskets. Wow. Um, yeah. I'm not surprised at all that you love it as much as we do. And, and, and you can you some, sometimes just see sort of the ripples in the water, don't you? You kind of think, okay, yeah. something's happening Yeah, definitely. Here. And then uh, it, it, it's, it's, I feel this time next year, Amazon's going to be a because um, it's not just a saying it. It's Louis Vuitton and it's yeah. mm. uh, Pomolato and then it's that um, Masika and Boucher, the other one I've referenced. I like that picture, Masika and Boucher. I think it is. Boucher, yeah. Look so at that! Look at that photograph. But, but it, it lipid light as well. You know, yeah. maybe that's something to look into for the future. <laughs> um, you've got a message for you. Go, go, Roscoe. Yay. Hi, lovely Ellen Claire. Demos are stunning. Rice beads with three millimeter rounds uh, yeah, and nice. one strand, please. That's yeah, a nice send idea. Send in as many mm. as you can because obviously all the ideas yeah, will um, go straight upstairs. We've got another one from Catherine in Staffordshire saying, Hi, Elle, Claire and team. It would be lovely to see Colorado Amazonite in satellite. Oh, I didn't even think about nice. satellites. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, some nice angles. Loads of suggestions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hello, Joanne in Shropshire saying, large nuggets, please. They would look lovely. Thank you for bringing us this beauty, Ross. Okay, no problem. Nuggets? Thank you. So you can't Thank go you wrong for with a nugget in. strand, can you? Yeah. Um, I like the irregular cuts as well, you know, like quite those irregularly yeah, faceted yeah. tumbles. tumbles. They're yeah. cool. Um, oh, yes, I know the ones you mean, yeah. Uh, Elizabeth in Tinyware saying, wow, Ross, thank you so much. I'm going to make a graduated necklace oh, nice. to keep it for an heirloom jewellery to pass on to family. Oh, lovely. Oh, nice. Make sure you Very wear nice. that as well, Liz. Well, that's yeah, what I'm lovely. doing with my six meals, just yeah. to have it, you know, in the family. In yeah. the family. Yeah, yeah well, I'll definitely be joining you. Um, Jenny in Bristol saying this Amazonite would, would look wonderful with amber. Yeah, because like, you were yeah. similar to your carnelian yeah, thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so yeah. Nice. I totally agree, Jenny. Yeah, That's a good idea, yeah. Um, there's literally five yeah, we'll, left we'll of these. We'll wrap that one up then. Yeah. Last auction, biggest quantity. Oh, and... There you go. Sat another another tick for the satellite. Yeah. 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 All appreciated. Any messages you got? Donuts. Donuts. That's nice. a great shout, yeah. actually. Yeah, definitely. I like that um, idea. Last auction. Oh. And hopefully, last auction just for today. Just for now. Yeah. Hopefully not the last auction ever. No. You better no, you you see this colour again. Best, you yeah. make sure, Ross, as well, that that parcel doesn't get squirrelled for somewhere else. Oh, no one else getting runs on this. I'll tell you that. Make sure they don't be getting hold of this. Yeah. <laughs> it's all ours, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, this is ours, yeah. Yeah. Look how lovely that is. Mm. Four mil rounds. I'm not sure the carrot weight. Um, let's just get the graphics and add on. This is the biggest quantity. Last auction of the day. Uh, 150 quantity. Completely natural. Colorado Amazonite. And this is the finale of the section. I love it. I love it. We always say four's the new six. We do, yeah. I, I like a four. I do. It's a bit quainter, isn't it? Yeah. I'm very wearable. Very wearable, yeah. 40 carrots. There we go. Amazing. This, this is the biggest quantity, isn't it? Even with that smaller size, you still see that wow colour, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. Look oh, at I that. really I in this one. this one. I really think, yeah, with the smaller size, you really see the, the glow and the colour. This one's amazing. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah, it really suits your wrist, Claire, that. This is, and that's, that's the, I mean, it's, this is a beautiful bracelet, but that is lovely, isn't it? You could just have it all. 
all that size. Yeah. I know you're saying it's it was an amazing the, like, colour. Close to turquoise, but it hasn't there's something extra to it, isn't it? It's not like yeah, any absolutely. other blue gemstone. Particularly in the formal, can I just say you're really seeing that translucency. Yes, yeah. 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 Amazing translucency. I know it's crazy so. to sound like to say it, but the gemstone it resembles the most is probably Perebitor Malin. Hundred percent. Like for an opaque More than Jade. Yeah, it, it's it's so strange how uh opaque gemstone like this uh, can you imagine five years ago if we'd have said oh amazonite is it looks like we've been like, left out of the building about? Everyone, yeah what are you like, talking about of course it's so ridiculous <laughs> like but we're actually saying it now like it is the and it makes it. sense and it makes sense yeah it's a justified statement yeah yeah 100 percent. we'd have never been able to do never that years ago never been able to say that never no um this is beautiful so this Russ. is the biggest quantity and it's going to be the lowest price of the Ooh. whole selection so let's start uh, where the uh, guru bead <gasps> closed and okay. that is 49.99 ross i need to tell you that 50 have already gone 50 so have gone. that's a third of the stock and we've only been open had the auction open a couple of seconds yeah okay well yeah there's a third of the stock wow okay good so 49.99 to start gonna um, start somewhere look at that just one in amongst the set and, and you, you still see, see that yeah that part yeah, just one that. stone yeah. Yeah. dave say whenever he's on like about oh, um, or Wayne or anyone who's on, they will say, well, you know, that was supposed to be this price, so it's affected the, the run. Yeah. And we've just Knock gone lower effect. on the six mils. Yeah. So now I am in that situation because you, you, we're going to have to go lower. Um, let's have a minute clock ad whenever you're ready. No rush. It's all right. <laughs> so I know he's just in there. <laughs> Doing two jobs, well done. <laughs> yeah, um, what you see is Adam literally flying back and forth. Well, no one's here, are they? Back and forth from the gallery. Wayne's yeah. away. Yeah. Um, they are all away. Yeah, Scott's away. Yeah. Liam's away. Yeah. I, 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 I've been showing Lauren like, how to, like, you know, the, the producer side of it a little bit. So I thought, oh, Lauren, you can do it. So I'm not in on Friday. Oh, so literally brilliant. no one's here. So Adam's doing it. Uh, so, yeah. Adam's doing it. Adam's managed to do it, yeah. Brilliant Half the stock is almost gone. <coughs> so um, that, well, by maths, that's 75 left, yeah? 75 left, which was the whole quantity of the eight mils, which yeah. have now sold out. And there's still loads of people getting involved and multi-buying Ross. So at 49.99, which was the highest price of the whole selection, mm. I've already told you this is going to be the lowest price. So in five seconds from now, we're going to half the price, twenty four ninety nine for your finale of the day. Ooh, that's amazing. Well done to everyone that has already confirmed. You've got nothing to worry about. That's in your basket. Twenty four ninety nine ads, yeah. I mean, we didn't see that price tag <laughs> well, anywhere no, I, else, I, I, this, did we? No, exactly, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, lovely. I thought I might as well. I'm going to get in on the action yeah. like Claire. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they are gorgeous, aren't they? They are very nice, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Would you go silver? Oh, well, they, I was just thinking I'd they go work gold. really well, oh, don't they, with both? Yeah, they do work well with both, yeah. 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 I, I would have thought, so wait, wait, there's a perfect example on that photo, isn't it? You can yeah. see yes. it with yeah. gold and with yeah. silver. I'd go gold. Um, yes, I'd love donuts. About 20, 25 millimetre size and soft uh, chamfered. Ooh, cubes. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. If not too wasteful. Looking forward to getting this home, says Susan in Essex. Oh, nice. wow, okay. Yeah. Nice. Graduated marquees, please. Ooh, lovely. From okay. Lisa in Yorkshire. These are great ideas. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Would uh, you just want the higher sizes, maybe 10, 12s? Or the smaller sizes. Or the smaller sizes and two. Yeah. Like, that's another thing to consider. We just went for the, um, you know, the, the ones we knew would be yeah. the most popular. Um, hello to you, Michelle, saying, I live in France and minimalist jewellery is all the rage. These will be perfect. Thank you, Ross. Yeah, that's my favourite type of jewellery as well. Mm. Oh, I like the minimalist, when it's all about the gemstone. Yeah, that's what I and the I colour, like. yeah, definitely. Yeah, the colour, yeah. yeah, lovely message for you from, uh, from Sally. I am over the moon with your crazy good prices. Please get them in bamboo shapes. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, yeah. I will use them with pearls. Oh, pearls, that's Sally. a great Go Ross. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I guess yeah. that was that, ne that necklace we've referenced with the um, Malachi, where it's like the pearls and yeah. the Malachi. Yeah. I think something nice. like that would be mm. nice. I like that. Yeah. I like that idea, Sally. Mm. I would like the bamboo shape. Oh, it's, mm. it's, I think the, 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 the gemstone is that beautiful that it, it's worthy of being teamed with. Pearls. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, gosh, yeah. Literally, is it, you, you're talking about the Wolf and Badger one, aren't you? Where it's got like yes, the Malachite exactly, yeah, down one, one side, side and then. Yeah, it's, just yeah, like, it's really simple. But, 
Amazing. Well, we had 150 of them. We're at 24.99. They've absolutely flown out the door. It's the finest quality Amazonite that we've ever seen. It's brand new. And yeah, it's been referenced elsewhere as your Colorado Jade. We're not going to call it that. Ross says, it's Amazonite. And Amazonite is an amazingly beautiful mm. gemstone in its own individual right. Um, it, you can you can give it the nickname Colorado Jade if you wish. To me, I'm going to call it more Colorado Paraba. If anything, it's that Windex blue, isn't it? That beautiful, beautiful Windex blue. Um, jewelry makers, we are down to the final third of stock. The call screens has gone completely and utterly crazy. There's exactly 51 Is there left? left. Right. Yeah, 51. So that's two thirds of the stock gone now. Yeah. Shall we Ooh. sell them all out? Yeah. Wow, well, yeah, okay. See, second clock. I can't believe that any of this parcel is going to be down to this next price. So you've got 53 seconds to get involved because this finale piece, to sell them all out, guaranteed sell out, we're going to take it under £20. So hang on a minute. See if I can remember this rightly. £39.99? Yeah, £39.99. £29.99. £29.99. So that's 70. 70. Yeah. And now what you're about to say is? Under 20 quid. So I can get the whole, all three round strands mm -hmm. for £90. Yeah, less than 100 quid. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. That's amazing. Because yeah. I think... And like I said, it makes, I think the eight mils alone will be probably a hundred quid in a year. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, the way yeah, things I are agree. going, like I, I just add the gurus in, and you have a mala. Oh, How yeah. much were the gurus? Thirty nine ninety nine. No, fifty. Forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. It was the most exclusive quantity. That's why the price because of the big higher. shape I and the, and the yeah. sink. Yeah, exactly the big stone. So there you go. Really, under you the clock, a... under twenty pounds. Wow. Final auction. Let's sell them all out. You can get the entire parcel, all four lines, for £140 yeah, today. Yeah, 140 yeah. That's wow. amazing, isn't well, it, Claire? It really is, yeah. It really is. And so much you can do with all of them as well, isn't yeah. there? Like all these beautiful pieces here, especially if you've got the different sizes. But, you know, if you're getting just this strand, that is... Oh, that is a lovely piece of jewellery. It really mm, is. Yeah. Make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. That looks amazing, that bracelet, isn't it? The yeah, it's really gorgeous. Does. It's really so good. nice. It's a, it's, a, it's a lovely size, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I think, I actually think the four mil is actually my favourite more so than six now. I do, I do. I like stacking them though, yeah, and I think it's really true. nice if you've got, I, I do like that. So very, especially for the wrist, I think the four mm. mil is, yeah, um, it is. It's is nice. one of those mm. sizes. It just sits beautifully on the wrist. Um, we had 150. We've got some more messages coming into the studio for you, jewelry makers, as well. Uh, for you, Ross. Um, thanks, Ross. Got mine. Could we have a clover oh, kit? Yeah, that's a great oh, kit. Yeah. Like the Those controns were a great kits. They were. I love them. They're the, the, a nice the idea. Special, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. 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 Nice. Another one yeah. for you, Ross, coming through. This is Janet. I am so chuffed. Got one of each strand. Like, Thank you so much got for one bringing of each us this. Say that was cost 40, 70, 80, 90, 90 quid for the three, yeah. All three, well done, Janet. You've got a big this natural stone. And it's the finest that we've ever seen. And what we said, you're in at the ground floor. <coughs> you've got on yeah. at these yeah. prices now, but going forward, who knows? Who knows, who knows, yeah. And well Janet's done. saying you're a star as well, Ross. Oh, thank you, Janet. Yeah. Thank you for highlighting that one, Claire. He's a good egg. <laughs> um, you're a good egg. I think we've got another one for you as well. Oh, did you say that? Sorry, Adam. No, I just plucked that oh, one today. Okay. Sorry, Roscoe. Sorry. Um, hang on. Joanna, yes, we have. Joanna Shropshire. Those B caps on the earrings are gorgeous, Al. Do you sell those? Oh, these. They are the spacers. The little moon um, spacers. I think we have got them tomorrow. Have we? Oh, if it's not exciting. tomorrow, then it's Sunday. It's definitely on the weekend. I'll... Um, I'll I'll have a look on the break and I'll let you know what yeah. day. But they're, they're, they're coming up. They're, they're definitely spaces, spaces, aren't they? They're spaces, they're spaces yeah. really nicely, yeah. 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 So... Yeah, I'll, I'll find out and I'll let you know after the break. I remember, because I think it was Debs who was actually saying, because the drill hole positioning is what made her really excited by these. The fact they go horizontally. Yeah. Um, rather than top to bottom mm. on the crescent, so um, amazing. That's yeah. right, yes, I remember. Do you remember? Yeah, remember. Do you remember? Um, so, Joanne, coming up on when? Tomorrow. Tomorrow or Sunday, I'll check on the break and I'll confirm. Okay. I'll okay. let you know on the other side of the break. Watch that space, Joanne. Um, 
make sure you check out because these are incredibly incredibly limited now mm. jewelry makers again it's that uniformity of that windex blue I, I, that's what i've got in my head windex blue definitely i agree yeah the i can't we would never ever would have thought we'd be comparing it to pray bad but that is the, the the most uh likely gemstone that it looks like i think and the fact that this literally started the whole process began in november last year november last year yeah it was when it the first uh, conversation started with Wayne and then it really got moving about uh, February March time this yeah. year but of yeah. course then you've got to wait for it to be to be made and, um, and sent over here it's so exciting. brilliant to hear though hasn't it and to yeah. see uh, you've loved that that's really, and even really down to the fact that you know your what was it what are they called Rocky Rock Hounds Rock Hounds Rock Hounds um, Rocky Hounds Rocky. Um, <laughs> even down to your Rock Hounds wanting to be anonymous I know, yeah. Well, I thought that was really it's interesting. It's a wonderful yeah. world. Yeah. Isn't I, I mean, surely no one in Colorado is going to be watching Jewelry Maker, but you know, I suppose you don't want to be taking any risks. I, we do have viewers. Yeah, we do have viewers. Yeah, world. yeah, true. And so. there's nothing stopping saying, "Oh, I'll book a flight." Yeah, who knows? Maybe because in the future, if we, if we bring it again, maybe we'll. Um, and that is a story to... I've heard before. Gosh, quite a while ago. Do you remember when there was a parcel of Specitite? That Steve yeah, launched, faintly, yeah. and um, it was called Africa's Secret. Yeah, that's because right. Because they there's so little of it available, they wouldn't tell anybody where. Yeah, where it, or where who it was. was. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, where it was. So it's similar to that. Um, could we see a carved heart and scallop <gasps> shells, please, from Angela? Nice. nice. Yes. Ooh. I'll make a note of all these yeah, uh, these ideas, and um, we'll um, we'll look yeah. into it. Um, Ross, amazing. Thank brilliant. you so Thank much. Thank you very much for having me. That's um, been amazing. Yeah, it's really exciting. And we'll see you next back on our screens for the second parcel. Maybe, if there is a second parcel, we'll see, we'll see. There will be. <laughs> Let's hope so. I hope so. I'm really passionate be. about the gemstone, so I, I, hope, I hope it is. Oh, we love our Ross. Yay! Thank you for he did amazing. Ah, oh. That was so good. So good. Brilliant. So good. Don't go anywhere though, jewelry makers. We've still got your premiere collection. We've still got an amazing masterclass with your gorgeous Claire. So much more. We'll see you after this. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a really good week. Nice to see the sun shining at last. I'm back in the studio this Saturday, the 20th of July, where I'm going to be joining Ross L and the team. And I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of my two project hours. At nine o'clock, we have got the most incredible hematite selection, including, can you see, Swarovski Rivoli elements. They are absolutely beautiful. These gorgeous little stone studded rondelles, they come included with the bundle, eight millimeter faceted rounds, absolutely stunning. And a couple of weeks ago, you may remember I had beautiful beautiful bicones and kite shapes. We've managed to get some more in for this Saturday in case anyone missed out on them. Look at that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? So that's at nine o'clock, amazing hematite. And then at 12 o'clock, now I've called them forget-me-nots. We've got these incredible bead caps. Now you may be wondering, that doesn't look like a bead cap. Well, I'm gonna be showing you how to transform your bead caps into these absolutely beautiful connectors. We've got three colorways, gold, silver and copper, all accompanied with the most incredible shell pearl, which I've not seen on the screen for ages. So again, I'm going to show you how to turn them into these beautiful connectors. So that's this Saturday, 20th of July. Join myself, Eleanor and the team. Cannot wait to see you all there. Bye bye. manager special this week but half of them have decided to go on holiday so some of the team members have decided to take over instead and now they think they're the managers
We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for managers specials on Jewelry Maker. Hello gorgeous jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. Um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a jewellery maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Welcome back, jewellery makers. She keeps trying. She does keep doing trying. You're doing your best, aren't you? You just ignored me then, didn't even answer, just did you? Point blank ignored you. Yeah. Yeah. Claire was like, um, last chance, last offer if you want me to do anything with these pearls. And then it was like, Shh, nothing. I think that's a no. Oh, right. Can we show these pearls? Oh, though? these are. They're absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to move them out of... <laughs> I, no, I can, still reach reach, yeah. I can still reach them. I can still reach them. Claire, look at those. They are amazing. Utterly amazing. Utterly, utterly amazing. There are seven in the world. Oh, my goodness me. They're some of the biggest coloured pearls I've seen as well. And have you ever seen such strength of colour? Mm. Look at that! Oh, they're gorgeous. Absolutely breathtaking. Each and every one. Each and every yeah, single one yeah. of them, yeah. Every single one completely unique. Coming up when, Ross? Should we do them now? Can I take them off the bus for a second? There is only seven available. Because I want to go and show you every mm. single one of these. The quality is on another level, and it doesn't take me to say. These are the smaller ones, believe it or not. It doesn't take me to say that these are amazing pearls. Look at them, look at them. Oh, look at that one. You saw how much your golden pearls saw in, in Hong Kong when Dave went at the beginning of this oh year. Oh my gosh, look at that one. <gasps> look at this. They are absolutely amazing. And I love the fact that your Baroques and your Fireball Pearls literally embrace the folds of Nacre. Which one, this one? Just this one here as well. It's, it's the, the lighter ones as well, aren't just the, the, all the colors you're getting in there. So pretty. Can you tell Claire's life in these or not? Okay, last, very, very last <laughs> chance, Ross. No more chances after this. He says <sighs> he would let you, but there's only seven. Okay. 
Sorry about that. Okay. Sorry. We're going to do it and we're going to do it as a star by. Yeah. We can't torture Claire <laughs> or our audience <laughs> anymore. They are absolutely breathtaking up next. Where do you, what, how, where do I start talking about something like this without sounding like a broken record? Our regular viewers know the world of pearls has gone crazy, right? Do you remember, cast your mind back, and I'm kind of speaking to Ross at the same time here, to, was it pre-COVID or is it during COVID or just after, anyway? that time frame. So we're talking about 2018, 2019, I think it was, maybe 2020. Anyway, when we, when Dave went, um, when Dave went to Tucson and he was offered a small parcel of fireball pearls like this. And at that time, bearing in mind going back, what, four years? Has it been four years? Three, four years? And they were thousands of pounds at wholesale. This, and remember, that's th those are photographs that I'm going back a long time ago. This strand is bringing back memories of those opportunities that stick with me because of the size of them. These are some of the biggest fireball pearls, blocks, whichever way you want to, whichever way you want to look at it. A total and utter, utter lottery win. Now, I was with you yesterday where we were talking about blue acquires. And I was saying, every single cultured pearl, whether it's South Sea, Tahitian, Akoya, Freshwater, whatever it is, they all nucleate the, the mollusk or the oyster with the intention of it being around. That is how it begins. Because you've got to remember... They don't know how to culture anything else. They don't know to go, right, oh, what are you culturing? I'm culturing a drop. You can't. You can't do it. I'm culturing a button. I'm culturing a fireball. I'm culturing a brock, a, 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 a keshi. You can't. So every single cultured pearl is started as, okay, well, this is, I'm aiming for a round. You've got to remember that the mother oyster is firstly developed. They have to mature. And they have to mature sometimes for an excess of five years before they can even start culturing. So you've got to remember they're yeah. looked after for that period of time. It's a long time. time, isn't it? This is a, yeah. A long, long yeah. time. With freshwater pearls like this, most freshwater oysters will have, I, I don't know, 10, 20 pearls in at the same time. Pearls of this size will have one if you're lucky. And then once you start that nucleating process, which is literally like, you know, delicate surgery, you will nurture that mother oyster for the foreseeable years, however many that might be, three, four, and not on the guarantee that you will get a pearl at the end of it. Definitely not on the guarantee that you'll get a naturally colored pearl, which has that lottery win of a fireball tail. It is a, it is a lottery win. Mm -hmm. Same as your blue acoyas. They can't say, what are you, what are you harvesting? Oh, I'm gonna harvest acoya pearls and they're gonna be blue, these. You can't, you don't know, it's a lottery win. We have seven available. They are exceptional, aren't they? Gosh, yeah. Absolutely. Some of the biggest I've yeah. seen. It's the colours. Remember your five virtues, but on this one occasion, I'm almost reluctant to talk about the five virtues. We can just look at that and tell it's quality. Can't you? There are seven in the world. If you are a pearl fanatic, like so many of us are, oh my goodness, these will take your breath away. They're amazing. First one's gone, six left. I'm not surprised, they're huge absolutely huge you've got to remember you've got to remember that's one oyster that has produced each and every single one of those pearls they are natural colors that's the one ross 
Thank you. Ross has just found it. So I was there when this, it was just post pandemic. That price, 1,980, is the price of those strands each. Each, and that's wholesale. Okay, so times that price, that's US dollars, times that by usually three or four, and then add your VAT. That's the, that's the RRP. Another photo. That's it. We inquired about a parcel. This is Salim. And he said 4,000 per strand, if you specially select them, if you cherry pick them, 2,500 per strand for the entire lot, if you buy all of them. And then, but if you look at the actual WhatsApp message, great to meet you, same here. And um, this lot my friend sold, and he was, and this is Dave, such a shame. If ever you find more, please let me know. So we missed that boat. You have mm -hmm. to literally be in the right place. But would we all agree? That's two and a half thousand pounds if you buy the whole lot. That's what we do though. That's, that's, that's yeah. normal. And we'd be like, okay, yeah, all right, we'll buy the whole lot. That's absolutely fine. We might separate them, go, okay, there's your papaya colors. Um, and then here's your mixed colors. Here's another piece that we can show you, a finished piece at jewel, uh, in, uh, in jewelry. So they've knotted it, put it onto a gold clasp. Um, I don't think it's as nice, to be honest. Um, it's pretty, don't get me wrong, but £6,995. That's not retail, jewellery makers. Not retail. That is wholesale. Not retail. I have seven. Oh, I'm so tempted to buy these. They are wonderful, aren't they? Just absolutely stand out, wonderful. Can I just say, we have got the best job in the world just mm. looking at pieces just to like see, this. Yeah, yeah. We're at £995. We've beaten every single price that we've shown you for, so far, and they're wholesale prices. Virginia, you've got yours. I've got Northamptonshire, Kathy, Susan, Peter and Sharon, and Mark in Cheshire. I agree. Ross has just said, I think one of the best strands of pearls we've ever had. They're certainly some of the biggest, mm. without doubt certainly some of the biggest absolute miracles aren't they every single one is just exquisitely beautiful isn't yeah it? shall we do a clock to price because there's seven maker susan northamptonshire kathy peter and sharon and mark those are the people i've got and um, one maker wants to there are six available because Virginia's already made her confirmation. I wouldn't be leaving anything to chance. Okay, we've just spotted on our graphics. In the, uh, it says uh, that they're treated. They're not. They are totally natural. We will get that corrected. They are not bleached. If they were bleached, you wouldn't have these colours. You wouldn't have the mixture of the mm. colours. So that's our mistake. We will correct that so that it says completely and utterly natural or it won't say those words it'll say not enhanced mm. um amazing not stopping at 999 pounds sally in east sussex you're there as well i'm i'm literally so tempted to buy these with you i'll wait till the break they're some of the biggest pearls we've mm. ever seen they're absolutely spellbinding aren't they i keep going oh, this one no but this one but yeah, this one but this spectrum. one but this one yeah half the price but we're not done the next price that you see is your absolute final lowest price jewelry makers i've got seven available i can't believe we're doing prices like this on pearls of this quality the lottery ticket the wonderful fireball that is so i mean it's head turning isn't it the fireball it's so different to what we've become almost accustomed to over the centuries of loving pearls um thrust into the limelight if you like with 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 uh, uh lady gaga in house of gucci she mm. wears them a lot yes yeah um in that remember one single this is bonhams i'm going to show you a piece that while you know while those seconds stick away bonhams a natural colored apricot pearl okay sold individually at five thousand six hundred and twenty five pounds you'll get it would you agree these are apricots yeah
apricot. There's loads of apricots. 15 of you have it in your basket. Wow. Okay, yeah, these should be more because they are bigger. They are much bigger than our usual pearls. The measurements on our graphics, I think we're being conservative with 15 mil. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Virginia, you've done it. You've got Vanessa there. Just not those with a rose gold clasp, I think. Be amazing. I mean, these are on there. They, you could have those on, on their own as well. They're individually, they are amazing. And they, each of them holds your attention. So, you know, whether you're going to, you know, maybe take a couple off and maybe you sell those and, and you knot the rest and keep them for you. Yeah, you can make money back. Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. You know, maybe sell two or three and that's, you know. Can't, I know exactly. I've, this is, I've got to, I can't miss this opportunity. Oh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at the quality and the sheer size of these. Sorry, I've got Adam singing Lady Gaga in my ear right now. Amazing. It's uncanny, Adam. It is actually uncanny. Look at the quality of them. You're right. They are. Look at this. I keep gravitating towards this one. There she is. Wearing her fireball pearls. The, hers are white. Oh, just white. Yours are naturally multicolored. Mm. She wears them in real life too. You can see her there with a beautiful pair of earrings. Amazing. <laughs> you think she looks oh, a bit look. smug there? Well, look at her jewelry. Of course. Of course she's smug. I'd be smug with pearls like that. I've got two left, Mark, well done to you. Peter and Sharon, well done to you. Kathy, well done to you. Virginia, well done to you. I've also got Vanessa, Sally, Maker, Susan, Northamptonshire, and I've got London. <coughs> Excuse me, final two. Look at the split pay. You can get them home today for less than 74 pounds and 75 pence. Absolutely amazing. Mm. I think I can see Virginia joining us for another one. I don't blame you. Yeah, knew it. Well done, Virginia. I would be doing the same mm -hmm. at that price. Can you imagine it in a lovely long line? Oh necklace? my gosh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be incredible. Absolutely incredible. Utterly beautiful. There's one left in the vault. I'll have that one. I'll have that one. I think Claire's got dibs on it. How's Claire yeah, got dibs that, on that, it? Thank you, Adam, yes. Yeah, I have. I, I think I would be doing, I do like Lady Gaga's earrings in that one though. But you could, couldn't you, if you want a knot? Okay, Absolutely. listen, you can have two. <laughs> yeah, and you have the rest. <laughs> <laughs> you make the earrings. Yeah. I'll go with the necklace. Okay. Yeah, we'll okay. share. Yeah. We'll yeah, share. Do, do yeah. share, yeah. We'll share these. Yeah. Swansea, well done. They are absolutely exquisite. They really, really are. Okay, now, you know the guru bead we did in the Amazonite, yes. Double figures have dropped out. So we've got 11 left. So that tells Ross, this is him talking to me in my ear now, <coughs> that you don't think the price was right. You think it was, but maybe not for you guys at home. Because of the popularity of all the other pieces, they've all sold out. He's going to take the guru bead even lower. So does it make sense? When you have, if you can imagine, see if there's anything behind me. So say you've got like a lovely long line necklace and you, it literally comes down. It's short either if you want. So you have got, you need three drill points, don't you? It's like a connector, isn't it? So you need the one at the top and then, um, sorry, the two either side and then leads down to the one at the bottom. So this has those three drill hole points. You don't see that very often in gemstones, do no, you? No, you don't, no, no. So, okay, Ross says he wants it to be an entire sellout because then there's no argument from Wayne who's on holiday anyway, but you can just go, right, I'm starting to work on the new cuts, the new shapes. Now, for the 19 of you that have confirmed and kept it, you will also get it at this new price because nothing is taken from your account until um, your order's ready to be shipped. 
So closed at 49.99, but because of the popularity of the entire Amazonite, um, Colorado Amazonite showcase, he can justify, Ross says, I can justify this price crash. Okay. It's going to be on and gone though. You get both. The auction's open. This one's, oh, that's a big wow. drop, Ross. That is a big drop. Because of the quantity on the other ones, there was only 30. It's one of those, for us, we are making friends on this opportunity. It's, yeah, but he said, I didn't want that many to actually to check out. When he checked, 91 people actually had it in their basket. So we know that you want it, but it suggested that maybe the price was a little bit wrong for you. So, um, but as a business, we're not making money on this. So, um, so moving forward, the future parcels, potentially you won't, you won't see these shapes. Yeah, is that what you're saying? Because, yeah, yeah, because obviously we don't want them to not sell out. So that's why you've got them at this price tag, jewelry makers. So good luck to you, Cornwall, Dorset, Lowth, 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 I, I don't never know how to pronounce it. Ellen in Cumbria, Susan in Essex, Maker Once For, Margaret in Wiltshire, Anne Marie. I've got Elizabeth there, Vanessa there. Swansea's got six, well done. Lockerbie, Nicolette, Jeanette, Geraldine, London, Elaine, Cambridgeshire. Um, Lucy, Hertfordshire. I want to get hold of these. Mm, I did. I love that. I, 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 this one I think is really clever because it's so difficult actually when you go for your long line necklace to actually to have that drop. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that this one did look beautiful in the piece that was made. Didn't yeah. It? So yeah, very very clever. Amazing. It's really difficult to have that almost three way connection mm. point. Um, amazing. Well done. Well done. Now we do have two further pearl opportunities to bring you. Okay. One for now. Okay. Rice pearls. And then after that, we're gonna launch some beautiful jet. I don't know, this bus might be a little bit big. Oh, it's on your side, Claire. Oh. Ah, thank Lovely. you. Thanks, Becky. Here we are, just swapping that over. It's not, do you want the gold one? Here you go. I think it's only me that actually likes the gold one. Chris made me swap it yesterday. Yeah. So what? Well, I love pills on that gold bust. But then having said that, look at this. Beautiful pure white. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um, pure white freshwater culture pearls. We've got 30 available. Look at how amazing they are. Ooh. It's classic, aren't they? Uh, have yeah. you still got the Colorado? Uh, I was like, because I'm thinking yeah, that would nice look amazing with yeah. this strand, yeah, wouldn't it? it would. Alongside your Colorado Amazonite strands, this would look absolutely beautiful. Are you with me, Ross? Do you agree? Yeah, he says, I'm with you. In fact, you spoke about it, Ross, didn't you? You said 50% Colorado Amazonite, 50% pearls. Oh, yes, yeah. You spoke yeah. about that look. Yeah. He is here, he says. I am here for that look. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. We have 30 available opportunities. Or if you want to go for maybe the Lady Gaga earrings, you need the smaller size mm. at the top, don't you? Smaller size at the top, beautiful. You can't go wrong with classic pearls. With the Russian, uh, sorry, see that's habit, Colorado Amazonite. I'm with your jet as well, it'd be nice if you oh. want to do like monochrome. That'd oh, be... the jet that's coming up next. Yes. Where? Yeah. Then, for, hang on. Oh. Can I have the gold bust? Yes, Becky knows. <laughs> Sorry. It needs to happen, especially as we're doing this. Right, coming up, you've got a brand new jet in different sizes. Literally after this, 
you want to make that monochrome look, this will be perfect, wouldn't it? Mm. And we have it in different sizes too. Yeah, you can't go That's wrong with classic, the classic monochrome. Yeah. yeah. First price, what? Hi, Gloria. Got mine. It's going with my ice blue Amazonite oh. and mini pearls. Thank you for bringing this, Ross. Lovely. Exciting. Um, Gloria, could use these pearls, couldn't you? Um, seriously, we're at 19.99, but you did say one word in that sentence, didn't you? You said first. Everybody pays that final low price tag. How many have you got, Ross? 30, that's right, you did say. What on earth is that price? They're great shape, aren't they, look? What on earth? Um, has this got anything to do with a certain very tall six foot five man? It's just you don't see 14.99 for pearls, that's the thing. That's the thing. These are brand new. Um, oh my goodness me. Alan. Close. Oh, Alan. Is, six, is that how tall he is? He's six foot five. Oh. Um, wow, look at those. Oh, that is a project oh, would be absolutely like gorgeous. I mean, how amazing would that be? We spoke about, didn't we? It, yeah, using your um, Colorado Amazonite alongside natural jet and beautiful freshwater pearls. £14.99. pence. Carol, Sharon, Swansea's got four. Cambridgeshire, uh, Shimala, hello to you. Isabel, hello to you. Rita and Joan and Swansea and Do uh, Monica, sorry, and Dorothy and new customers. Make sure you check out because they are flying. Um, that's an amazing combination, isn't it? Which ones? I do, I, I'm thinking, would I want, would I have the, the Amazonite round a single pearl and then a long line of jade? There's, there's so many different options, but they are such strong, aren't they? Strong yeah, really colors. nice. All of them. Yeah. Even if you did like Amazonite pearls jet, Amazonite pearls jet, okay, as in Amazonite blocking. pearls yeah, yeah, jet, that yeah. would be cool as well. Yeah. It's hard, isn't it? That yes. Could, it would but that's, have the, that's the joy of it, isn't it? Because you could do so many different combinations. But how gorgeous together. Yeah, yeah. Um, three left of the Guru bead as well. In fact, that will be the perfect. That's the perfect edition, isn't mm. it? Literally the perfect edition. Because yeah. you're going to be long line with something yeah. like this, aren't you? Amazing jewellery makers. We've got Natural Jet coming your way as well. Um, these are the only Colorado Amazonites that are available, jewellery makers. So Ross's uh, amazing parcel, entire sellout once they sell out. Well done. Suji, you got yours. Amory, well done. Yvonne, you can do it. Stay where you are on those phone lines. I've got Yi Mei there as well. Celia, Sandra, hello to you, Dorset. Um, make sure you're checking out. Swansea's got six. Nicolette, yeah, well done. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, should we do the jet? I'm not going to rearrange that handful. I'm just going to keep it as it is. It does look good. Perfection mm. in your jet. Maybe, maybe move it to the top, though. So we know which one we're talking about. 10 millimeter, brand new natural jet. Ross, can I ask for my, thank you, presentation? Because jet is a gemstone, again, hugely historic. We're talking about this strand right, right, right now, jewelry makers, but hugely historic jet. This is 155 carats, and here at Jewelry Maker, I think we'd all agree, ultimately across the entire partnership as well, we're one of the leading gem buyers in the West, but yet we see so little jet. Um, the jewelry editor wrote about this amazing gemstone. They say, inspired by spectacular acts of nature, Jacqueline Cullen's use of the beautiful and rare Whitby jet, a fossilized wood that is more than 180 million years old. Um, has resulted in the collection of dramatically beautiful fine pieces. So, um, yeah, it is 180 million years of age. And it's pieces like this. Do you know what, Claire? Mm. I thought of you when I saw these. I love those. They are incredible, aren't they? Because it's like that granulation, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Stunning. They'd go amazing with oh, this yeah. beautiful, is it ring or bracelet maybe? 
but again little tiny mm. speckles of, yes, uh, of gold, solid yeah. gold in there as well a force of nature they say um, a new tribe of jewelry designers are polishing up materials giving us uh, given to us by mother nature and they say the renewed interest this is a gemstone that um, well, like I said it's got a huge history but um, more recently we're loving it once again because towards the end of the 20th century a new appreciation for this rare organic material uh, sorry yeah organic material is, has emerged um, its meaningful heritage uh, began drawing a new recognition and a renewed look from jewelry lovers around the globe because once upon a time jet was a, a, a gem of mourning it was queen elizabeth was it elizabeth or victoria victoria, victoria. Yeah. sorry queen victoria who actually wore uh jet um, when she was mourning her, her husband, obviously. Um, so these days, obviously, it's much more recognized for the beauty of the gemstone. And if you've ever seen one of these, it's a monkey puzzle tree. They're very prickly, very, very prickly. And it is this that it creates jet. How cool is that? Mm. So a branch of the modern day ara, cara, whatever, whatever tree monkey puzzle tree um a relative to the jurassic tree that fossilized into jet over the period of 180 million years oh gosh. a relative of this tree that's why when you physically hold jet as a gemstone it's quite warm because it's a wood mm. effectively a fossilized wood it's not wood it's a fossilized wood um but it's also very lightweight very very lightweight and they can grow huge they're very structural multi uh, uh monkey puzzle trees but it's this gemstone 180 million years ago um, that actually has formed your beautiful jet and you can find it um, all around the world modern jet jewelry is now available at prices that accommodate all budgets starting with simple sterling silver and jet stud earrings to luxurious jet and diamond pieces set in 18 karat gold or platinum special one-of-a-kind pieces can even cost thousands of dollars yeah absolutely and i'm going to show you a few of those pieces which uh um oh here you go rare material uh, from a very uh small part of the world jets unusual qualities set it apart from all other gems tactile very light on weight it's warm to the touch i've just said all these haven't i and the only organic gemstone that is intensely jet black you know we spoke yesterday how turquoise actually named the the color um jet black that term we've mm. all heard comes from this gemstone no wonder that it is fast becoming the new favorite of uh, the jet set loving that um so here is donna air um actually on the red carpet for the amazing spider-man and it's jet that, that she's wearing yeah. again um there is i had to crop that photo because there's a, na a naked man right in front of oh. her yeah um there she is stood there with yeah cigarette in hand uh, wearing these earrings large victorian jet carved earrings um beautiful again you can see it set in gold there mm. simple cabochons diamond encrusted um and the price is like this look look can i just hold this up look three thousand four hundred pounds that's notice how that's not whitby that isn't whitby jet I'm going to go back to the white bust. £3,400 for that necklace. Or alternatively, you can make your own with our brand new jet opportunity. With just a little know-how. Now, let's get a price on your screens. You are not going to pay the first price that you see. Genuine, certified, natural jet. 19 pounds and 99 pence and you don't Ouch. see it very often not seeing yeah hang on a minute what do you remember i remember jet being like expensive mm -hmm. absolutely expensive and for that size as well that they're 10 mil rounds i'm not <laughs> it's a gem that you really struggle to get hold of and yet here we are starting at 19.99 ross if they don't fly out the door at that price i mean yeah jet jet should even if you were starting at, at 99.99 that's unbelievable ross they're 10 mil 10 millimeter 
We've got 50 opportunities, and in seven seconds, jewelry makers are going even lower. I do have eight mil if you want to create the graduation. Contrast it with those pearls that you saw a few moments ago. Mm. Use it with your uh, Colorado Amazonite. That would be amazing. Wow. 49 did like two, I don't know, nice gents makes, bracelets, nice. something like that. You wouldn't need to add anything else. You, you know, just keep it as the, as the jet. Gorgeous. Mm. We don't see it very often. No. And if you consider yourself to be a collector, I think gents, what, uh, gents? Jet is one of those gems that s grab it when you get the chance because mm. it can be years apart. You know, um, three years ago I went to Tucson and, my, and the team upstairs were like, go and find some Jet and get the story on Jet. I was like, I mean, that's not an easy task to do. It really isn't an easy task because I found none in the whole city of Tucson. So, um, and ever since then we've maybe had one or two strands. That's about it. Um, let's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was at that point I was losing the will to live. Literally losing the will to live. I'd had enough. You were Dange in the background laughing her head off at me because I was like, I'm just so tired. Um, and can I just say as well, in, 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 <laughs> in Tucson, you get some interesting carvings, you know. Gemstone carvings. There were some rude carvings by me there. Oh. <laughs> what I meant to say was like, kind of, I was literally delving into every single area to try and find Jet. There wasn't any. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Natural, beautiful Jet. In your eight mils, that's lovely, isn't it, Claire? Mm. I'd use that with the pearls. Classic. Yeah. 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 I, the pearls. I, I loved it how you got it with the um, the Amazonite and that. I think I think that's a. Should we do be, that again? Yeah, because that was a real classic, wasn't it? Combination. Yeah. yeah gorgeous. And again, go for a nice long line necklace. Mm. We've brought you all of these items today. I don't know if they're still available. Do keep an eye on the website. Wish list items as well because our call centre do call you back. Yeah, they go beautifully, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I like that. Absolutely beautifully. Loving those. Right now for your eight mils. The graphics are live. How many do we have, Ross? 30. Okay. Gonna do it in one price crash. Brilliant. That is brilliant. Mm. That's that's the most affordable jet strand I think I've ever seen. Because it's always one of those that I would imagine it to be, I don't know, fifty pound plus, say. Here at Jewelry Maker, outside of these four walls, and it's going to be even more than that, obviously. That's what we just showed you a knotted strand there. It's not Whitby Jet that was three and a half thousand pounds. I think there's another one on that presentation that's just under three. Um, you can create, you can knot it. <coughs> Excuse me, we can certainly teach you the technique. Um, amazing. At £12.99, pence, the perfect addition alongside your Colorado Ams Night. Mm. Love great, this. great for earrings as well Ooh, because yeah. of that, that weight. It's weightless, so you could do some nice, you know, maybe have a few few of the rounds in the larger sizes. So you're not going to be weighty on your on your. <coughs> I apologise. Sorry, Claire. Um, yeah, it's another cool story. Organic gemstones mm. do have cool stories, yes. don't they? Yeah, yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. Well done, everybody. Uh, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Now, coming up after the break, we've got your wonderful creations in the Wall of Fame. Um, yes, yeah. And we've got Claire's amazing masterclass. Now, Claire, gold-plated... Yes, yeah, gold-plated uh, accent rings. Yes, so we're going to have a go with those. If you're a solderer or not, you can work yeah. with these. They're absolutely beautiful. And we've got different motifs. I don't, I don't know if you know what price they're going to. I have no idea. Oh, I'll show you in the break. It's amazing. Um, don't go anywhere, lovely jewellery makers. Join Claire and I after this. <laughs>
Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a really good week. Nice to see the sun shining at last. I'm back in the studio this Saturday the 20th of July where I'm going to be joining Ross, L, and the team. And I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of my two project hours. At nine o'clock we have got the most incredible hematite selection including, can you see, Swarovski Rivoli elements. They are absolutely beautiful. These gorgeous little stone studded rondelles. They come included with the bundle. Eight millimeter faceted rounds, absolutely stunning. And a couple of weeks ago, you may remember I had beautiful, beautiful bicones and kite shapes. We've managed to get some more in for this Saturday in case anyone missed out on them. Look at that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? So that's at nine o'clock, amazing hematite. And then at 12 o'clock, now I've called them forget-me-nots. We've got these incredible bead caps. Now you may be wondering, that doesn't look like a bead cap. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to transform your bead caps into these absolutely beautiful connectors. We've got three colorways, gold, silver, and copper, all accompanied with the most incredible shell pearl, which I've not seen on the screen for ages. So again, I'm going to show you how to turn them into these beautiful connectors. So that's this Saturday. 20th of July, join myself, Eleanor and the team. Cannot wait to see you all there. Bye-bye. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. gorgeous jewellery makers it's guest designer Carol here I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you in the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects there's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings so I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead and then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you it's very very versatile very adjustable I've had real fun with that um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. hot in here again. I've turned your fan off. Yeah, you always turn my fan off. 
Yeah, sorry. <laughs> to be fair, you were stu- you were stood right in front of it. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like turn it off. Oh, yes, it's on. It's on now. That's better. Yeah, because it's about three meters away. That's all good. Yeah, Claire. I'm loving these projects, but before we get into those, should you yes. do all the same? Yes, yeah. Right. Do you want to start yes, us off? Yes, please, yes. Oh, Thank that's you. lovely, isn't it? It's amazing. Look all the work into that. Right, here we go. I've got number 61, and this is Sue Mortlock. Sue says, please see my entry uh, into the Wall of Fame. This is a technique Debbie Kershaw used in the Advent Calendar tutorial last year. I've used faceted Peridot three mil rounds and some gorgeous gold silver lined 8Os and chartreuse silver lined 11O seed beads. I'm really pleased with the result. Many thanks for the inspiration, Debbie. All materials from JM. Best wishes to all, and that's from Sue. Oh, that's wonderful, Sue. I bet Debbie will be really happy to see that. That's lovely. Beautiful, Sue. Gorgeous. Well done. Um, I've got some lovely soda Ooh, light here. Beautiful. An amazing piece of jewelry from Jackie Stapleton. Hello, Jackie. You're number 62. Uh, good morning, jewelry maker. I've been going through my stash. Had these soda lights for about five years. They deserve to be made into a necklace. Um, I think we should be uh, made to go through our stashes at least twice a year. Have a great day. Oh, gosh, yeah, Jackie, you know. Last time I did that, I was like, oh, I forgot buying that. Oh, I forgot that. You do, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So I like the photography with that as well. Jacket's really nice. Very it's nice. Good. Yes, yeah. alongside the, is that called the willow? Yeah, will, yeah. Willow pattern. Willow pattern, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Here we go, this is lovely. This is uh, number 63 and this is Dawn Nelson Whitehead. And Dawn says, today's entry is a tiger's eye stretchy bracelet and uh, T-pin, all from JM. Good luck everyone, and that's from Dawn. It's beautiful. Lovely, lovely photography Dawn. as well. Very nice. And some lovely Love drift it, Yeah, nice. That's what I was singing. A drift um, Okay, I can't remember who sang song that. Sorry, these are stuck together, one minute. Number 64 is from Brenda Chibnall-Smith. Hello, Brenda. Um, hi, nice. this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. Mark's demo. All from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all Waffers, especially me, she says. Definitely. That's beautiful, Good luck Brenda. to you. Very Love nice, it. Brenda. You're number 64. Gorgeous. Here we go. Uh, I've got 65, and this is uh, Barbara Hewitt. Barbara That's says, nice. hi all, this is my uh, pearl. These are my pearls, simple, but I love them. Thanks for all the pearls. Everything is from JM and that's from Barbara. Stunning, lovely, lovely sweet, gorgeous. Beautiful Barbara. I have number 66 from Catherine Lanfear, or um, that's, that's a lovely name, isn't it? Mm. Um, hi all, please see attached my entry this week. Obsessed with jadeite at the moment. Simple stretchy bracelet and earrings, loving the recycled silver findings. Thank you for the inspiration to all the lovely designers from Catherine oh, Lamphere. Number 66, nice. gorgeous. Beautiful. Absolutely good luck, gorgeous. Catherine. Right oh, there. Good luck, everybody. Amazing. Amazing. And the draw happens on Wednesday. So you've still got plenty of time to get your entries in. The only stipulation, of course, is that they are jewelry maker components. Uh, drop us a message and we can read it out on oh. air. Now, oh, Claire, look at this. They're lovely, aren't you they? You said in what and Warren. <laughs> uh, not going to be a, not going to be a resident of what and Warren for not long now, are you? Oh. In a lovely little quaint village. No, oh. it is pretty though. It's lovely. It is pretty. Yeah. You know your um the gift store. Yes. Is this not something that you would see at said gift store in what and Warren? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, precious metal. Uh, precious metal pieces of jewellery in your classic kind of stacker style rings. Yes, they are. They're very, very, very wearable, aren't they? Very commercial. Wow. I don't know how close you can get because then you can really see all the it's different... wonderful mot- details. Yeah, there? there's lovely motifs on these. So let's start at one end and work our way across. So you have the classic heart. And it's such a lovely curvy heart. You, yeah. You know, you get lots and lots of different hearts, don't you? This is a real... Can you see how, yeah, it's kind of... It's very symmetrical, even, pleasing. Yes, yeah. It's a voluptuous heart. Yeah, yes. perfectly mathematically yeah. precise. Then you have this gold-plated butterfly. You could stamp on these, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you've got the gold-plated heart and it's jewel colors. That's very nice. Then you have the bee. The beautiful it's lovely bee. detail on the bee, yeah. Loving the bee. 
Then you've got a, like a dahlia. Yeah. Dahlia flower. And lastly, you've got a little... Little elephant. Elephant. Look at him. Now, if you are thinking right now, oh, I'm not a silversmith, that's me out. You don't need to be, do you? No. Or These have, give you the option, don't they? You need... You need a ring mandrel. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. One of these? Yeah. Is that all I need? That's all you need. And maybe something to... Yeah. Eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Every single one of these are on pre-order. Um, plus you get your instructions. So these are the perfect opportunity for you to make adjustable rings effectively, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. Which is a, so that's, a, that's a, a, a great thing, isn't it? So you don't have to you know, know, <coughs> know anyone's size. The, the beauty of these is so they've been designed so they've got quite a nice long uh, ring, it's sort of a, a flat ring shank. So, you know, you, you can accommodate sort of most finger, finger sizes. So you can see there how it's sort of, you get that nice crossover. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. And then, yeah, you don't even need to sort of polish these, do you? Because they've got... No, that, so that everything kind of... has been done for you. And so you can see that you've actually got as well the two, so that the ends are bald, you know, so it's not like you've got to do any filing or anything like that. It's literally you're, you're, you're putting it around the ring mandrel. Shaping it yeah. and away you go. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Ah, that's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So commercial, yeah. so commercial, um, and they are one size fits all. Yes, and, and you know, that is the precious metals. Yeah, amazing. Okay, how many do we have of each of these then, Roscoe? 150 of each. Um, so these are, the ones I've shown you do slightly differ from what I see before me, because if I can just move my hand for one second, you'll see across here, these are gold plated. Um, so the f the butterfly, you can see the elephant. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah, he's gorgeous. I really like the gold plated elephant. The dahlia. <coughs> then you've got the star. Oh, I didn't see the star. Then you've got the heart that I'm wearing. And then you've got the very Gucci mm. honey bee. <laughs> Sorry, Adam's like, I've got a story about an elephant. <laughs> I've got a story about a bee. Yeah, you did get bombed by bees, didn't you? <laughs> he says not quite as traumatic as being chased by an elephant. Really? <laughs> he literally was chased by an elephant, yeah. He was on safari. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Adam, you say this and then you make me laugh. And I look really bad. I look so bad, like I'm laughing at this awful story. But yeah, no, basically you were on safari and then and, and then an elephant started charging you, didn't didn't he? She, whichever it was. Um yeah, what about the bee? What about the bee? What happened with the bees? What happened with the bees? You got stung by a bee? Oh, okay. That's no. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right I think like a bit of exaggeration. Fair though, enough, yeah. yeah. I, feel like, I, think like most, I think like there's probably millions of yeah. people on this planet that have got a bee story then. Right then. Um, okay, where do you want to start, Claire? So I will, um, so, I, if, so you could, you've seen, so some of them are um, uh, the gold and the silver. So you work yeah. with them in exactly the same way. So I don't know which, which one are you going to... Can gonna... I make one? Yeah, absolutely. Of course cool. you can. Yes. I need another mandrel. Though, yes, that's I? fine. I'll, um, I'll get you one. That's no problem. Have you got Do you? Yeah, I think I've got... Mandrels? Oh, I've, got, I've, got a lot, pen. I've got a lot of mandrels. You oh. can use that one if you like. I think I had another purple one. Don't worry. Um, I don't want to distract you. Go so it, which... Do you want me to just start, start showing you how... Do you want to do the demo? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So... What I'm going to do is, so I've got my, and this is a, so a chunky mandrel. You can work with, um, you know, any mandrel that you've got. So I'm going to start. Okay. So, and I go through this in the instructions. So I'm going to hold down. I'm going to start to just push. So I'm not cutting anything off here. And I'm going to start 
and just push all the way around. Okay, so you can see you've got something like that. I'll turn it round. I'm going to do so. I also I'm going to do it slightly smaller than I actually want because what you'll get is you'll get a bit of the spring back as well. So I'm going to start and push. So I'm just working my way around and just give this a nice push there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start and work my way. And if you've got, a, you know, depending on um, what your, this is, you know, there's lots of different um, nylon hammers. So I'm just holding and pinching here. I'm going to start and work my way around. And let's bring that in. Just gentle taps? Yeah, just gentle taps. I'm not, I don't want to, if you want to work with um, metal on metal, you, you could do, but what, remember what you're going to get by using that, you know, if it's um, a hide hammer or nylon hammer, I don't, I'm not looking to texture mm. or, or, or mark that, that metal. Do we have any of those, um, Roscoe? Do we have any of these hammers? So it's what would so it be a hide hammer or a nylon hammer? So I've got a hide I've got a or a nylon. Yeah. If you uh, and I'll show actually I'll show you because then it, it'd be good to see so you can see on this one. I'll show you the difference. So with that one, so that's one with the 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 um, the hide or the nylon. So what you look there's there is no marking on that metal. Mm -hmm. It was a plain ring shank. And it stayed as the as the plain ring shank. So all that's done is that's formed it, and it's given us that that crossover there. So yeah. still, it, and it's and it's work hardened it a bit, so it's given it that that spring, so that you can then it will sort of spring back into shape. So that's exactly what you want. So it hasn't done any. Um, uh, it hasn't actually changed um, the texture of. We still got that 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 silver here. So if you wanted to. So there'd be nothing to stop you. So say you're... Are you going to spoil it on purpose? Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to add to it. Okay. Yeah? Let's see. Because then people at home will know, won't they? They'll know what... <laughs> Spoiling. <laughs> no, no, they, I like this. I like this. The texturing. <laughs> <coughs> So now I'd a great way to, to start making rings without without so, um, you know needing all the soldering equipment. So look at that! That I I'm quite happy with that. You dented it, Claire. <laughs> You've well, dented I've it. I've intentionally dented it, oh. and that's going to make it even stronger. Is so it? it looks good, yeah. and it's nice and strong now. So I might carry on doing a bit. You more carry of on that. denting it. <laughs> Do you know if ever anyone dents the car, you could just do that. I've textured it. Yeah, I've textured done. That I've for just textured you. my car. That's all. Okay, we have got a lot to squeeze in this hour, so I'll tell you what. Now we've got 150 of each. Let's do the gold plated B that Claire's demoing with. We want to see a hundred people on the phone lines before we crash. Because sorry, at the next price. Okay. Not what you're paying, Claire. Do you know what these are going to? I've no idea. I did say I'd show you, didn't I? I did say. All right, Claire, well, you'll get a general gist in a minute. It's a good size bee, that is, isn't it? It's a lovely bee. Not what you're paying. Not? Not. Got 150. We want to oh. see 100 of you on the phone lines, and then we're going to crash further. Pre-order all the others, because this is across the board, right? So this is for your gold-plated heart. This is for your flower. This is for your elephant, for your butterflies, for your little honey bees. Not what you're paying. We need to see more of you there. I mean, even so I, I could make that, couldn't I, Claire? Yeah, you could. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to like say it in a really insulting way, but yes, yes. <laughs> even you, Al, yeah. I'd be more insulted <laughs> if you went, um, Maybe no, not, no. Probably not. No, <laughs> no. Never mind. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for effort. 
<laughs> yeah, I'd be more insulted that way. But honestly, it's literally wrapping it around a mandrel and giving yeah, it a Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Or if, if you, you use wanna... your nylon hammer, then you're not going to dent yeah. it. If you don't, you are going to dent it, but you can say it's intentional. That's intentional denting. <laughs> <laughs> 7 Claire. That is so good, isn't it? How much would that be if it was Gucci? And Gucci do work with silver. That's, that is a brilliant, brilliant price. Because yep. this, uh, you know, that is a, it's not a t tiny weeny um, accent either. No. And so there's no, there is nothing to stop you, um, and especially at this sort of price as well. So, you know, I have soldered some of them and that's what takes, so that you, you'll, you'll lose the gold, um, but you know, you've got then a sterling silver stacker ring if, if soldering is your thing. So, you know, that is, that's a brilliant price. Seven ninety nine. Here we go. Else having a go. Are you are you are you just waiting to be able to laugh at me? Should I be using no, my hand? No, no. So if you if you take it sort of like as much as, as you can all the way around. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. And then I've got to get. Then I've got to go. So so go go with that flat side. Oh. That's it. That's it. And if you can, when you're doing it, sort of pinch like that either side. That's oh, it. Oh, okay. That's it. Guess what? Still not your price, Claire. I'm having a go. I'm having a go. Bet you're doing a great job. And what I didn't do, so you you do this, and when so go all the way around it. <laughs> That's it. Go all the way around, and then we'll turn it over. Oh. So you're going to shape it from because remember you're working on a conical, aren't you? So. We'll, we'll, uh, the, the, the mandrel's a conical shape, so we'll get it nice and even. So do it. Ooh, yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then right. turn, so turn it over. That way? Yeah. It's, it's so, not, so, it, so you're sort of squeezing. That's it. That's it. Perfect. I need to squeeze it a bit more, don't I? Yeah. It's a good job I'm not your... Why is my... That works very well. You know how you're doing it. So if you if you haven't got a bench, you know how you sort of like you're pushing it into your core. That's yeah. how I work with mine. So then you sort of you push it into your core, you stabilise it, and then you work all the way round. Lovely. We're a minute clock. We're going even lower. Wow, oh, she's had a whirl. She's had a go. Yeah. I've had a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> Adam says the mandrel would disappear if he put it into his core. <laughs> oh, look at that. Lovely. Oh, oh funny. Oh, 7.99 is awesome, isn't it? Gold plated 925 sterling silver. <laughs> but not when we're stopping. That's so not true, Adam. It's so not true. Uh, <laughs> amazing i'm loving these and also especially at this time of year you well when your finger yeah fingers swell yeah, yeah. but also they? and then you're not you know you know you can wear that on any finger that you want so yeah you close it's adjustable. It up a bit. yeah ding, 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 yeah ding, ding. literally adjustable and stack them up absolutely you could make toe rings out of these Claire. <laughs> you could you could turn them into toe rings <laughs> <laughs> might not be enough for my toes. We might have to solder are... a few together. We could solder the whole collection together and then we could shape it around the sumo. More like a bangle then. <laughs> yeah. Like a bangle size to go around my toe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm only saying that because mine is shaped like a toffee penny, so I can say <laughs> that. So I wouldn't insult you, if, but mine are bad as well. <laughs> Six ninety nine. We're talking. Yeah, are we? What are we on? Yeah, we're on the B. Yeah, that's a fair question. It's a fair statement. Look how beautiful it is, though. They can also be brooches. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Hairpins. That's a hair Six ninety nine. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you and you don't need to do bee, yeah. you? you don't need to do anything else with that if you don't want to. If you if you want to solder it, all you would do is um, you just come along so you see where I, I don't want to do it with this because this one we've made this one nicely but can you see here where um you've they've already done the ends for you so it's that they're all filed off and you've got that almost like that ball at the end 
Yeah, so you go. can see that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so all you would do, if you want to solder, you obviously size it to what you'd want it to be, get your flush cutters, flush, uh, flush cut one side, turn it over, flush the other, and then you solder that together. Amazing. Who wants these? And by the way, shop ahead on all the others. Seriously, as if we're doing this. We have got massive quantities, but and, 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 and can I just say, you could literally just have like a ring tray just of these. Mm. And what do you reckon? Sell them for... Even if you sell them for a tenner, which is incredibly yeah. affordable for a sterling silver. Mm. What do you reckon? 20, 25? I, th I think 20... I think... Do you know what? I think I'd be tempted to do... Twenty pounds, but for, as an, the experience of doing it yourself Make as well. It yourself. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a yeah. great idea. I think I'd do that. We're going lower. Who wants these? You did say that, Ross, didn't you? Under five pounds, across the board. So that's the that's the heart. That's the bee. That's the elephant. That's the butterfly. That's the flower. That's the star. All of these. Under five pounds, Claire. That is fantastic, isn't it? That's a great idea that you've got. A great idea. Be nice, wouldn't it? So you've got the lovely, the lovely, um, very, you know, commercial looking piece of jewellery yeah. at the end of it. You've made it for your size and you've made it. You're going to come away, aren't you, feeling pretty good with that? I made it myself. Yeah. 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 How awesome is that? It's a great idea. And you're naturally, you've got a captive audience then as yeah. well, haven't you? You've got yeah. people stood at your yeah. stand. We're talking obviously as uh, from a business perspective. How amazing, you know, from a gifts point of view as well. I wouldn't know what half my friend's ring sizes are. Mm. Yeah. You know? Um, it's happening, under five pounds. Wait a minute, Claire. You're very tanned. I, I, I um, yeah, you can, I'm quite orange there, look. <laughs> Use that hand then. <laughs> How lovely! Amazing at five pound each. They look great, don't they? Yeah, they're beautiful. Nobody would imagine. I mean, they're precious metal as well, so obviously we're not going to imagine five pounds. Yeah, no way. Genuinely, where else in the world are you going to get sterling silver, gold plated, uh, the the two tones as well? Mm. Where are Which you going to get? Was, it makes them look expensive, don't you think? I totally agree. Having that, having that gold absolutely flying out right now the graphics on your screens for the bee the one that claire's wearing amazing um but do shop ahead on the web we've got stars flowers elephants butterflies um hearts as well so they're all on the website all at the same price in terms of the actual shank length yeah, should we have a look i get the uh so if i get the elephant and put it there for a second because we can measure the, oh, I don't know why I've done that. There you are, there's one right there. So you can so here we go. So you've got about seven. Seven centimetres. Yeah, seven centimetres. Amazing. Two and three quarter inches. In fact, it's more than that, isn't it? It looks like three inches. No, you're right, two and three quarter inches. Right, let's bring the others on your screen. You're right, Ad, sorry. Um, okay, which one next? What do you want me Claire? So which one have we done? The B? Yeah. Have you done the heart? No. Heart? There you go. Heart next. That's this one. That's the one I, I, I demo. Oh, well, I say demo. You did. You did a no. very good job. I made with. Uh, how have we got? 150. No surprises on the price point. Jewelry makers. So seven centimetres, you say? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the heart is gold plated. And then you've got the silver shank. And then they are, this is the clever bit, Claire, the fact they're rounded off on e either end so they're not sharp. Yes, exactly. So you haven't got to do any, you know, if you've got no, you know, if you haven't got files or things like that, it doesn't. Um... And if you, if you're, um, if you have swollen knuckles as well, much yep, easier yep. because you can actually stretch it over and then squeeze it around um the lower part of your finger likewise it makes it sort of adjustable across different you know depending on which finger you wear it on four pounds and 99 pence only loads of multi buyers on the heart i love this do you know but i'm thinking back to when i was little in primary school and all of my friends had the little heart signet rings oh yes yeah yeah i don't well, i so never had one i never yeah. had one as well yeah 
I was really they're like yeah they were really lovely I didn't have one no half of it was like engraved yeah mm. oh, I'm glad it's not just me no, that didn't have no, one yeah. yeah I used to feel so sorry I was wish I had one anyway but the thing is that you they grow you grow up don't you you grow up and <laughs> <laughs> you grow up and they don't fit you anymore whereas this would be adjustable they'd be adjustable Flying out the door, Claire. And it, I, it looks really nice as well with the, the silver version. So if you do decide to um, to solder it, yeah. you, you know, you can see that. So the picture there, you can see the, the picture there where it's the two together. So it looks really, if you decide that you <coughs> want to solder it, um, it the, the silver version looks really lovely as well. How oh, nice. Isn't two it? hearts yeah. living in just one mind. Let's do the star then. The star's lovely too. The star's really nice. Ah, oh, we've got A-level results coming up, haven't you? Got GCSE results then GCSE after that, GCSE results haven't we? Yeah. after that, yeah, absolutely. Little Lowy. How's she oh, Is she all right? She's feeling she's, confident. Yeah, she had a prom and, yeah, she looked beautiful. Uh, my next door neighbour had, had uh, his prom and, um, well, you know Marie, it's Marie's son. Oh, yes, Marie's son. yeah. Marie's son, and Marie came over and she was like, I apologise now. I have agreed to let them have the after party at our house. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it went on for quite a long time. Well, I was taxi service for Lola, so oh, yeah. I went out at midnight <laughs> and I went out at 4.30 in the morning. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? They only get one prom, don't oh, that's they? That's it, that's it, yeah. They only get one prom. Amazing. With your star. <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot of coming and going. Four ninety nine. I, I just cars, literally dropping everyone off back to Rizal. Yeah. One. And of course, we've got a ring doorbell, so every time it's like, oh, don't, no. don't, don't. <laughs> you know, every time someone walks past. <sighs> um, <laughs> um, well done. Anyway, but yeah, for your little stars, your little stars. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's a nice idea. Yeah. Nice idea. Um, plus, it's a popular motif. Well, it works very well, well, doesn't it, with the gold and the and the silver again? I think. There you go. Amazing. It's oh, eight hundred six triple four six double five. Yeah, it did get quite loud. Did it? Yeah. But it's all good. Like I said, oh, it's a it's a brilliant night for them. Yeah, yeah exactly. They've, got, they've the worked first so time hard. They're really proper grown up, aren't they? Yes. And, like yeah. I said. Yeah, and they all get all dressed up, and it's yeah. lovely. And yeah. yeah, it's a good yeah, night. It is genuine. It's like that's the first time they get to really feel like grown ups mm. to a certain degree. Yeah. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Sharon, Buckinghamshire, Sally, Alice, Sharon, Fatima, Irene. Hello to you. Um, so this is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gold plated 925 sterling silver. Can we do the dahlia or the flower? That's I like pretty, the flower. isn't it? Yeah, really pretty. Yes, it's pretty. Oh, the daisy, I beg your pardon. That's lovely. It's more of a dahlia in my eyes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I like the layers of petals, isn't it? Beautiful. It is that dual colour, which I think is. Makes it look so it looks, high end. Yeah, definitely. Amazing. And you've got a solid amount of sterling silver. You've got the beaded detail at the end. Adjustable. Let's use yours because yours is better than mine. There you go. Make your adjustable rings. No surprise. I don't know why I'm holding my back. I know what the price <laughs> is going to be, Claire. Um, did your girls have a pref have a favourite of these? They haven't seen them. They haven't. Have they not? No, they haven't seen them. Which ones they will do you do. reckon uh, they they'll, like? they'll love the heart. They'll love um, the bee, the, the star. Yeah, they'll love all of those. Yeah, yeah, and probably the elephant as well. And the so all of them. The yeah. so, thing yeah. is, they're all 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 shapes. <coughs> Excuse me, of something that's very endearing yes. or love yes. lovely. Absolutely. You know, who doesn't like flowers? Yeah. Who doesn't like an elephant? Well, apart from Adam. Because um, <laughs> you can't mention elephants without Adam going, I've got a story about an elephant. <laughs> um, 
And you have got a story about. Have you got? Have you got a story about flour, Adam? Has he got flowers on this um on allotment? His allotment? Yeah. Yeah, yes. He's, what flowers you got in your allotment? Sunflowers. Oh. Pardon? Cosmos. Sweet peas. Oh, very nice. Very nice. He's very clever, isn't he's he? He's quite the horticultural expert, mm. isn't he, is our Adam? Yes. Have you got any tomatoes on your tomato plant yet? Have you? Do you know how many I've got? One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally one singular of they. Right. Is it an actual tomato now? It's, well, it's, it's a green tomato, but I've Ooh, got one. Oh, it's exciting. Is that normal just to have one? Lots of flowers. Well, all the flowers will be tomatoes. <laughs> so excited. It's the smell. I love the smell I'm of it. Yeah. I'm me. You're me. Mm. Sorry, we're talking about something completely different, aren't we? Yeah, you can smell. That's why I really wanted tomato plants because of, because of the, the smell. smell. Yeah, yeah. Tomato it's nostalgic, plants. isn't it? it? Makes delicious. me think of my and grandparents. And tastes so much better. And... Yes. Yeah. Like, can I just say it? Supermarket tomatoes, rubbish. Yeah. They're also bland, like a nothing, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Really you bland. Own, yeah. Not like when you go to the med and you have it with red onion and mozzarella. Oh. Bit of olive oil. Mm. Sea salt. Mm. Delicious. Uh, 4.99. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check it out. Look at the call screens, Claire. They've gone crazy. That's a brilliant price, isn't it? Let's do the elephant, shall we? Aww. Up two, oh, I hope three, Marge is still Keep watching and Dave two. is still fishing because Marge loves elephants. Marge loves elephants. Yeah, she does. And she does. I mean, my experience, Marge, is that when my brother and my mum and dad used to go fishing, they'd be gone for hours. So, <laughs> absolutely hours. Yeah, my mum used to go fishing as well. She was the most successful. Was she? Because the fish are attracted to your pheromones. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. Apparently, that's what they say. That's what my mum used to say. She used to be the most successful with the salmon fishing. I didn't mm, know that. Yeah, oh. amazing. Um, the elephant, let us know, Marge. Uh, he's beautiful, isn't he? Or she? Absolutely gorgeous. Who doesn't like an elephant? Apart from Adam. Yeah, Adam, that's it. I feel like he should get over it because you were probably on it on their territory. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "I haven't got anything against the elephant." So, if anything, it was your guide's fault, wasn't it? Would you say your guide's fault for walking you there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there you go. So, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the elephant's fault. Uh, four pounds and 99 pence only. So, look at the gram weight, Claire 1.3. I know, grams. yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, that and you can almost see that, can't you? When you look from the uh, almost like the profile of it, you can see the thickness of um, the precious yeah, metal, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. We, you'd expect to pay 4.99 just for these little accents, yeah, for the accent, you? yeah. Which we used to sell yes, on their yeah, own, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Used to sell them on the uh, on their own. Oh, wait, 106 for four, six double five. All oh, the reasons that we love your our elephants, and there is many, isn't there? I heard someone told me, and every time I say this statement, Adam's like, "Don't be ridiculous." But apparently, they can step on a daisy and not crush it. Really? Apparently. That's not true, is it? No. no but they, 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 they've got really, really, really delicate feet. Have they? Not just not to look at. They don't look delicate to look at. I'm not thinking like ballerina feet, but they've got they've got yeah really they can be really gentle with their oh. feet. Yeah, they can step on a daisy and not crush it. Hmm. And also they they communicate through their feet as well. Aww. So you could have a few. What's a, what's a family? Is it a family? Herd. Herd. Yeah. Well, there you could have like a few of them, couldn't you? Yeah. Herd of elephants. Yeah. Amazing, my right. butterfly. Oh, I like the butterfly. It's a big butterfly, isn't it? That's it just gorgeous. looks very, very, very gold, doesn't it? Expensive. Yeah, it does. Uh, has anyone got a story about a butterfly? It's Adam. Probably Adam. <coughs> Probably Adam. They are beautiful, though, aren't they? Isn't it nice to see so many butterflies this summer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few summers ago where we hardly saw any. Yeah. 
Yeah, there have been a lot. There's been lots. And all different this. sorts as well. Yeah. yeah. There's rarer ones than others. Like if you think back to when uh, we were young, Claire, when we were young, <laughs> you used to see lots of the red admirals, didn't you? Yeah, I, I feel like I've seen more um, red ones and patterned ones rather than just the, 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 the white. Yeah. They are called cabbage, aren't yes, they? Yes, yeah. The white cabbage the white ones. ones. Yeah. I've seen lots of dragonflies this year. Have you? And I think that's always really special uh, when you see I'll dragonflies. Miss, yeah, because being um, in Wooden Worm by the canal, you'll get lots of them there, so I won't, won't see them anymore. They are pretty, aren't they? They're, they're, yeah, they are like a magical, I don't know, like there's a fairy there and it's in, in disguise. I'm sure, fairly sure they'll have butterflies in Oxfordshire. Dragonflies, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. They will. I'm sure they will. Just not as they just They like the canal, don't they? they and yeah. the water. Yeah. yeah, all the bugs. Yeah. All the yummy bugs for them mm. to eat. Uh, £4.99 pence only. Loving these, Claire. And again, stock up on them. We had 150 of each design. Uh, what's that? 1.3 or 1.5 grams? I can't quite see from there. 1.5 grams. Um, lots of us loving the butterflies. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's symbolic of transition. Right, and yes, change, yeah. So that'd be a nice gift then, might yeah. Have, but, yeah. Changes in our lives yeah. and circumstances, maybe. Um, well done, Jenny, Karen, Julie, Irene, Donna, Susan, Penny, June, Annette, Kathy's multi bought lots of multi buyers. Uh, Noala, hello to you, Susan, Elizabeth, hello to you, uh, Swansea, Catherine, new customers getting involved, Lucy, Lynn, amazing. Oh, th just, just think about that for a second. So I've got that one yours or no one? that was your one yeah okay so hang on one two three four five six thirty pounds i can get all those is that right yeah thirty pounds i can that's get, brilliant, I can get six yeah. sterling silver rings that's amazing but you don't really i mean you know you don't really need many like you said you could do it around a pen couldn't you if, if you no, wanted you don't to. need a mandrel yeah do we have any mandrels in stock have a look on the website anyway yeah, they're fab, aren't mm. they? Five pounds. If you go into that accessory shop, you know the one that I always get dragged into by mm. my yeah my my well you don't both get anything in both there. children now actually get dragged in. Oh gosh, you hell. might you might know them. Yeah, <laughs> I do know them. Yeah, yeah. Is it your they're shop? They're not mine. No, they're not, they're not no, mine. Of course not. No. Um, but you won't get much for five pounds in there, will you, Claire? I don't get much for that. Don't think you get anything, do you? Maybe a, not even a lip gloss. I was going to say a lip balm, maybe. Really? Doesn't it even buy you one of them? I mean, thankfully, I haven't had to go in there for a while. Oh, see, I'm, I'm right in that, right in that yeah. zone right now. Yeah. And Tiggy's just stepping into that zone. Mommy, can I go get a hairband? And it's yeah. like, <laughs> it's like it, you might as well just throw 20 quid. For, for a bit of plastic, yeah, basically, yeah. straight away. Oh, we've got some mandrels. There you go. Um, so you get the six step, is that okay? Six step mandrel? Well, you could certainly start it on that because it's going to spring back, isn't it? So you go on the larger size. Yeah. So say maybe if you were going to do your um, <coughs> for rings for children or yeah. the much, much smaller size, that would be. I reckon I'd find that easy, easier because it's not tapered. Yeah, so you'd work on, see the larger one, that, yeah. that one at the base. And then work down? Well, because it, it would spring up a little bit. So um, that would give you quite a small, that's a, a smaller diameter. So that's probably something like uh, at, this, at this point here. Okay. So uh, yeah, okay. A small, so a smaller one, but you, you saw how it, it was springing out, wasn't it? So if you're gonna do okay. maybe your toe rings or children's rings, you could certainly- Toe rings, that, toe that's rings, that's you a, say. Weird, those <laughs> And not for L. <laughs> do you know what? I actually think they would go around my toe. I mean, there's no need to be rude. It sounds like he was just saying no the cup. I think they would. This is gorgeous. This is lovely. Where's... <laughs> Very Elsa Peretti, this. <gasps> it is... In fact, Roscoe, could you Google Elsa Peretti silver talk bangle <laughs> and it would come up with something like this now you could you could enamel in that if you wanted yeah, to yeah 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 couldn't you that is beautiful 
You know, we had that dem uh, that demo with Charlie as well, where oh, she was yeah, putting like the inlay, her, yes, the inlays yeah, in there. Yeah, you could do great. that. How beautiful is this? It's a classic talk bracelet. Or you can just leave it exactly as is, because that's a huge that amount is, of silver. That's very stylish, isn't it? With that nice, almost that wave effect. Elsa Peretti silver talk bangle. Yeah. Because this is a talk. There you go. Yeah. See what I mean? How much is that? Just a thousand pounds then. Okay. Do you see what I mean? It's quite similar where you've actually got that kind of fluidity in that yes, cuff yeah, bracelet. Yes, yeah, the movement around. Yeah, quite similar. She, interestingly, she's wearing it like that. So the thumbprint ones. Okay, should we go back to this? To the to the go back, Ross. Here you go. Go. F yeah, there you go. That's quite a wide one, but you get the general gist. In silver, £1,475. It's very Elsa Peretti. Even down to sort of the groove. Mm. Isn't it's it? It's really nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And solid sterling silver. Sorry, Ross. Um, graphics Alive. Big gram weight. I'm intrigued to know what the gram weight is on this. 18.2. 18 grams, okay. That's amazing. I haven't seen anything like this. Is it Ooh, lovely? I wonder, and I don't know this, Claire. You can absolutely say no, that wouldn't mm. work. Could I could I solder bits to this? Yeah, I was thinking that. So maybe you, you cut the, you know, if you want to have a little elephant. And or all your granulations. Yeah. yeah. Do you reckon you could do that? Yeah, nice. And then all your wires like you showed yeah, earlier yeah. on and little, little silver ball dots. That, yeah. Uh, Ross, he doesn't just, he says, I'm actually shocked. And you know, like when uh, you've been told off, that's how he sounds. <laughs> I'm not angry, I'm disappointed, he's like. He thought this piece would close at this price. This is a mad deal. For the silver weight alone, yeah. An absolutely mad price. We're going to go straight down to it. I like the idea of your little... Adding um, into it, the yeah. Little, the little balls. Yeah, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Soldering yeah. those on yeah. there. Literally take your time. Work your Work way, way Yeah, across. nice. That'd be nice, wouldn't mm. it? Gorgeous. We're going even lower. How many have we got? 23 available. Okay. Ross is not just shocked, he's appalled at the price of this. For 18 grams of solid sterling silver. Beautiful. Yeah, that is a crazy low price. I don't know if we could even buy it for that, could we? I mean, so it, it, I mean, the, there is there are things you could do to it, but I mean, it's a, it is a beautiful like designer piece of jewelry, isn't it? Now, just with that lovely wave. Yeah. Yeah, you could granulate it. You can, you can engrave onto engrave it if you wanted it. to. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can enamel it. You can. I like the idea of your little sterling silver balls mm. and, and pieces of wire yeah. all over it, soldered together. Um, or you could leave it exactly as it is. Mm. How you, you could have. You could take this into a jeweler's and get it, get them to actually engrave maybe names, coordinates, yes. state, yeah. something it's like that. It's a big that. area, isn't it? Yeah. There? So you could put maybe a couple and their marriage, uh, mm. the date of their marriage. You can engrave on the inside as well. There's so much potential with a piece like this. And how gorgeous would that be? I've acquired a godson on Sunday. How exciting Aww. is that? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's like, oh, congratulations. Beautiful teddy. That's lovely, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I still can't get a cuddle out of him, though. <laughs> He's such a, t a stereotypical four-year-old. He's is like it? that, just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> anyway, but you could. You could put, like, you could put his name, his date of birth. Oh, yeah, a really nice little message. Yeah. I love that. So much meaning. You know, your sister's getting married, Roscoe. You could put their names, engrave that on there. £23.33. 
Um, oh, wait, 106, triple four, six, double five. Make sure you check it out at your baskets, everybody, for 18 grams of solid sterling silver. It's weighty too, Claire, look. Can I hold it? Yeah, go, go for it, go for it, go for it. Go That's for it. lovely, yeah. <coughs> so nice, It's gorgeous, it? yeah. yeah. With your little arms stacked, yeah. that would go beautifully. Oh, I like that. I just love this bit here, that that wave there. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It's Elsa Peretti inspired. Um, but we had a limited quantity. Norma, Trevor, Swansea, Anne in Nottinghamshire, Somerset. I might have to join you on that one. Mm. So I think it's a really nice gift to someone, especially on their sort of wedding day. Not that I know anyone that's getting married yet. No, me neither. Anniversary? Yeah. You might have a birthday. Hmm. Like you said, exam results, just doing well in something. Oh, you might have a if you've personal. got a friend who's just moved house, maybe you want to give her a nice present. You've got a message of moved support. House. A friend you? that's moved house. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is that, is that a no? <laughs> I'll, I'll buy you this for your oh, housewarming present you. if that's what you would like. That's lovely, thank you. I feel like uh, Ed's getting the short straw oh, here. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, well done, everybody. Um, I'm also here. <laughs> or somebody that's traumatised by an elephant. Or someone that's been traumatised by an elephant. It's lovely, isn't it? Everybody wants this. Yeah. It is great for gents. Um, sorry, Ross, what's that menu? Right, okay, Ross, Paul Ross, he's trying to talk to me and I'm literally, I, I'm very aware I'm not listening right now, Roscoe. Um, okay, he says, come we up on tomorrow's show because we're going to have an amazing Saturday show as well. I'm going to be joined by the lovely Mark. Oh, that'll be nice. About Mark in the yeah, break. We're just saying yeah. that we haven't seen him no, in a while. No, I hope he's well, yeah. All good, Mark, as well, all good. Um, eight o'clock, we've got your 925 sterling silver magnetic clasp. Oh. At 11 mil. Wow. With a massive quantity. Oh, it might be the best price magnetic class we've ever done at Jewelry Maker, oh, says Ross. Oh, brilliant. Exciting for that size. Um, then at nine o'clock, we have your hematite collection with Mark as well. I know it's one of his um, favorite gemstones. 10 o'clock, we have got um, a closeout on 110 carats of your Olmec Blue wow. Jadeite, a hollow oh. carving. <laughs> now, both Dave and Wayne are away. So you've just taken it without even asking. Oh, good for oh, you. Yeah. So does that mean that you're going to do an amazing deal? Um, okay. Don't say it too many times because he might, he might, he might Shh. catch on. Uh, Eleven o'clock, you've got your sterling silver tassel collection, oh. and then twelve o'clock, we've got the forget me not collection with our lovely Mark as well. Claire, oh. finally! I know, we I know. I had you. a lovely, lovely time. We love you, darling. When are you back? Um, oh, sometime in August, I think. Oh, good. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. the rest of your oh. move, my lovely. Have a lovely weekend, Have everybody. A... Yes, I'll see you in the morning. Love you. I love you. Thank you.